Probably the best. You've got the best on a stock show in the morning, anywhere in the country. Angel, my damn hydrogen bottle stopped working. I'm, right as soon as the show starts, I hit the button. Little blue stuff's supposed to come out. It's not coming. I'm going to throw this thing in the wall. I'm so mad right now. $150 uh, bottle of uh, hydrogen. Son of a bitch. Uh, Good morning, everybody. What's up? I'm Russ Rollins. This is a program. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm so mad. This thing, how did it break? Was, I You're charged, saying mad, but what you mean is stupid. I charged it. What the? Uh, oh, does your fake water thing not give you any more fake water? No, I'm not going to have my hydrogen, man. I'm mad as hell. Oh, anyway. just regular hydrogen in your water. You can listen to us on the YouTube channel, Real Radio Monsters, uh, on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And also on the iHeartRadio app. Uh, live on the iHeartRadio app. Click oh. on the microphone. Blah 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 blah. Uh, what's up? Oh, my water's broken. I'm I'm a, yeah yeah yeah. The blah 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 in two minutes. I know. I'm Russ Rollins, host of the program. <laughs> Whatever, with, man. There is, here's the producer, the Angel of Boom, Angel of Air, <laughs> and the King of Denmark, Ryan Holmes. <laughs> blah blah. Oh, yeah yeah. Yeah. Right. Carlos has the flu. That flu is going around. Finally. I mean, obviously, I gave it to him too. Uh, uh, he, he's got the flu. He felt contagious. Had the chills. A lot of people have had. I know Fritz. I guess Fritz has the flu. Uh, a lot of folks have the flu. It sucks. Good luck. <laughs> Jeez. Good, luck. So, good luck. Good night. Good luck. I got no water. Shut up. Angel, I, I was ready to have you know hit my button. So it, it, I've got this thing. It's the hydrogen uh, uh, water, right? For those that don't know, and it's this very fancy glass thing, and you charge it at night, and then I hit the button, and it turns blue, and then little bubbles come up, and allegedly it gives you more you know, uh -huh. hydrogen yeah. than, than other people. No proof and, of that. And it's by the way. supposed to make your joints better. It's supposed to make you feel better, more healthy. No, uh, no science behind it. And right. there's a, well, there's a lot of there's a lot of very important scientific people in shape who swear by it <laughs> yeah uh, and uh and, and i've it's been making me drink more water right you guys see that's me a good thing now, have, you, have you seen me sitting here hitting I, the button I, hey look i'll be honest i you i have noticed that you are consuming more fancy bubble blue water but that's neither here nor there if it's actually it's good that you're drinking more water but yes. it, in my mind it's space water it's super healthy <laughs> it's better you know if you read what they when they send it to you they're like oh this is healthier than drinking regular water mm -hmm. you drink five of these it's like drinking 10 of the other so I, you know, in my yeah, you mind, said something like two hundred apples. One day. That's what they say. It's like you have two hundred apples. Yeah, yeah. So you know, I've been doing pretty well uh, drinking it. And then right before the show, I'm sitting there talking to Ryan, and I'm in a pretty good mood, even though you know Carlos is ill, and I'm you know, sorry about that. But I'm like, okay, we'll have fun today. You know, let's do our thing. I hit my little button, right, getting ready to say, you wanted the best, you got the best. All the same thing I say every morning, mm -hmm. and it didn't work. And I'm like, I know, I I charged it. Y'all don't understand, like, we we tease him about it, and we talk about it, about Russ's routine, oh. about his uh, his OCD uh, tendencies, yes. all these, so that for that not to happen, yeah. precisely at the moment yeah. that you go to air, that's how you get, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'm extra uh, uh, kind of uh, ticked off, because what you don't know, and once again, you're right, I have a, a routine. Yeah. I, come, I do the same thing every morning. Everything goes the same way, right? So I get here, I get here really freaking early. Uh, I'm here at about... Five minutes after five, and so I come in here and I got five minutes after five. Yeah, yeah, and I got to set up the studio <laughs> and I do everything, you know, and I get everything the right way. And then I make a little video in the morning to put on our Instagram, Real Radio Monsters on in Instagram or the Real Radio, you know, whatever. <laughs> we got our, our Instagram thing, and then I turn on the the TVs that we have in here, and I turn on this TV, which I like because it, it, it pops up all these pictures. Of stuff that we're promoting, or it's you know, it's just like all monster it's got stuff. A virtual flipbook, virtual flipbook yeah. in here that I like to well, I like to look at, and it's it, it's kind of a cool thing, right? So I come in, I set everything up, I sit down, hit the button like I do every single morning. The TV won't work, and I'm like, so good. <laughs> T oh, TV you're having work. a hell of a morning, I man. And, and, and I'm sitting <laughs> there, I'm work. sitting there, and I keep hitting, too wide. and I do the stupidest thing, right? The do the dumbest thing you could do is to keep doing the same yeah. thing over and over again, thinking it's going to finally oh, work. I didn't hit the button exactly right. Let me hit it ten yeah. more times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I'm I'm going back and forth, going back and forth, and uh, is there something that's bigger than a first world problem? Is there like a <laughs> <laughs> after? <laughs> Oh, like you don't have little idiosyncrasies. You've got them. Uh, I, my day is not ruined by a fake water not working and my TV not coming on so I can see pictures of myself. Well, well it didn't come on. <laughs> and so uh, and so I'm like, what the, what the hell is going on? Somebody had unplugged my uh, my fire stick. <gasps> bum, bum, bum. 
So that, that ruined like 10 minutes in my morning. That's because you hid their tripod stand the other day, so they're trying to get back in. Uh, that wasn't me. I didn't. I There's didn't a have... tripod stand in here. Yeah, they, you know, they got them all over the place. But uh, yeah, someone had unplugged the TV, which uh, mm-hmm. which uh, threw me off. And, and then we and, do have a problem with us, uh, and I've brought it up to uh, uh, the bosses. But there's these two studios shouldn't be used at all for anything by anyone. Mm-hmm. Um, and apparently, there uh, this one in particular, the people someone likes to use it to do whatever it is that they're doing. And then here's the thing: like they don't put it back the, the way, way it's supposed, it's supposed to be. To be. Mm-hmm. And then so I have whatever a bad the, ten minutes. Yeah. So whatever you know, it's like I, I'm imagining somebody plugged in something to the TV back there. They're playing their video games or Xbox or whatever at work. And, and they didn't plug it back in. And they didn't plug it back in while they're mm-hmm. supposed to be covering you know whatever sports were on last night because we got uh, college uh, uh, basketball tournaments happening across the country and so yeah. you're grabbing these highlights. Mm-hmm. Not that I'm uh, lobbing accusations at anyone over in the sports no. department. Not, you got not, a not, new not. microphone too. Yeah. You like my big black microphone? Yeah. Yours is a black. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, oh, yeah. yeah, and I sound better, and yeah. it's clean. Look at my screen compared to the screens I on your all's Marco. Oh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if my camera could see this, but this microphone. Is- Those, yeah. I got mic envy right now. That yeah. sucks. Because when I went up to uh, when I went up to Sirius XM and I was on the Ron Benninger I show. I want you to get me those mics. Dude, to get that- me those, the, yeah, because you said they were incredible. They were incredible mics. Yeah. Matter of fact, like you could see, you get like Bennington yeah. was sitting back here. Like, not talking into the uh, mic, and it picked everything up. And I'm all close up into the mic, well, th- and they told me, you don't have to be that close. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. With mine, we have to, you know, basically you know, stroke it and all kinds of stuff to get it to work right. Someone oh, make oh, that oh, a gift, yeah. please. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the ones they had, I was super So we're fancy. all, collectively, we're all getting new ones. Uh, they're, <gasps> they're being swapped out uh, as they come Oh, we're getting, all, we're getting black ones, no, too? Yeah, so we're all going to have I get a big yeah, black yeah. mic? Yep, 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 yep. yep. Oh, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. But it, you'll, note it, like, you'll notice you sound different. Um, instantly. Oh, right. Is it yeah. better? Like deeper? Cleaner. Deeper, just just cleaner. cleaner, you know, because, uh, again, look at the crust that's fill, uh, built up on the thing. And the, it, there are radio guys that, that uh, put all kinds of compression on their mic to make their voice deeper. Yeah. They, like, they don't sound yeah. like that in person. No, but they, I want that. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, we used to be able to do... Uh, I ain't mad at him. I mean, that's a gimmick. I like... You know me, I love a I good gotta gimmick. I got to figure out how to play I, with uh, Sabrina's toy over here, but yeah, we could uh, t- uh, boost you up. Yeah, right? I was here those... That, I'd have done that years ago if I figured it out. Oh, I always hear those radio guys with the, like, the over compression so and, I'm, crazy, and yeah. I'm like you are like overcompensating for something right <laughs> like I imagine like in real life they talk like this hey could be yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. And I guess they you know uh, allegedly radio audiences like deeper voices that's like uh you there's know there's a couple guys in the, hist- yeah. in the history of this station that, that they would do that oh really yeah uh, was it his, did, did, his, did, his, did his name start with Jim no Jim didn't then actually he didn't no Jim Phillips had a great voice yeah, yeah Jim with Fred Gill who huh? Ed Till. Oh. oh. No, no, no. No, Ed, no there's nothing Ed, uh, you could do to Ed's voice. No. <laughs> no he, he didn't change his voice. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no, no but, other, there are other people I know that uh, that did it. Look, I don't care. Are those people hiding out now? <laughs> no, I'm talking about that from other, from other not, not working here. <laughs> So what do I do with this, you know, $150 uh, bottle, uh, water bottle Lucky thing that I got you. from uh, Amazon? I, 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 you always you. Do. Yeah, I got the answer for you. Lucky for you. What? You use it as a paperweight. <laughs> yeah, or you just keep filling it up with regular water and keep drinking the regular ass water that it's already been giving it's you. It's not blue and bubbling like it was so, before. Yeah, it doesn't work, Ryan. Like, look, we can apply logic and explain to yeah. him that the science isn't there. And like he told us, hey, there are scientific people yeah. that have talked about it. I saw the guy on TV. He was talking to Mario Lopez about it. He said it's the best thing he's ever had. I bet you I can you get a mag light and a solo cup for you right now. <laughs> I bet you uh, you could probably return that and get it exchanged for uh, it's still in that window from Amazon. Even if I don't have the box, yeah, I don't care. They're, I mean, they're, they're going to just going to send you the, the the little QR code. I'm sure you have one random yeah. uh, Amazon. Um, it was glowing this morning because I, I, I like I, I was you know every night I plug it in. Or every are you morning. sure? Are you sure you charged it? Yeah, yeah. I'm saying I, I, char- yeah? I okay. charged it. It was glowing this morning. I unplugged it, put it in my bag, and uh, and then I'll be damned if it's not working. <laughs> I wonder if it needs. Oh. Okay. Well, it's going to be that kind of show, guys. Get over that. Just get ready, over that. That. Get get over ready that. for five long hours because this is days ruined. Like, don't we? Don't you have a USB plug in there? Try plugging it in there and just see, just in case, uh, you know. It takes a special one, I think. Uh, from, oh, from, not, uh, not only like a special plug for your spatial. Yeah, yeah from space. Indonesia or something. I don't know. <laughs> it takes a special plug in. It doesn't just uh, take a regular one, so. Damn it. Uh, you'll be all right, man. Yeah. 
just keep drinking your water. Maybe yeah. there's some residual. Uh, yeah, a couple of hydros left in there. Yeah, that were just <laughs> some, you know, hi- some hydrogen left in yeah, it. Yeah, 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 you know. Just shake it up real good. Yeah. You know, I was feeling better drinking that. I can tell you, I, I, my my joints felt better. Uh, worked Everybody, out yesterday. Look at my big black. You look mic. thinner. Look at that big black mic. Right, look at that. Now, that's good. Yeah. Why did they decide to get new mics? I mean, there's all kinds of stuff we need around here. And mics wasn't one on, on the list, but oh well, well maybe like to for you, yeah. But like a, as an audio, we are an audio medium, and we correct. And so that was yeah. one of the things that I was like, hey, any chance? And oh, uh, so you were asking for it. That's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. And so, um, and, and again, a lot of it has to do with uh, you know everyone getting sick and all that. But look at gotcha. the sc- look at the screens on these microphones, and you'll you know there there are. Purple ones, pink ones, yellow ones, green ones, blue ones, all yellow Thumb ones. as big yeah. as your head. Yeah. <laughs> so you got a big black microphone. Yeah, yes, sir. And you're going to put like a what, like a big a big purple head on it. Big purple head on it. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> okay, man. <laughs> he might be right with that one. <laughs> all all right, right. I don't know what you mean. All right, we got to take a little <laughs> break. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to the Monster of the Morning. <laughs> Real Radio is on threads at Real Radio 1041, sponsored by the law offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, lowest prices on the highest quality jewelry. GoldsmithJewelry.com. Construction eastbound on I-4 has two right lanes closed past State Road 44 in Volusia County. Have a serious accident being investigated. Northbound on I-95 in Brevard County, two right lanes are blocked north of O'Galley Boulevard. An accident blocks both directions of Orange Blossom Trail just north of I-4. And on the southbound Greenway at John Young Parkway, construction blocks the right lane and the exit ramp. See traffic problems? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by Direct Auto. Direct Auto Insurance is for uncompromisers. With savings of up to 25%, you can stop compromising and keep driving. Get a free quote at directauto.com. Savings based on discounts can vary. How you buy can affect price. National General Group, Winston-Salem. Ah, if you're looking for a new Chevy, new Chevy car, new Chevy truck, new Chevy SUV, well, guess what? Carl Black Chevrolet Buick and GMC has hundreds of 2023 models, hundreds of 2024 models available right now at Carl Black Chevrolet Buick and GMC. If you're looking for the very affordable uh, Malibu sedan, they got them at Carl Black. If you're looking for the legendary Camaro, every color, they got them at Carl Black Chevrolet Buick and GMC, ready for you to uh, test drive. If you're looking for an SUV for your family, Carl Black has dozens of of Equinox, dozens of the Traveris, and t- dozens of the track models. And I drive a Chevy Blazer, and I absolutely love it. If you haven't driven one before, man, go check that out. It's great. If you need something much bigger, the Chevy Tahoe at Carl Black Chevrolet Buick and GMC, home of guaranteed credit approval. And they also have uh, the, every Silverado you'd ever want, the 1500 Crew Cab, 2500 Heavy Duty models, all at Carl Black Chevrolet Buick and GMC. Chevy, together let's drive at Carl Black Chevrolet Buick and GMC. Divorce? Call Trendley and Kramer, TK Law, onefirmforlife.com. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle, unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. Orlando Science Center has spring break down to a science. Your child can play to learn in Kids Town. Now at Orlando Science Center, it's four floors of fun and discovery waiting for you. Explore the technology of transportation with going places. Build your own dream creation in the makerspace. Or get face to face with the T-Rex in the dinosaur exhibit. Little ones can splash, climb, and tinker their way to learning in Kids Town. And more. Admission includes access to all exhibits, movies, and live shows. Get tickets and info at osc.org. 
Pittsburgh. I had a radio listener call me after an accident. The insurance company offered him $700. He hired me that day and we recovered $100,000. Injured on the go? Just call Mo. Potential clients may not obtain same or similar results. Mo DeWitt, Orlando's injury attorney. International Diamond Center invites you to step into a world of elegance and luxury as we roll out the red carpet for the world's two largest bridal designers this weekend. Takori and Viraggio are here with their entire collections. Exceptional handcrafted rings made with intricate detail and craftsmanship. See the entire collection from Takori. Exquisite handcrafted rings from true artisans in California. And here from New York, see all the latest from Viraggio. Unique, distinctive, and personalized. Find the ring of your dreams and enjoy two years zero interest financing. Plus, at this event, when you buy any Takori or Viraggio ring, IDC will give you a $500 gift card. Buy the matching wedding band and get a $1,000 gift card. Don't miss this spectacular event featuring the most exclusive designers in bridal and let IDC's experts help you match up the most perfect diamond for the ring you'll fall in love with. It's happening this Friday through Sunday exclusively at International Diamond Center. All four Orlando locations on approved credit. How long has it been since you've checked how much you can get for your used car? GiveMeTheVin.com is America's best car buyer for a reason. Go to GiveMeTheVin.com and get an instant cash offer in 60 seconds. Everything from $2,000 to $200,000. Now is the time to sell your car, truck, or exotic at GiveMeTheVin.com. Selling your vehicle is simple, fast, and easy. Sell us your car. GiveMeTheVin.com. So easy you can do it in your underwear. Oh, oh. Good morning, YouTube. How's everybody doing? First of all, hello. Second of all, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Super helpful for us. We like you better. It makes you look prettier. It helps Russ buy new hydrogen water bottles. Right. I thought Russ was just skating bitten. He's mad. He had, to, he had to remove it from his sight. Now it's in the corner. It's in timeout. That's true. <laughs> It would drive me crazy. 100 original stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like 24-7 comedy. Men don't settle down. We surrender. Walter says, hey to angle. Fine. Who's angle? We're actually feeling, right? I'm fine. Means I'm about to stab you with his neck. Clips from today's top comedians and the greatest of all time. Donut hole. If you want a donut, have a donut. Why are you Not eating a hole? All right. I'm right. Just right. open the free iHeartRadio app and search comedy. You can actually change the station. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to millsair.com. <laughs> Ryan, it's totally normal. Unless I say Angel. No. Angel. No. If it's something is bothering you, <laughs> right? If something is bothering you, then you get it out of your line of sight. You put it away so you can't see it. That way it won't bother you. Correct? No. Yes. Russ just put his water bottle in the corner like it's in timeout. <laughs> I had to get it out of my line of sight because it was, it was driving me nuts that it wasn't working. I kept pushing the button. So I, I can see why that would work for a guy like him. So I put it away, uh, and that way I, I'll forget about it, and I'll get my other water bottle, and then I won't even think about it until later on when I'm trying to fix it. <laughs> That's I, crazy. But that way I won't obsess about it during the entire show. Do you want me sitting here hitting the button of the, you the, are 50 a, times? You're a grown man. You should be obsessing about a water bottle at all. Hey, but listen. it's just sitting in front of him the whole show. He's going to be like go to it and be like oh it yes. doesn't work oh it Listen, doesn't work obsession is my superpower obsession <laughs> is my kryptonite it does both it just depends on yeah, how you my use it it's also my scent from calvin klein <laughs> right exactly. remember when the whole world smelled like obsession yeah i do yeah. that was a good time that better time make oh, america yeah. an obsession again yeah you know, and that was uh, a good song too. Man, everything I'm looking at is through uh, through pissed off tubes. <laughs> I, I, I I libs right now because I'm uh, mad. He's so agitated. But, but I'm Did you say you're looking at the world through pissed off tubes? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I gotta, that was a sentence. I'm mean, pissed off at these tubes right here because somebody stole this uh, poor little goat. From, oh a, my from God. a feed store. Ryan, like, you got to pull what? up this pic picture. Makes, yeah, little Paulo. It's this little goat. And, and this family has this goat and a brother goat. Uh, um, what's the brother's name? Franz. Uh, Franz. Paulo and Franz. Like the Orlando Magic players. Paulo and Franz. And somebody goes into the feed store. And, allegedly. Allegedly, I guess. It's the, uh, it's the Palmer Feed and Seed. And steals little goat, little baby goat Paulo. 
Uh, where's it? Where are they located? Church Street. Church, there's a feed store yeah, on yeah, Church yeah. Street. If you go, if you go, uh, what the hell do they have a feed store on Church Street for? Well, if you go for a little bit further down from the stadium, um, then you get to a really industrial kind of part of uh, Church Street. So there's a brewery down there. There's right. a really cool. That's a really cool. Their shop is actually really cool. So a feed store. When you say those words, I imagine you're selling hay, you're selling yeah. seeds, you're yeah. selling uh, uh, plants, uh, plants. Season, seasonal plants, that kind of stuff. And, and, and they had two goats there. Yeah, that they named after. Atlanta Magic players and some okay the goat could have run away right but like Apollo could have said screw it I'm out of here I want to be traded from <laughs> you know <laughs> it could have happened uh, well yeah but from what uh all the reports are saying is that they were in an enclosure like oh. it wouldn't have been um like yeah easy for them and it's a baby goat yeah it, wait I, I feel like it could have got out which is finally the Baja men get to make their single follow-up who let the goats out? Ba, 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 ba. Who let the goats out? Ba, 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 ba. So if you hear a baby goat yelling or ble- bleeding is the word. Bleating, bleating. Bleating. Ble- yeah. me, nah. They you- sound like Taylor Swift. Bleating. If you hear that, then you know someone stole a goat and uh, oh, turned them in, man. If you go to their Instagram page, uh, it's a sad? really cool place. Yeah. So it looks like Paula went missing from Palmer's Feed and Seed either Saturday night, early Sunday morning. Uh, please help uh, find him. His brother Franz is devastated. Um, please reach out. No questions asked. Uh, it's a, Like you said, it's a predominantly brown small goat with a black line drawn down its back. With Adorable a, little goat. Oh, man. It's so cute. They got a picture of Okay, so is that, hey, hey, we're drunk. We're walking around downtown Orlando. Look, there's a, hey, there's a goat. Grab it. Is that one of those? Because I mean, you're talking about, that's downtown Orlando near Church Street. So a Yeah, lot but of- it's it's away, like where that place is at, it's away from like downtown nightlife, let's say. All right? So, like I get what you're saying, yeah, where you're rolling mm. out of some one of the bars down there, and you're like, hey, you want to steal a goat? Yeah, as a joke, yeah, right? Yeah, like yeah. You and your buddies are kidding around. Someone grabs the goat. But if I if I know where this if I'm thinking of this place correctly, <laughs> okay, maybe I have been there. <laughs> All that those nights. I've been in some wild ass parties. Uh, uh, yeah, you ever play Saga Goat Store? I mean, I could see if you're drunk when you feel you got six of your friends, y'all are talking, and you look over and there, oh, look, there's a goat. No, that's not what you're doing. Over but it, there. it can't be that easy to get into no, their it store. No, it really isn't. If you look at, uh, like I said, if you look at the enclosure that they had for them and everything, um, it doesn't look like it was just uh, out there, you know, to the general public. Like it's in, like in the back they, of the shop. They have like some kind of goat photo opportunity yeah. situation that they do. So they maybe do. somebody saw the goat, fell in love with the goat, was like, I got to bring that goat home. That's my goat now. And then stole the goat. They got baby goats, tiny chicks, and little Dory, the mini donkey. That's a party. Well, little, little Dory's fine. It's, it's poor little Apollo that's gone. This is horrible. What the hell? What's the world coming to? That sounds like an, that's an old man statement right there. But uh, I don't know, man. Why you got to steal their goat? I like that they're, they're like the, uh, their marketing on their Instagram is very funny to me. It's like, all right, come see our friendly goats. Here's goats. Here's eggs. Here's all this stuff. And here's a black dude holding a beer. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know Connor, that. Dude. I guess they sell beverages too. Uh, but you know, it, well, as you're rolling through the place, you can you know. Oh, look at I'm that. just saying, one of these things doesn't fit in in their marketing. That place looks pretty cool, actually. They've got eggs. This yeah. is on Church Street. Yeah. Again, so, that, so, we, to be honest, the best advertising they ever had is somebody steal their goat. <laughs> I mean, oh, no, 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 no. Return the goat. Uh, yeah, please return the goat. Yeah, yeah uh, let Paula go back. To, because Franz. Please bring the goats back. Ba, 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 ba. Franz's brother, they said, is devastated. Now, I don't know how they know that. Well, because he's not, he's not doing the, uh, he's moping around. Devastated is a, a strong wording for a goat, isn't it? it well, Probably fits, man. Okay. Well, they're saying, yeah, reach out if you know anyone. Uh, is that one of the things? If you could, you call Crime Line. Listen, absolutely, my, you could. Four, two, three tips. I don't want to be involved, but my neighbor never had a goat, this and now goat. there's a goat in the backyard. Hey, I got a goat. Yeah, this is Grand Theft Goat. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and there's a goat missing, and uh, I solved the problem. And you're probably called Goat Busters. <laughs> eligible for reward. Stupid. <laughs> that was from the texting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, how much is a goat? How much does a goat cost? 
Is this Grand Theft Auto? I mean, not auto, but Grand Theft? I mean, yeah, it no. is Grand Theft. It's more than $500. Guns are cheaper than you think. Grand, no, they're Grand, not. Grand Theft Goat? It's Grand Theft Goat. It's five, what? It's $500 it's be, dollars is the threshold, right? Yeah, How much is a baby goat going for? Baby goat. Between 150 and up to $500. Yeah, so this is a $500 goat because it had a cool name, Paolo. And it's a famous goat. It's a famous goat. This is, if you're good, if, yeah, if a goat is between, this is high, high end goat. This is, yeah. This is a five hundred dollar goat. He was—I mean, he had a job. He was working at the at the Palmer Seed place. Uh, he was, well, you know, taking a, photos. He's an attraction. Yeah, that's a five hundred dollar goat all day. I, I say five fifty. Five. There we it go. Is, it is Orlando, Florida. <laughs> no, an Orlando goat. That's like fifty bucks. No, I know, it's, yeah. it's, it's, a it's a rare goat. If you're, in goat. if you're in Tennessee, they're all over the place. If you're in Orlando downtown, there's not many goats, so that puts your your price up. And that, this bums me out. Can't Somebody. Have, you, can't, you can't have a goat nowadays and someone uh, steal your goat? If you, no. They, they if told you, me they stole a goat. I thought they were just kidding. If you see something, say something. <laughs> I got that right. You see somebody with a goat. <laughs> yeah. yeah, They never had a goat before. 1-800-423-TIPS. Absolutely, man. That's a de- Definitely. We should be able to uh, get to the bottom of this. So, okay, I'm asking a question. So let's say um, somebody works there and they accidentally left the little gate open and the goat just, uh, goat just kind of mm-hmm. walked away. We're raising all kinds of hell for them and they're getting all kinds of publicity. Like, like, do, do, do they come out and tell the trailer, oh, uh-oh, Susie left the gate open, sorry, found the goat. Oh, uh, you would have to, right? Found the goat in the closet. <laughs> the goat wandered into the back. I'm uh, more concerned, like, let's say something, you know, let's say, uh, you said Susie, let's go with uh, Steve. Let's say Steve left. St- Steve left. There. Yeah, left the, uh, you know, the the pen open or whatever. And yeah. so you got a goat wandering around, you know, downtown area, you know, and then yeah. runs into a, you know, a bad it, group of goats. This and- reminds me of a story that I, that I just lived through uh, a couple of days ago. <laughs> and that is, uh, you know, I was doing a little cleaning up. And, uh, you know, I, 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 I remember I told you I was going to clean up my garage, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clean up my I garage. put everything in order. And I found a little uh, a little uh, piece of uh, fencing that I uh, could use in the back to keep the dog away from this one particular area that we had, you know. But I'm going to clean up. And I kind of did that. I kind of forgot about it. And then uh, uh, later on that day, uh, Mary Ellen's like, uh, where's Beth? I'm like, I don't, I don't probably in the backyard. Where's Beth? I, I'm like, in the backyard. And she's like, you couldn't find her. I don't see her. I'm like, oh, she's fine. I mean, I want it. And the gate is open. <gasps> oh. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> and I go run in the front yard, Beth, Beth, Beth. Now, Beth is in the front yard, sitting there chilling like a villain, eating, Just on, relaxing a, eating on a stick. Yeah. But my heart is going 500 miles oh. per hour, right? So I go back, I'm going to take this Beth back. And Mary, I was like, the gate was open. I'll bet, I bet those Massey guys left the gate open. Mm. And I'm like, yeah, I'll call them, honey. I'll, yeah. I'll make sure that. Oh, no, <laughs> you can't let them take the heat on yeah. this one. No, I had forgotten, okay? I, because I'm like, I, I wasn't in and out that gate. So I had to go back to that nest thing that you got me, uh, Ryan, uh-huh. you know, the cameras. And as I'm looking, I'm like, when when did the Massey guys leave the gate open? I want to find, and there is me <laughs> ca- carrying that damn piece of gate to the back, right? Wow. And, and I'm like, oh, Jesus, that was me. Oh, and so, uh, so I walk like, back. delete? I, I walk yeah. back in there. Yeah, and, covering and, up evidence. And Mary was like, are you going to call the Massey guys? I said, well, you know, I'll probably remind them that they need to close the gate. Uh, oh. <laughs> and she, yeah, she's like, who let the dogs out? Yeah, oh my God, she's Oof. mad as she could be. And I, and I finally, I finally gave up the goat. I finally gave up the, you know, oh, the you ghost. Got the, you, oh, got the oh, goat? you got the goat. You got the goat. And I said, hey, I think I might. Uh, I, I, I think I don't. Sometimes that uh, gate won't click right, you know. And uh, oh, look at you. Yeah. <clears throat> I finally told the truth, but right. uh, it, it, I, I'm not gonna say I told it right away. A lost dog is harder to find than <sighs> uh, than a, a, a lost goat. And imagine a lost dog that you sent your wife to Copenhagen for and she flew for you know, an oh, entire you three days that cost pay. you probably about $10,000 when it was all together. Imagine yeah. that dog getting lost. Mm-hmm. You sleeping on the couch outside. <laughs> My heart was sweating profusely as soon as I, yeah. I saw the gate. As soon as I saw the gate was open, I'm like, oh, oh my God. Like, you know, and I, all I can imagine was getting hit by a car or something. Yeah. Oh, so I, I, she I, broke your water bottle. Are you guys going to chip that dog? A chi- already chipped. Okay. Already chipped. Ch- a dog's been chipped. Uh, she's got a collar on it and all that kind of stuff. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Everything yeah. a dog is supposed to have. And she's adorable. And she's getting big. She's already bigger than Bo. She's yeah. Big, she's that's big. actually not for nothing. That's actually a really good sign that all she did was just mosey on out to the front and kind of chill. Well, you know? here's, here's the thing. Uh, earlier that day, 
I had, I'd like to take both the dogs out, put them on these huge, long leashes, and let them run around in the front yard. Yeah. And I'll sit there with them and, you know. So re- she's, like, kind of familiar so with that she spot. The- so she was, yeah, that's, that's yeah. kind of cool. So thank God she uh, didn't go out of the yard. That would have been, that would have been bad. Side but- note, a question. Yeah, go ahead. Um, can you have a goat as a pet? Yeah. I like, would uh, think. Like, are you allowed How to smart have- go- I know pigs are smart. Is a goat smart? Uh... Uh, they took the SATs, but they did real bad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I only want to make bad go jokes. Hey, that was funny. Hey, hey, hold, hey, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh, look at that. You know, I lost, you know why I lost dogs harder to find than a lost goat? Why? Because everybody's always looking for a scapegoat. Okay, I lose. I lose. I had it. Lost you it. Had had you had momentum. No, no. You oh. had to slide that one in better. Oh, by the way, and I know, I know you two disagree with me, but it's okay. <laughs> a, lot. A, a lot of times, you know, we don't all have to agree. Uh, it's fine. I don't care if you, if you agree. I solved my backyard problem with the dogs. That problem is solved because I had the motion detector sprinkler thing set up. Yesterday, I go home, sitting there watching a dog that lives behind us, pops his head over the 10-foot-tall fence again, bark, 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 bark. Uh, My dogs go running out to go bark at him, too. It it, it took a little, it took a couple seconds because the motion detector didn't go off right away. All of a sudden... It sprays them all, all three of them, and they all shut the hell up. And, uh, and so, by about uh, ten minutes after that, the whole uh, the whole thing had stopped. Like, the, like the dog stopped popping his head up. Uh, my dog stopped barking. Everybody was happy. And, 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 and in one day, uh, it solved that. I'm problem. glad that worked out for you. I, I'm not going to uh, give you a hard time about that because then all of a sudden, Ryan, uh, we, you, and I get uh, labeled as. Uh, woke people because we thought that it was funny to say the words dog assault yeah you know like, <laughs> we were, just funny like, like it was a funny thing and we're joking yeah. and then later on that, uh, yeah oh russ don't listen to ryan and angel they're they're just a bunch of pussies i, know. I was and, like i, I was and, like and, dude and, it was funny and i text back i know right yeah. <laughs> so according to the, the it didn't spray the dog and hurt it it's, it's sprinkle it's a sprinkler sprinkle I mean, I'm glad you uh, figured that up problem out for yourself. Yeah. Now, now fix your water thing. Now I got to fix it. Oh, I forgot about it. And you never remind nah. me. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Goats are apparently smarter than dogs. No. Across the board, yeah. Huh. So there you go. <laughs> All right, so we got that are, part. Are and they then we, smelly? That's good. why they're hard, I guess, to keep as pets, though, because they're always getting into something because they have uh, something... Uh, known as executive function. They're goat smelly though, right? Like they, uh, 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 goats, like farm animals. They don't so smell good. They yeah. smell like goats. Yeah. What if, okay, so if you bathe the goat and give it some sort of cologne or something, would it smell better? Yeah. You just use the dog shampoo on it. Okay. Yeah, you, this, know, you know what kind of cologne goats use, right? What do they use? Uh, goat she. <laughs> <laughs> we got this text coming in. Uh, goats and sheep uh, pee and poop while they walk around. Not good pets. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, they don't even. Yeah, they don't even break stride. They're just. They're yeah, pretty, they're, but my dementia it's, it's grandma. Pellets, and I still though. loved her. <laughs> <laughs> so I can learn. So there's that. It's the pellet kind of uh, poop, though. You know right? what freaks me yeah. out though? Yeah, yeah, yeah they, it, it, it's like little pellets, but their eyes freak me out. Like I used Cold to eyes? be like, yeah, because they got the the rectangle eyes. Yeah, don't they have the slit like uh, yeah. like the devil, the uh, devil slit? Yeah, yeah. So I don't. Oh man, you and can't tell me. Look, I'm looking at a hooved Paolo. animal. Dude. They're, they're a hooved animal that's straight from the devil. I'm looking at Paolo right now. An image of him. He's he's beautiful. Yeah, well, the, no. the, he's devil, not the, devil, the devil is beautiful. Didn't you read the Bible? No. Yeah, it's hard to read. That. <laughs> <laughs> no, that that, that goat's got crazy eyes. Uh, that missing, I oh, it is adorable though. Oh, that picture is different than the one that uh, for, on uh, Channel Two. I'm looking at Wesh, but you got w- the one from their. Uh, Look at that picture. Website. Look at him. Oh, that is adorable. That goat's the devil. No, he's not. Take it back. <laughs> I hope it. Paolo I ho- and I, Frowns. I, I hope he's found, but I will not be going near your devil goat. If you know who stole Paolo the goat, little baby goat, turn him in. One eight hundred four two three. No questions tips. asked. No questions asked. And then uh, I wonder if they'll go and uh, I mean, what do they do? They go knock on the door. Do they send over like real police and everything like SWAT? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine? Yeah. They're gonna Get send, down. <laughs> they're going to send SWAT in yeah. to rescue Paolo. <laughs> I watched a thing yesterday. Now, I don't know if it's real because it was on reels on, on Facebook, right? But I believe it was real. It looked real. Oh, no. And it was this uh, these three uh, uh, officers that were arresting this woman because she had jumped bail or something like that. 
and um, it was intense, man. Like, it, like, like, because this one dude was like, "Get off my property!" He wouldn't let him on the property because, listen, we're police. Uh, we can, we can be here. Well, you got to show me the warrant. He's like, "That's in that envelope," and I'm like, "That's weird. I didn't know you." you, you like, you, the, I thought they had to actually show the the warrant. But they arrest it, and they start shooting a guy with rubber bullets, and they arrest him, and, and and then the woman comes out, she's raising hell, and they're shooting her rubber bullets. I'm like, damn, that, that I didn't. I've re- seen a different film on that when it's uh, three dudes arresting a woman, but that was on Pornhub. <laughs> Did she put up a fight? And they, you know, they, yeah. they definitely shoot her or something. <laughs> yeah, put uh, up a real big fight. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh. <laughs> well, I hope this goat gets found. This is this is important. This is, what, is, this is what our tax dollars should go to. It, I, 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 I got to say that it's such a weird crime, but that is such a, it's a bit of a high crime area. I know, but if it's, oh, but if it's, oh, if it was a Jamaican gang, I'd go to, go, <laughs> that damn poor goat, he's done, he's gone. Why? 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 They, they, why? Eat, why? they eat curry goat, right? I, I had a friend who was Jamaican and he loved curry goat. Yeah, but they're not going to eat a little baby goat. It's oh, not enough that's meat a, on it's it. It's a delicacy. It's not enough meat on it. It's, it's just like getting a baby a calf, right? It's uh, what is that called? That's veal. Veal. That's like, a, that's like veal. Yeah, yeah. yeah, get baby goat's gill. <laughs> Delicious. So we're looking, we're looking for a very full Jamaican man. Uh, look for the Jamaican gangs. That's who's got the goat. <laughs> and you better, you better really work on this quickly. <laughs> work on it fast. Uh, I used to go to a place down there uh, when I had my. This is a long time ago, uh, and it was a Jamaican. Uh, where they made Jamaican patties called Negro Palms was the name of the place. I remember that place, Negro Palms, and we delivered chairs Risky. there all the time. And uh, yeah. and, and and they always wanted me to eat goat, and I'm like, man, I don't know. And I come up, and finally he said, have this Jamaican patty. What what's in it? Because it's got meat. I'm like, okay, I didn't even put two and two mm. together. And the guy was like, ah, I finally got you to eat goat. And I'm like, son of a bitch. Oh, uh, dude, Jamaican food is some of the best food uh, out there, dude. Jama- I, look, I love a damn Jamaican patty. Yeah. The, uh, something about the way they do it, something about the patties. I've had that, yeah. The, had the, 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 it's, uh, I don't know what the, the, the crust stuff. Ah, uh, Jamaican patty goats are, or uh, Jamaican patty. Oh, now he's yeah, thinking yeah, about yeah, eating yeah, this yeah. baby goat. Nah, it's, it's a gone full circle. Yeah. He's it's, already gotten it and uh, making the patties out of it. It's a meat patty. If you've uh, never had a Jamaican patty, it is uh, it's, it's down. I mean, I, I like goat cheese. Yeah. I don't know if I, you don't like goat cheese. Goat cheese might be the best cheese. <laughs> really? Yeah. Like you never have a is goat it, cheese. Is it made from goat milk? Is that is that why it's called goat cheese? No, it's a goat. He just makes it. No, no. Yeah, he's a, milking a cow with his tiny it, hooves. I'm being serious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's made, it's with made goat from milk. goat's milk. With yeah. goat milk. Yeah. yeah. It's good. It's actually really good. Yeah. Well, all right. Listen, if you know who stole Paulo, come on, take man. him back to Palmer Feed Store right here in, in Orlando, right there down Church actually, Street. Better yet, what you could bring him to the radio station, and we'll yeah, have, and we'll have we'll take him. No questions asked. Give you we'll, give you a two monster T-shirts. Boom. We'll give you two monster T-shirts. I mean, they may or may not be from Christmas three years ago, but we'll give yeah. you. I'm giving one of the monster magnets right here. Monster magnet Boom. T-shirts. You bring the goat here, and then we'll have a press conference. We will not give you. We will not yep. say it's you. You know, we, yeah. uh, we, we will not give you up. We'll just take the goat. Ryan will take the goat. Ryan will put the goat in his car, and Ryan will take it <laughs> no, to, no, to Palmer, no. Palmer Freed Store, and then we get to be heroes. Yes, again. Boom. In Orlando. Come on. So Hell yeah. Bring the goat to the monster. Yes. Man, there's going to be people that are just going to show up with a bunch of farm animals. <laughs> no, today. it's got to be Paolo. We got we got pictures of Paolo. Yeah, we we ain't taking any other goat, Paolo. Yeah, I don't know if you showed up with like a baby cow, I might take you home. What would you do with a cow? What the hell are you gonna do with a cow? Well, first of all, free milk. Okay. <laughs> That's obviously what. Like I feel like I, I got a big backyard. I could have a cow back there. I hope it's a bull, and you're trying to milk it. <laughs> That'd be the best. All right, yeah, you're listening to the Monsters of the Morning. <laughs> You text us at 77031, and we say it on the air. Sometimes. We might even give you credit. Standard data and message rates apply. Real Mobile is powered by Orange Buick GMC and orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. This is three-time Pro Bowler LeVar Arrington. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network. Presented by Staples Stores. Linebacker Levante David is returning to the Buccaneers for a 13th season. He led the team with 134 tackles last year while adding four and a half sacks. The Lightning wrap up their five-game homestand tomorrow night against the New York Rangers and continue to hold the top wildcard spot in the East. And today marks the new league year in the NFL, which will officially begin this afternoon and allows teams to formally sign players and accept trades. I'm J.D. Haffron. 
Staples Print Big Sale means the more you print, the more you save. Get $20 off your print purchase of 100 or more, 50 off your print purchase of 200 or more, and 100 off your print purchase of 300 or more. Offer ends 4 6. See staples.com slash print for details. Print more, save more at Staples. For more information about contests on this station, go to realradio.fm slash rules. Here's another remarkable success story from QC Kinetics. This one from Chad, who hurt his knee at the gym one day, and it just kept on hurting for months. From my high school football and wrestling days, I already had a little bit of damage in there, but this just sent it over the edge. Chad tried traditional treatments with no improvement when he turned to the non-surgical regenerative treatments at QC Kinetics. It was really fascinating how they did their work, and the science behind it was very intriguing, and it works. Extracting the cure out of my own body blew my mind. It's like I'm brand new again. It was fantastic. That's because the QC Kinetics natural biologic treatments use your body's own healing power to restore damaged tissue in your hips, shoulders, back, and knees, providing long-lasting relief. Now I'm back at the gym. I'm 100% feeling great. If you're tired of suffering with pain from arthritis or injury, call QC Kinetics now for a free consultation. Call QC Kinetics, 689-244-7980. That's 689-244-7980. In Orlando, Winter Park, The Villages, and Lake Mary, 689 689- 9 Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. At Mayo Clinic in Florida, we're conquering the unconquerable. Using artificial intelligence and data, our experts can create a personalized gene roadmap just for you, customizing your cancer treatment, giving your body exactly what it needs to fight the disease. We're making more possible at Mayo Clinic because every day we're doing what's never been done. Learn more at mayoclinic.org slash possible. Mayo Clinic, you know where to go. If you've ever considered a career in the skilled trades industry but you don't know where to start, come visit the job fair at Kalos Services in Claremont on Saturday, March 23rd from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're hiring for several positions across all trades, including commercial and residential HVAC, electrical, plumbing, and more. We're offering on-the-spot interviews and provide on-the-job training, so no prior experience is required. To find out more, visit kalosflorida.com slash jobs or text or call 352-243-70. If it's time for you to get some new windows, reach out to Mike the Home Builder and his team of professionals at the Home Builders Network. Let me tell you what you will get when Mike takes care of you. Great quality windows, great installation, and great service, all for a fair price. What you won't get is a window company that moves into your house for three hours when they come in for the free estimate, pressuring you for the sale. Use someone local, someone you can trust. Go to myhomebuildersnetwork.com. Hey, what's good, guys? This is Angel from the Monsters. You guys know I love to cook on my big green egg. Why? It's impressive, and everything turns out great on the big green egg. If you don't have one, you got to go to Wasi's Meat Market and get a big green egg. They have the lowest prices in the country. They also have all the accessories, everything that you need. They have the classroom set up so you can teach you the basic techniques on the big green egg and advanced techniques on the big green egg as well. When you get the big green egg from Wasi's Meat Market, there's a lifetime guarantee, so check them out. It's Wasi's Meat Market. Check them on Instagram or go to their website, wassiesmeatmarket.com in Melbourne on Wickham Road. It's Wasi's Meat Market. Hey, everyone. It's Ted from Consumer Cellular, the guy in the orange sweater, and this is your wake-up call. If you're paying too much for wireless service, you don't have to keep having that nightmare. Consumer Cellular has the same fast, reliable coverage as the leading carriers for up to half the cost. So why keep spending more than you have to? Seriously, wake up. 
and call 1-888-FREEDOM or visit ConsumerCellular.com. Savings based on cost of Consumer Cellular single line 1, 5, and 10 gig data plans with unlimited talk and text compared to lowest cost single line postpaid unlimited talk text and data plans offered by T-Mobile and Verizon January 2024. The winners are in from our 2024 iHeart Podcast Awards presented by The Hartford live at South by Southwest. Ladies and gentlemen, best comedy podcast. This is important. Best health and wellness podcast on purpose with Jay Shetty. Best sports podcast, Club Shay Shay. Best crime podcast, Crime Junkie, and Podcast of the Year, New Heights. Congratulations to all the winners we honor. Hear these 2024 iHeart Podcast Award winners anytime on the free iHeart Radio app. Hey, Zero Res, you know you should clean your carpet and tile, right? But you don't know there is a right way to do it. You might not know that. There's a patented ZR water that uh, Zero Res has, and it leaves no sticky residue, no sticky soap or chemicals at all, and that's why you need to use Zero Res. Zero Res uses that special ZR water. They bring their own water with them. They don't use your water. It dries faster, and it's safe for kids and for pets. Mention my name, Russ Rollins, or the Monsters. You get 20% off tile and grout cleaning, and it's... uh, $49 per room to clean carpets. It's Zero Res. Right here, if you just go online, go to OrlandoZeroRes.com. That's OrlandoZeroRes.com. They can clean everything for you much cheaper than you can do it yourself, and they do a much better job with that ZR water. Zero Res, spelled forwards or backwards, it's the right way to clean. Someone's going to need to call uh, D Strong asking about that goat. <laughs> he is in the downtown area a lot. Uh, we, I, we got to see D Strong last Friday. I hadn't seen him in a while, and uh, what a good dude, man! He's uh, he's doing great. His uh, his hats, his uh, slabba hats, are, slab ranks. and uh, slabba ranks and, slabs slabs. Yeah, d- uh, doing great. He's selling a bunch of uh, hats and T-shirts. Yeah, his uh, merch. Yeah, he uh, the merch that he's uh, developed with that particular brand is absolutely fantastic. Follow D Strong on Instagram because uh, one day a week, I think it's either Tuesdays. Yeah, or maybe I mean, oh, yeah, I'll look it up. But he does a hat giveaway of just if you leave a comment in the sections and uh, in the comment section on his Instagram. Feed. Yeah, he came up with this cool little logo of a fish because uh-huh. he loves bass fishing. And uh, and he kind of just developed this brand of hats and T-shirts and stuff, and and uh, it's a local thing. But he's doing really well, and his uh, his little baby's doing good. And his baby's like two years old now. Yeah, remember like when he was on the show? I remember her just him just telling us that uh, you know she had gotten pregnant. Right, and that was more than two years ago. It happens fast, man. That's how time works, I guess. Yeah, it is how time works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be weird if she got younger. Hey, uh, I remember last time it was just us three. I told you the story of uh, that horrible person that was uh, spitting gum into the um, into the uh, the planter out here. Uh, a terrible person. That was you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but and as we talked about that story, though, I said I don't think people chew gum anymore. It's weird, right? So just yesterday, I didn't get a chance to get to it, but just yesterday there was a, a story out. I think it was in like New York Times or something like that. Uh, and gum sales have gone down. Chewing gum sales have gone down thirty percent since the pandemic, and have have even dropped even lower here recently. And they're like the, the gum industry might be done uh, from what they're saying. Like people aren't chewing chewing gum anymore now in the article i didn't see exactly why they stopped during the pandemic why why do you think the pandemic affect you know affected gum so, usage I, I think it was because uh right so typically you're chewing on gum to freshen your breath mm-hmm. and for the pandemic you would weren't having to go into the office like or who that, cared? Yeah. yeah the other part of it though uh, it was a fortune magazine article that gen z yeah. hasn't adopted gum at all they're more into the sour candies and all these other things and they're not into gum at all and so that's why another contributing factor to gum sales going down yeah i prefer a tic tac or a little a, a little mint or something like that matter of fact i need to i'm gonna st- after i'm out done with this gum i'm gonna go back to uh altoids oh you, did you ever get in the altoid uh, yeah uh, they're curiously strong they're really strong uh, i feel like i was being a man if i had an altoid no that's that's uh, really that's, fighting the, your breath you know the other thing um think about this a lot of this stuff is their impulse buys as yeah. well yeah so you're like you're in the in the uh, cash line to go cash out you're like oh let me get a pack of gum let me get uh, this or whatever and during the pandemic we you know 
you weren't shopping as much as you used to. You That's were getting true. a bunch of stuff delivered to the house. So then people realized, eh, I didn't really need gum yeah. and then they're not, because it has not recovered. And they're saying that the, the gum industry is in shambles. They need a breakthrough, man. Gum technology hasn't done anything cool in forever. It is sort of silly if you think about it. I got this piece of like basically rubber that, that I'm going to chew on for a while yeah. just to get the sugar out of it. And then I'm going to spit it out because it's gross after a while. I think it's just Gen Z don't got money, guys. Like they, that those kids, their job opportunities suck, and they don't spend. They don't actually spend a ton of money on anything. You think that's what it is? Yeah, Gen Z is screwed. Sorry, guys. Uh, you know every every damn, single dude. every <laughs> this happens. It doesn't matter what generation you're from. You always think that the next one coming is screwed, and they always end up doing just as great, if not better. Like it, 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 that is patently false. That is something that has always it, it's always happened. It, That's patently history. false. Millennials make twenty percent less than what boomers did at the same time. So they're it's just it's just patently false. Oh, you're, Gen, oh you're talking about you're talking about as far as uh, I'm talking econ- money. economically. Gen Z, their job opportunities are bad. Their income level horrible. So they the people are always like, oh, Gen Z is killing this. Gen Z is killing that. It's because they can't they can't afford it. They don't have the disposable income that even I had at that age, uh, I which think, is which is super sad. I, I think they're happier. No, they're not. They're actually way sadder. It's a whole thing. They got a super loneliness problem as well because of, uh, especially through the pandemic, they're all in screens, but they don't actually talk to each other. That generation, man, I, 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 I feel for them. Well, they're prettier. They're pretty. They're not prettier because they don't have preservatives in the food. <laughs> you just, you're just like you are. You I got, are, I got one for everything. Give me another my one. My God, you're you're downer, down, down, Debbie downer. Well, me over and here. Christina are actually talking about this because like uh, it, it was fu- it was like a funny conversation we we're having. We're like we're like Gen Z kind of looks a little older than than like we did as kids. Like, and we're trying to figure. And we're, we we landed on that they're like that they don't have the preservatives in their food so they're just more haggard looking across the board <laughs> okay. it's how i feel about it i could that could just be my own conspiracy theory but give me all the preservatives in my food i look great well in that book i was just reading it talks about how every generation's convinced the mm-hmm. generation that's coming up is going to fail they're horrible everything is really bad but but throughout time well, it has never been that so so you say finally the generation thing doesn't work no, for, the point, for once in the history of the world what you're speaking on is juvenile where you're always like, oh, this generation doesn't know anything, and yes. they're behind, and they're like, because even Plato, you can go back to Plato, and he he's yelling about the youth rioting in the streets. Yes, and before, uh, like people back in like the 1700s used to be like, all these kids do is sit around and read books all day. Right. Uh, so that that's always been a thing. I'm talking purely from an economic standpoint, hard fast math. They are worse off. It's like, you know, us sitting around going, oh, all they do is play computer games. And now, you know, AI and computers rule the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, like we're always convinced. But is that good for humanity, though? I don't think, I think throwing a, an iPad in a baby's hand from jump is a terrible plan for humanity. Well, you know what? Here's the proof. The other generation doesn't chew gum. <laughs> <laughs> you got that. <laughs> Two more gum. Two more gum, you'll be fine. Angel, what prize do we have in the prize pinata? Today's prize pinata is brought to you by, excuse me, our great friends over there at Cento Family Moving and Storage. They are Central Florida's trusted source for local and long distance moving services. From packing to delivery, Cento Moving is fully licensed and insured to provide you a seamless moving experience. All you have to do is go to the website, CentoMoving.com, C-E-N-T-O Moving.com, Cento Family Moving and Stores. Forget the stress and move with the best. Russ, in today's prize pinata, up first, we have... Oh, man, this is going to be awkward. What? It's the Gum 500 presented by (laughs) Trident. No, we got a goat to give away named Paulo. Uh. (laughs) Don't eat that goat. Uh, so they didn't uh, load prizes. Oh, What's right. today? What is today? Is Wednesday? Today Wednesday. is Wednesday, Wednesday, the 13th of March. All hey, right. we got a broke-ass uh, water bottle we can give them. We got oh, a pair of tickets to that. Brooks and Dunn at Mid-Florida Credit Union Amp- Amphitheater in Tampa on May the 4th. They're awesome. And... We'll see what other prizes I can add on there uh, before we come back. There'll be amazing prizes. Yeah, All yeah, you got to yeah. do is get on the line, 407-916-1041. <laughs> Remember, when you win trivia, not only do you win one of those amazing prizes he's going to pull out, uh, but you also get to plug and promote whatever's important to you, which is a lot of fun. We get to know you a little bit, and you get to promote something that's important to you. So we'll do that when we return. You're listening to the Monster of the Morning. Oh. In four days. Junkies Just OK 8, presented by Mills Air and JustCallMo.com. This Saturday at the Plaza Live. Get your tickets now at realradio.fm slash justok.
From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center. Shop the best quality jewelry and lowest price. Goldsmithjewelry.com. Eastbound I-4 is very slow from the X-27 to State for 429. Got a crash. All right, you two. Russ hit his water bottle. I'm going to move it back somewhere. John Young Parkway at Colonial Drive. What are you doing? I did. Investigated from overnight northbound at I-95 north of O'Galley Boulevard. Two right lanes are blocked. See traffic problems? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-667-477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Dave. This report is sponsored by Silk. Feel plenty good. Shop wherever you find groceries. Feel plenty good by incorporating go. Silk into your morning routine. Silk's delicious plant-based beverages help bring a daily dose of goodness. They are rich in calcium and a good source of vitamins A and D to support the health of you and your family. Shop wherever you, you don't find groceries. You like to groceries. brim my hat? I'm Jeff. I'm about to make a diving board and jump off Brian's hat. <laughs> shut when I got up. There, she was in shut, shut your mouth. Injury. She's had a long recovery. We needed an attorney. Where's Carlos? He's out today. Recommended Glenn Clausman. Glenn Clausman was available 24 7 to help. We've been blessed by my wife's recovery. The results from Glenn Clausman. That is illegal. Way more than expected. No. He's more than a friend <laughs> for us. He's a friend. Call him at 407 917 1718 Law.com. Office Winter Park. When you call me for an injury case, you don't pay a dime unless we win. The call and the advice are always free. Injured on the go, just call Mo. 866 Call Mo. Mo DeWitt. Orlando's injury attorneys. The number one cause of accidents is distracted driving, like cell phones, eating, and playing with the radio. So leave it right here on Real Radio. Injured on the go? Just call Mo.com. Mo DeWitt, Orlando's injury attorney. International Diamond Center invites you to step into a world of elegance. And Please don't talk over traffic. I'm so sorry. My bad. Guess what? I-4 is jammed. Every road that you want to be on, jammed. You're going to be late. See the entire collection from Takori. Exquisite handcrafted rings from true artisans in California. God damn it. See all the latest from Baraggio. <laughs> Ryan, why haven't you got to do a guest set on Kaufman's Comet Night? Because it's on Wednesday nights. Your boy goes to bed. I'll do any comedy during the week. Ridiculous. He does zero. I do zero comedy on this show. None. Oh. Sunday morning for my wife. Locations on approved credit. This is Steve Kramer. Let me tell you a business. Where's your green shirt, Russ? He's wearing. It says Ireland. Selling awards. Green, huh? That's green. Awards earned by your lawyer are from respected you need to get organizations. Your yeah, eyes check, Lady Jane. Our lawyers have been recognized by Orlando Magazine best and lawyers. And I bought it in Ireland. To trend legal elite, super lawyers, and listed in U.S. News as a best law firm for years. We've earned the awards that can't be bought. Trinley Kramer, TK Law, one firm for life. Com. My wife and I both listened to just last last night for a few months, and then yeah. some congestion. Good show, the like them guys. Close like them boys. Just super congested. That lineup the time is we great. Taking everything we possibly could, but nothing really worked. Kyrie was miserable until a friend recommended Navage. Navage offers immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus, yes, germs, and other airborne irritants. Don't live in misery this cold season. Use Navage so so you can what did I say? sleep better. You came in and you yelled, God damn it. Right oh. The mm -hmm. biggest thing Navage has done has oh, yeah, really cleaned out, out, out my nasal passages. It, it was God, from God. the first use. I was able to just clear out anything that was stopping me from breathing correctly. Navage helps me clear the way, literally clear the way, for me to operate better in the rest of my life. Experience the Navage difference yourself. <laughs> Navage is available at Navage.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Want to win a free motorcycle? I'm Orlando attorney Mo DeWitt, and I'm giving away a free motorcycle valued up to $20,000. All you have to do is go to bikerswinorlando.com. That's bikerswinorlando.com. Enter today at bikerswinorlando.com. 
everyone, it's Ted from Consumer Cellular, the guy in the orange sweater, and this is your wake-up call. If you're paying too much for wireless service, you don't have to keep having that nightmare. Consumer Cellular has the same fast, reliable coverage as the leading carriers for up to half the cost. So why keep spending more? Yes, I'm in the chat, but I never know when he has the, the mic on or not, so I just type. Or visit ConsumerCellular.com. Savings based on cost of Consumer Cellular. Is this thing on? 10 gig data plans with unlimited talk and text compared to lowest cost single line postpaid unlimited talk text and data plans offered by T-Mobile and Verizon January 2024. This is trial attorney Jeff Coffin from the injury law firm of Coffin and Lind. Yes, another attorney commercial. When people ask me what they should look for when they're hiring an attorney, I make it pretty simple. One, has your attorney been practicing for more than 10 years? Two, do they pick up the phone when you call? And three, do they actually care about you? If this works for you, contact us at oneunionist.com or dial pound 546. Office. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. Good morning and happy Wednesday, Central Florida. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast. And we are expecting another warm day across Central Florida. Temperatures will warm their way into oh, yeah. the low 80s. They don't chew gum because they're too busy vaping. That's their thing. We'll That's true, too. Clouds, along with an isolated chance of a few sprinkles, but only a 10% chance. As we head to tomorrow, even warmer temperatures with highs approaching the upper 80s by the end of the week, low 90s by Sunday. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by Indeed.com. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Their all-in-one platform helps you attract, interview, and hire candidates all from one place. And Indeed's interview tool lets you schedule and conduct virtual interviews right from their website. Visit Indeed.com slash credit. Look to Orange Buick GMC for your next truck at OrangeBuickGMC.com. We are professional grade. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Radio. Radio. Making his way to the ring from Orlando, Florida, Triple R, Russ Ray Rollins! Yeah. Hey, it's brought to you by HBNUSA.com. That's Home Builders Network, HBNUSA.com. For years, you've heard me talk about Mike the Home Builder. He does a great job. Uh, since it's been a couple decades, you know he's not a fly-by-night guy. He's right here in Central Florida, and uh, he can help you with your roof. You got a leak in your roof, and that's all you need is it patched. He can do that. If you need an entire new roof, he can do a great job at that as well. He did it for uh, Angelique the Dancer Queen and did a great job for her. He's always, uh, I've, uh, if I ever have a roof problem, he's the guy that fixes it for me. He does a great job, and he also put the gutters on my house and the covers on the gutters. Beautiful job with that. He's a good dude, man. I like Mike. He's a good fella. It's uh, myhomebuildersnetwork.com. Or go to hbnusa.com, hbnusa.com. Great installation. He does uh, windows and doors. He's a good guy, man. It's uh, Home Builders Network, hbnusa.com. Well, I see the lines are packed. Who we got, Angel? Who do you want? All right, real quick. Also, to add on to those prizes, we got the Brooks and Dunn tickets, but we also have a pair of tickets to see the Orlando Magic take on the Toronto Raptors Sunday, March the 17th at the Kia Center. Game time there is 6 p.m. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Up first, we're going to have uh, Sarah is calling from Kissimmee. Hi, Sarah. How you doing? Sarah, uh, this is Dana. Donna, all right. We'll talk to Donna. Yeah. Hi, Donna. Yeah. How are you doing, I Donna? I want to talk to Sarah. <laughs> I'm good. Good, Donna. Listen, I have a trivia question for you. If you get it right. Okay. Uh, if you get it right, you're the queen, Queen Donna. You get to plug and promote whatever's important to you. If you don't get it right, don't worry, because you got two guys here that can help you. It could be Ryan Holmes or Angel. Are you ready, Donna? Yes. All right. 55 years ago today, in the year 1969, Disney released a movie about a car. What was the name of the movie? No, I know. Uh, oh, oh, I know it, and I can't think of it. Um, First thing that oh, comes I, to your mind. I, blue. <laughs> blue. 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 It was not blue. No. Who do you want to help? You've got Angel, and you've uh, got Ryan Holmes. 
Ryan's got to know. Ryan, 55 years ago today, in the year 1969, Disney released a movie about a car. What was the name of the movie? Man. Okay, so this one, I thought I knew it, and then I realized I might not know it. Uh-oh. And then I was mad about that. Because oh, no. the one I'm thinking of, I don't think it's a Disney movie. Uh-huh. <sighs> Man. So yeah. my first went my first instinct is my only instinct, and that is Chitty Chitty <gasps> Bang Bang. No, it's Damn not it. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Who do we got? It's a movie up? about a car. Who we got up next? Uh, up next, we've that's got. Not a, that's not a Disney movie, though. We got Linwood from Edgewater. Linwood from Edgewater. Uh, Linwood, how you doing? I'm doing fantastic. How's everybody doing? I have wonderful Linwood. 55 years ago today, in the year 1969, Disney released a movie about a car. What was the name of the movie? It's got to be Herbie the Love Bug. It's the Love Bug. That's right. No. Oh, I can't believe you. I was. Uh, Ryan wasn't the only one, though. We got a bunch of textures that jumped on real quick, and they all thought it was Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, too. Yeah, that was you the You got to be careful how you say that. Yeah. That, that was Chitty, the Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Chitty yeah. Chitty. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, I think, was I a bit uh, a bit older than that. I think that was 66 or so. 68. Uh, uh, was it 68? Okay. Uh, and that was with Dick Van Dyke. I used to love Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Yeah. But, uh, but Herbie the Love Bug came out a little bit later, and that was, matter of fact, I think there was a, a Herbie the Love Bug 2. I think that uh, one oh, answer. There was a bunch of those. Was there a bunch? Yeah. And uh, I remember it being a big deal. Uh, I remember seeing it as a kid. But did you? And then if you go to Disney, they used to have Herbie the Love Bug out there. Someone driving around in the car, and uh, you know, and the car would talk and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. But, but you don't remember. No, it all. But Herbie I, didn't talk. All he did was honk. He okay. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. He did that, but he had feelings. Yeah. yeah. For me, it's I'm a Chitty Chitty Bang Bang boy. All right, like it's it, that. That's my flying car, crazy talky car movie from that era. Yeah, it could it could fly. That was what was cool about Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. But Herbie I was vaguely remember that Herbie no? was nicer. Her, Herbie the Love Bug was nicer, cuter, uh, could win a race. Yeah, but it's also in 2024. It all sounds like you're yelling at something really bad. If you go Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, Dick Van Dyke. Chitty Chitty Bang. Oh, you. Yeah, what's the Herbie Love song? What's the what's the Herbie? They have an iconic song. Herbie. No, no, no. Herbie had a a love bug. I don't think there was a song for Herbie the Love. It was an instrumental. Mm. I don't know if I would hear it. I liked it. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, written by favorite author as a kid, Roald Dahl. That's odd that you like Chitty Chitty Bang Bang because that's a lot older. Like, like the uh, song was fun when you're a kid, man. That that Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. I love you. So I don't even remember that Your mom would rent it for you or something because you know what? No, that was one we had on the VHS passed down. Like we we had all these old movies from my aunt or something, and these were like one of them. Is the this old Popeyes cartoons? What oh, is this? That's Herbie the Love Bug song. This is crap. Herbie the Love Bug. No. Her, that, that's the Herbie the Love Bug Not song. Not as good. Uh, uh, in a race, who wins? Herbie. Chitty Bang Bang can fly. Just flies to the finish. Done. Herbie's determined. Her, Herbie's determined. Herbie beat a Ferrari. Herbie, what, what, is, what is the backstory of Herbie the Love Bug? It's a car that's infested with the soul of the rapist of it, 900 children? No, 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 no. It, oh, that's oh Freddy Krueger. <laughs> Herbie <laughs> was a, a, a bu- you know, like a... V- He's a love bug. A, a VW, uh-huh. and, and he wasn't supposed to win the race because he's, oh, look at that VW, he can't win the race. And then somehow it has feelings and it talks. It, it doesn't talk to you. It honks, right? Yeah. Honk talks, you know? Uh, and didn't he uh, wink his eyes or something? Like like, like the... Uh, I think in later episodes they uh, it did. Oh, uh, okay. But in, in that first one, I don't think it did. And he wins the race against Ferraris. Yeah, everybody. He, yeah it beat a Ferrari 250 GT. Shows you he could do it all. Linwood. you an Austin Healy. You're a winner, buddy. What, uh, what prize are you going to take with you? I got to take the Brooks and Dunn. Hell yeah, Brooks and Dunn. And, and where's that at, uh, Angel? Is that in uh, Tampa? Uh, Brooks and Dunn concert is going to be at, one moment, sir, at the, uh, no, it's at the, oh yeah, it is, Mid-Florida Credit Union Amphitheater in Tampa. Damn, yeah. there are a lot of movies in the Herbie, like, I told canon. you. How many yeah. Herbie movies are there? Okay, so there's The Love Bug, the original. Yeah, yeah. There's Herbie Rides Again. Of course oh. he does. Herbie yes. Goes to Monte Carlo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Herbie Goes Bananas from yes. 1980. What did he do? How did he go bananas? What happened? Uh, well, the the soul that lived inside his body kept running over people. Uh, <laughs> there's The Love Bug. And then, I do remember this one, 2005. 
Knives, Herbie Fully Loaded. <laughs> no, there's not. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think Lindsay Lohan's in that movie. Yep. Herbie Fully Loaded? Yeah, yeah Lindsay, Lindsay Lohan is in that movie. Yeah, yeah. That's when I remember, too. I didn't realize that was a continuation of the Herb series. Yeah. Herbie, her, 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 Herbie. And it wasn't, <laughs> actually, it wasn't that bad of a movie, though. Again, it was it's for kids. It's a kids movie, but, yeah. uh, and this is before Lindsay, you know, went off the rails for a little bit. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, she was drunk driving that Herbie. Well, you didn't have, you didn't have to worry about it. That's the, ah, that's the other thing I remember. Uh, who was, there was a, uh, British actor and, or no, he wasn't British. He just had a funny voice and all he drank were, uh, what's a loaded coffee? Uh, I, he was, he Irish got coffee? drunk on Irish coffees and they came in and sabotaged Herbie and then he felt all bad. And then, uh, he was drunk driving. Uh, no. And then the guy, Michael like, Keaton. No. no, no, no. This isn't like one of the first ones. And then he, he ends up, like, losing a, a section of the race or something. And then uh, Herbie runs off uh, because the guy yells at him and he wants to get, like, a fancy, uh, a fancier car Buddy now. Hackett. Buddy Hackett. Yeah. Oh, he's, crazy he's, dude. He's drinking Irish coffees. Uh, I used to love Buddy Hackett. Yeah. And so and we didn't. And then, so, we, like, we were so young. you have seen this. No, no I, I'm just because you said that, that triggered it. Because yeah. I remember then, because me and my brother, we're like, we didn't know. We didn't understand what drunk was. or what, what that. Was. And so we were like, oh, we want Irish coffees because it'll make us act silly. So in a. So in a, a Disney in a kids movie, movie a guy, kids guy movie, getting ripped. Guy gets drunk, and, he, and, and, and does he drive Herbie? Or, or no, he he no, got Herbie's so Herbie's drunk driving himself, right? Uh, I think, or or, yeah. or he got so, or Buddy Hackett's character got so drunk that the guy that was trying to win the race came in and sabotaged Herbie. Gotcha. All I right. Th- well, Linwood, we've learned Spoiler everything alert. we need to know about Herbie. We know now. Uh, and you are the winner, sir, so we're going to put you on hold when we come back. You, you, you. you can plug and promote and tell us about whatever's important to you. Use your time wisely because it's a, a free commercial on Real Radio. Everyone's going to hear it, okay? I put him on hold. All right, buddy. And we'll do that when we come back. You're listening to the Monsters of the Morning. Need to hear someone else's opinions before reconciling your own internal phobias? We got you, fam. Hey, Alexa, play Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Eastbound I-4 is very slow from U.S. 27 to State Road 429. An accident on State Road 436 Emeron Boulevard has two left lanes blocked in each direction, just north of the 408 at U Drive. Northbound I-95 in Brevard County has a serious accident being investigated just north of O'Galley Boulevard. And we also have a crash reported northbound on I-95 south of U.S. 192. See traffic problems? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by Wawa. Wawa's new built-to-order wraps are here. It's all the flavor you love. Wrapped up and ready to move with your day. Try an Italian or Bacon Ranch Chicken Steak Wrap today. Gotta have a Wawa. Filatowski Eye Institute, I love you. That's what I would say if I was making a song because I'm so happy with my smile LASIK that it's the best thing I've ever done. Honestly, you should get it done. If you wear glasses and contact lenses, trust me, yes, you want to do it. Yes, it's super minimally invasive. Yeah, you can go to work the next day. It's so easy. The process is so nice. I got to say, and I'm just every day to be able to get up and see is fantastic thanks to Smile LASIK from the Filatowski Eye Institute. And right now, it's the easiest time to do it because they brought back their free LASIK vision consultation. All right? They don't always do this. Jump on board now before this goes away. The free LASIK vision consultation. Send the message 1041 to the number 868686 right now. Do it. You've been thinking about it. Now's the time. Just open the phone. Send the message 1041 to the number 868686. Schedule that free LASIK vision consultation. It's super affordable. They offer 24-month interest-free financing for qualified patients. And you can use a flex spend account. The doctor's there before over 65,000 LASIK procedures. And I couldn't be happier with mine. So right now, send the message 1041 to the number 868686. And schedule that free LASIK vision consultation with the Filatowski Eye Institute today. Cento Family Moving and Storage is Central Florida's trusted source for local and long-distance moving. From packing to delivery, Cento Moving is fully licensed and insured to provide you a seamless moving experience so you can enjoy your new home in no time. Get a quote today at CentoMoving.com. Forget the stress, move with the best. This year full of Real Radio is brought to you by Crimeline.org. Give a tip anonymously. 
It's more than just a fence. It protects your future gardener. Mom, look at my tomato. Wow. Your future Olympian. And your future best in show. Get your free quote today for all the future brings at fenceoutlet.com. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. If you've been injured in an accident and would like to know the value of your case, go to forthepeople.com to see cases just like yours. You see, all lawyers are not the same. Morgan & Morgan. Visit forthepeople.com for an office near you. Sneezing, coughing, a stuffy nose, runny nose, post-nasal drip, interrupted sleeping. I just I was groggy at the end of the day. Allergies and sinus congestion were making Jana miserable. Then, a friend recommended Navage. Navage provides immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus germs and other airborne irritants. Navage helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. Navage gave me instant relief. I didn't have to wait 30 minutes. I didn't have to wait an hour, 90 minutes. I didn't have to wait, I didn't have to wait a minute. I just, I ran the rinse and I felt immediately, I felt better. Stop suffering from congestion and start breathing and feeling your best again with Navage. N-A-V-A-G-E. I've had people ask me how I find relief and I tell them Navaj immediately. This thing is amazing. Navaj is available at Navaj.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Life insurance. Why are you putting it off? Can't afford it? Too much hassle? Think you don't need it? There's lots of excuses for putting off life insurance. But if you weren't there, who would pay the mortgage and other bills? With Ethos, you could be covered in 10 minutes and boom, family protected. Ethos, fast and easy online term life insurance. Up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at getethos.com. That's getethos.com. If you love sports and scandal, then join me, ESPN broadcaster Jay Harris, each week for Playing Dirty, Sports Scandals, the newest podcast from executive producer Dan Patrick. From current scandals like MMA champ Cain Velasquez armed car chase to historic shockers like the biggest Little League cheat, Playing Dirty, Sports Scandals doesn't shy away from dark details and always packs a punch. Never miss the dirt, people. Listen to Playing Dirty, Sports Scandals on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Think orange for your next vehicle. OrangeBuickGMC.com. We are professional grade. Hey, you can leave us a message right now if you want to. If you listen to us on the iHeartRadio app, you can click on that microphone, leave us a message. We do appreciate it. That, we'll play those a little bit later on in the show. You can hear yourself on the radio, which is awesome. Uh, people want to know, well, Carlos says he's out with the flu. That flu's going around, so uh, be careful. I, mean, I know a lot of people have had it. It sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, welcome back. I'm Russ. Do you, do you know a lot of people that have had it? I do. Yeah, weird. Yeah, I had it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some would say that you're... Some would say you would know so many people because of, I don't know, You just I guess you just know a lot of people. Oh, yeah, I do know a lot of people. You're ground zero. Uh, yeah, I, patient zero, patient number zero. one. I only hope I gave it to Ryan. I, I, please, <laughs> please, please. please uh, uh, be that word I think he's made up. that allegation. Mm, yep. Well, no, no allegation. Facts. Yeah, well, when we were making out, that's probably when it happened. You have such soft lips. Uh, do we got the winner on the line? Yes, we do. Linwood. Linwood, congratulations. You are a winner, sir. Thank you. You got those tickets to Brooks and Dunn. Have you seen Brooks and Dunn before? 
No, I haven't. I said, I'm, me and my wife are going to head over there to check it out. You're going to love it. I, I've seen them in concert several times. I will tell you this. Uh, uh, I went to Nashville one time, and uh, we were going, I think it was Tootsie's, where, and we go into Tootsie's, which is right there on hmm. Broadway Street, and we're on the second level of Tootsie's, and we go in the far back. Uh, what was that? <laughs> uh, it's uh, him accelerating in his vehicle. Oh, okay. They go in the far back. We're having some drinks, and I look up, and I swear to God, Brooks and Dunn at the back bar getting a drink. And, uh, and, like, what do you do? Like, like you want to say hi to them, but they're, they're drinking, so you don't want to bother them. So we just sat there and watched them like we were watching uh, animals in a zoo. Uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, you're going to have a great time, uh, Linwood. Linwood, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a service director for an automotive dealership. Okay, all right. And then the, the noise in the background, was that one of the uh, one of the cars that you're selling? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I don't sell them. I said, that's, that's me driving to work. Oh, you're driving to work. What, yes, what, sir. What do you drive? Uh, I drive a uh, Volkswagen Touareg. Yeah, very good. All right. Uh, so what, what did you want to oh, – how long have you been listening to the show, Linwood? Uh, this would be 19 years. Damn. Thank you. I appreciate that, man. That's crazy. That's a long time. Uh, mm-hmm. That we, we we appreciate that, Linwood. What would you like to plug yeah. and promote and tell us about? Actually, uh, my job. I said um, I work at uh, Prestige Ford in Mount Dora. Um, I took that store over about two months ago. Yeah. Um, and I, I've been doing some drastic changes to it. Um, it's it's a family owned business that we actually uh, we care about the customer a little bit more than other dealerships I've been at, more yeah. like corporate stores. Yeah. Um, it's still family owned. Uh, as I said, well, I work in the service department. Um, we are hiring. We need technicians, obviously, like everybody does. Um, so I need technicians. I need an advisor. Um, we're trying to build it up to be, uh, you know, one of the top four dealerships in Florida. It's been there a long time, right? I had a buddy that worked yeah. there years ago. I mean, years ago. I used to go out there and pick him up and go to lunch. So I know exactly where Prestige Ford is. And it's uh, uh, like Mount Dora, right? Yeah. Yeah. Back then, yeah, back then, there weren't that many dealerships there. I mean, Prestige Ford was the, the kind of the biggest, uh, the biggest one. It's been there for a while. Yeah, it's been there for a long time. I said, Mr. Matthews is the owner. Um, I said, he, he owns about four stores. Uh, his son, Jonathan, is the general sales manager. So I said, when I see family, like, it's legit. Family works and operates that store on a daily basis. And uh, the technicians I have down there now are a great group of guys. Um, we have quick lane service to get you in and out in, you know, a, a minute of time. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to get it built up and promote it. Because, um, you know, with, with the pandemic and all that stuff, the auto industry kind of took a hit. Um, but I said, we have a good following in Mount Dora. The, the people are fantastic. Yeah, the customers are great. Um, I said we're just trying to promote it and, and let people know that we're there and we're the we're trying to be the best in Central Florida. Hey, Lynn, I think that's awesome, and I love the fact that you love where you work so uh, so much. But let me ask a question. So, ooh, yes, so when we were uh, we were talking before, and I say, hey, what, what are you driving? And you told me, I noticed it's not a Ford. Do you feel like since you work at a Ford dealership, you should drive a Ford? Uh, um, yes and no. I mean, Ford makes a great product, and I mean, um, but again, this is. A car's a car. They're all nuts and bolts at the end of the day. And I said, I just go prefer what I like what I like. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does anyone at, does anyone at work uh, goof on you about that? Is that like a thing? Like, like uh... You know, I, I would you would think that, but not really. I said, you know, the, uh, like everybody, they like my, I mean, I, it's no five. It's a classic. You know what I mean? It's got 80,000 miles on it. So I said, I just, uh, I take care of it. Uh, you know what I mean? So people, they, they, they actually prefer, they like it. Um if I, now, if I have a truck wise, if I was a truck guy, obviously I'd buy a Ford. That's with, without no problem. There you go. All right, Linwood. Well, listen, congratulations on winning. I hope you enjoy the Brooks and Dudd concert. And then uh, thanks for listening for 19 years. We appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate everything you guys do day in and day out. And I said, that's why I keep listening to you. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that. Uh, you don't understand how, uh, how much we do appreciate that. That's very cool. Uh, I should have asked him if I could get a deal on one of those Broncos. Uh, oh, the new Bronco? Yeah. Are those, uh, they're, are they electric? Uh, not yet. Not yet. They don't, uh, the, the, what's it, the Ford, uh, vehicles that they offer, EV versions of it. There's a EV. Mustang. F1, uh, the Lightning. Mm-hmm. So it's a pickup truck and there's a EV, uh, it's a branded Mustang, but it's not a, a classic Mustang. And I think there's one other crossover vehicle, which has got an EV motor and a gasoline engine in it. I did another dumb rust thing, which I do all the time. So I, at least I admit them, admit them <laughs> and, and, and they happen, right? So uh-huh. when we talked about the new Mustang, electric Mustang, and I saw it on, you know, here on the computer, I'm like, oh, that's terrible. That's stupid. I, why would you do that? It's not mm-hmm. a Mustang. And I, you know, I bitched about it and complained about it, whatever. So then, yeah, the other day, Mary Ellen, Ellen and I went somewhere, and I'm like, damn, look at that car. That's 
a nice looking car. What is that? I told you. It's a, I told you. I remember we had this argument, it's, and it's, I was like, dude, my stack, like, you, oh. you got to check it out because it's a good looking car. It, it really kind of it, is. It's a good looking car. As far as I electric. I to hate it. Yeah. Because it didn't look like my Mustang. You know, that's what mm. everybody does, right? Yeah. It's nostalgia. It's, you know, when, when I grew up, Mustang looked like this. You know, it's that whole thing. Uh-huh. Uh, but then I saw this one, and I'm like, oh, what is that car? It's a pretty good looking car. Like, that's the electric Mustang. Son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> With, when it comes to EV vehicles, right? So they're all they're interesting in the sense of their futuristic design. So this one is uh, so the Ford uh, branded one is the Mu- Mustang Mach E, right? So they just used the Mustang uh, name and, and put the Mach E on it. But out of that segment of car, it's actually gotten really great reviews and it's actually done uh, fairly well. But the market on EV vehicles is kind of uh, dropped, yeah, now because people are kind of figuring it out that it's not as. Uh, you know, there's there's incentives that you get back from the government for if you purchase uh, an EV vehicle, but uh, a lot of people were going to EV vehicles because they would thought, yeah, I'm getting off of fossil fuels, yeah. but then they're learning about you know the damage that we're doing to Mother Earth just uh, to get the lithium that we need for the batteries, right. and so it doesn't really offset each. You know, I'm so out of it. I used to be exclusively a Ford guy, right? Uh, because I used to have uh, like the, I had the very first Ford Explorer is what I had, and I and I would do that. I get the Eddie Bauer floor. Yeah. I don't even know if they do that anymore. Eddie Bauer, Ford Explorer. Uh, and then I switched to being a Chevy man, thanks to Carl Black, Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC. And now I know all the Chevy products. I know nothing about Ford now because I don't I don't buy those. Yeah. But uh, do they still have the uh, the uh, Exp- Expedition? Uh, Explorer? Explorer, I'm sorry. Yeah, the, Explorer, the, yeah the, the, the recent model Explorer is a really good-looking truck, or SUV. Um, and they still have the Eddie Bauer edition? You know what? I'm not sure. I think because they went to a different trim package. Uh, they call it the ST now is the highest level one. Yeah. And that's that's like a $70,000 truck. I don't mm. even know who Eddie Bauer was. <laughs> he was a, It was a clothing line. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, for some reason, I thought he was like a sports fisherman or something. Well, that's the lifestyle that they sold. It oh, was that, okay. that kind of, uh, that you know, rustic kind of clothing line brand. It was like a step up, supposedly, from like Gap and all that. Yeah, there was a bunch of stores in the malls about it. Somebody here says Dirty Jim has one of those uh, Mustangs. Yeah, him and his wife do. One of those electric Mustangs. Yeah. I did not know that. I love it. I'll be damned. I, did, I didn't know that. What, what, what color do you know? I do not know off the top of my head. Yeah, the one I saw was some sort of an uh, electric gold or something. Right. And I'm like, damn, that's a good looking, you know. And I'm like, oh, that's that Mustang I was bitching about. <laughs> the fact that I said I would hate if I ever saw one. <laughs> it's fun. I, well, I so was wrong again. Yeah. My, uh, when driving around with my kid, she's really uh, uh, kind of capturing that um, thing. And so she's able to spot, like, the EV vehicles. And she's like, I can tell that one's an EV vehicle because of the way the, the design, design lines are. And she's got a pretty good eye for it. I mean, I guess it would be, like, for me, it probably would be nice to have an electric vehicle. I only go, really, I only go to work and back and work and back. And, you know, you're not going to run out of, uh, you know, electricity between work and back. You know, like, that that's the fear is, oh, am I going to be able to plug in if uh, I go far? Dude, between, yeah, between where you live and here, there's a bunch of charge spots. And then you would probably, and knowing you, you'd be neurotic that you wouldn't oh, I would uh, charge, charge every it every day. night. Yeah. yeah, I would charge every night. Yeah. So I never probably would run out Chevy's of Chevy's got some EV vehicles, don't they? They do. And, and I forget which ones. Uh, I forget the name of them now. But, um, uh, yeah. But, of course, you, you pay more money if you go if you go electric. Well, you all, but, but you, you don't have to buy gas. Yeah, but you also, like I said, you get um, incentives back from the government. Oh, well, speaking of oh, which, they got the dude. You, all right, look up your car, the EV version of your car, of the Blazer. Yeah. Oh wow, that car. It was in the Barbie movie. Are they, oh, that's the one. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. the girl. That, that was the car that they were driving. There. That was that's, that's a good looking car itself as well. I watched the Barbie movie again yesterday. Oh, look at you. <laughs> uh, just to see what you know. Uh, okay, uh, matter of fact, with what we're talking about, it kind of ties into something else I wanted to bring up. So right. we'll, we'll do that when we come back. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to the Monsters of the Morning. Real Radio is on X at Real Radio 1041, sponsored by the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. Good morning and happy Wednesday. I'm Fox 35. Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast for Central Florida. And today will be another really beautiful day. The only small hiccup will include an isolated chance of a sprinkle or two by this afternoon. Otherwise, expect a beautiful day temperature-wise. Highs back in the upper 70s and low 80s with a high of 82 degrees for Orlando. We'll continue to heat things up by the end of the week with temperatures approaching the upper 80s and low 90s on the way for the weekend. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by WaltDisneyWorld.jobs. Walt Disney World Resort is hiring. 
Explore a variety of full-time and part-time roles at the heart of the magic and enjoy great benefits like complimentary theme park admission, exclusive discounts, and more. Apply today at WaltDisneyWorld.jobs. QC Kinetics, listen, if you want to enjoy, I mean, the weather's been beautiful, and, and you get out, and you can walk, and you can run, and you can go to the beach, and all kinds of great stuff, but if you have horrible, you know, knee pain, back pain, shoulder pain from arthritis or an injury or something like that, you probably don't feel like moving very much. You don't want to get off the couch because it hurts, right? And, and you're thinking about having that surgery, but when you have that surgery, you're going to be out of work for a long time, and uh, that's going to hurt the wallet. Guess what? You can get rid of that pain, get rid of all that without surgery without a bunch of downtime and missing a lot of work without drugs without steroids it's called qc kinetics uh, it's a fact qc kinetics has been around for a long time with pro athletes pro athletes have been doing this for decades but now you can do it and get rid of all that pain basically uh, it's it, their advanced treatments harnesses your body's own ability to restore and repair damaged tissue and they put it right in the joint that is uh, in pain and it solves that problem it's qc kinetics no pain pills no risky surgery you're not out of work for a long time where you're missing a lot of money and they've got financing available if you need it it's qc kinetics give them a call go by have a free consultation it's qc kinetics 689-244-7980 they're in orlando winter park the villages and now in lake mary looking for a way to spend that uh, that uh, tax refund check and you want to get rid of that pain this is what you do give them a call and they'll be glad to help you out it's qc kinetics 689-244 for 7980 for QC Kinetics. Victim of a slip and fall? It takes one phone call to take back control of your life. Anajar and Levine will fight to get you the compensation you deserve. Call me, Mark Anajar, for a free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. In Office Orlando. The Kalo Services Job Fair will be on Saturday, March 23rd from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Visit us to learn about opportunities in the construction services industry. Register at kalosflorida.com slash jobs or tap Next, 352-243-7099. McDonald's McCafe Ice Coffee wakes you up like the perfect song. The 100% Arabica beans get your head nodding. Yeah, then the cream drops like a smooth bass line. Uh-huh, add some ice to chill it down. And some French vanilla flavor. There you go. Or change it up and go with caramel. Either way, it's a stone-cold classic. Start your day with a $1.49 McCafe iced coffee available during breakfast hours only. Music to my ears. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices of participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. My day just flows better when I make my first stop McDonald's. I can choose two faves and save big with a bundle of savory sausage McMuffin or flaky sausage biscuit with crispy hash browns for breakfast for $2.79. Or I can make Mickey D's my last stop. Lunch, dinner, a late-night snack perhaps. When I bundle a crispy McChicken or juicy McDouble with delicious small fries for only $3.69. Now my day is made the tastiest way when I bundle and save at McDonald's. ba da ba 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 Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Valid with product served. International Diamond Center invites you to step into a world of elegance and luxury as we roll out the red carpet for the world's two largest bridal designers this weekend. Takori and Viraggio are here with their entire collections. Exceptional handcrafted rings made with intricate detail and craftsmanship. See the entire collection from Takori. Exquisite handcrafted rings from true artisans in California. And here from New York, see all the latest from Viraggio. Unique, distinctive, and personalized. Find the ring of your dreams and enjoy two years zero interest financing. Plus at this event, when you buy any Takori or Viraggio ring, IDC will give you a $500 gift card. Buy the matching wedding band and get a $1,000 gift card. Don't miss this spectacular event featuring the most exclusive designers in bridal and let IDC's experts help you match up the most perfect diamond for the ring you'll fall in love with. It's happening this Friday through Sunday exclusively at International Diamond Center. All four Orlando locations on approved credit. You know you should clean your carpet and tile, but did you know there's a right way to clean? Russ Rollins here for Zero Res, and they have figured it out with their patented process that leaves zero sticky, soapy chemical residue behind. They bring their own special ZR water because it cleans better, and it dries faster, and it's safer for kids and pets. So, no hooking up to your water. Mention my name, and you get 20% off your tile and grout cleaning. And carpet cleaning is only $49 per room. Go online to OrlandoZeroRes.com. That's Zero Res, spelled forwards or backwards. It's the right way to clean. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. 
ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 original stations like 24-7 Comedy. If they were really donut holes, the bag would be empty. When you need to laugh, just open the free iHeartRadio app and search comedy. Should we call someone? I'm like, no, that's his face. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. A real crew capsule. A next generation space plane. A rocket booster that landed itself. Where will they inspire you to go? Mars? The rings of Saturn? New worlds, light years beyond. Choose your breathtaking journey into the future of space travel at Gateway, the Deep Space Launch Complex, featuring Spaceport KSC, where real space meets real thrills. Only at Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. Visit KennedySpaceCenter.com for tickets. Oh, 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 O'Reilly! Stop by the new O'Reilly Auto Parts in Orlando on Curry Ford Road next to Winn Dixie. Now through March 26th for the grand opening sale. Right now, spend $20 on select Armor All Car Care products and get $5 back after rebate. Plus, get three times O Rewards points on select Seafoam products, which means you can reach your next $5 reward even faster. Visit your new O'Reilly Auto Parts today. Car crash? Call Klausman. Klausmanlaw.com. That's K-L-A-U-S-M-A-N. So... It's another one of those things where, you know, my initial reaction might be different than if I think about it for a little while. It happens all the time. You know, you, you kind of study it and you're like, okay, well, maybe that's not the same way I saw it. Just like the electric uh, the electric Mustang. When I first saw it, I'm like, that's terrible. That's ugly. And then and then I saw one in person. I'm like, oh, that's actually pretty good looking. And now I guess Jimmy's got one. I, I didn't realize Jimmy had one. Uh, and, and I don't know if this is all accurate. I'm just reading the texting service, 77031. And uh, we text you back sometimes. Uh, someone said that Jimmy tried to do, I guess, an, uh, 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 across the country trip in the electric car and said it was a nightmare. But uh, for in town, it's, it's good, which I can imagine. Yeah, that's with any EV vehicle, you you know you got to make sure you uh, plot it all out right. And then I think there's people that don't realize like the charging uh, stations that like that they're they're not free. That there's actually a, you have to pay for that. I thought they were free. No, why would it be free? Oh, yeah. I thought it was free. No, they no, just no, plug no. in wherever you want all over the country. It's free. Yeah. No, you got to you got to pay yeah, for that. Yeah, you pay yeah. for that. That's part of uh, how much they charge you. I, I don't know. Oh, that's Boulder Dash. No, I don't know. <laughs> What? It's a service. I thought we were trying to save the country together. Or say, you know, we were trying to, you know. You're trying to save it by save, not using they fossil fuels. they still got to make fuels. money. They're yeah. going to build the station. They still got their own power bill to pay. Oh, my God. I thought those things were free. I had no idea. Oh. Well, uh, you know, I, I was leaning towards it. Someone said they've got an electric Hummer, which. Uh, that know, thing is ridiculous. I'm but down that, with that. Yeah, but that is crazy expensive. So, speaking of, of this, it kind of reminds me of a story I saw yesterday. And once again, when I saw the original story, I'm like, ah, you bunch of cry babies and then it started happening to me right as I'm watching the story so I always I watch the news usually in my backyard you know I got my little back patio area I'm watching the news story comes up about Winter Park and they show this dude and he's complaining about uh, you know gasoline leaf blowers he, they want to ban gasoline leaf blowers in Winter Park you know well, like, like a bunch, bunch of old Karens right like uh, and then as I'm the and as I'm watching the story I'm, I'm in the back background then there's somebody with a gasoline leaf blower and i'm like hey, you know i guess those are pretty damn annoying because they're super super loud mm -hmm. and they're they're saying listen in winter park that's all you can hear is the gasoline leaf blowers and if everybody would just switch to battery operated it would be better oh, shut up uh, so so I'm, now i know shut which, which way you fall uh, uh what do you think about winter park now, listen, they're voting on whether they're going to pursue this or just scrap the whole idea. I guess for two years it's been floating around. They wanted people to vote on it to scrap and get rid of, make it illegal to use this a just gasoline. Screams. That was my normal, that was my first reaction this to Angel. This just screams exactly, this is exactly what you they would be up in arms about in, in Winter Park. In Winter Park, they oh, would have banned, oh, some people would have banned the uh, ga gasoline leaf floors. Now, Can they, you imagine having so 
much not to do. You have so much not to do in your day to day that you're sitting at home in your fancy house in Winter Park in your fancy zip code 32789. Whatever. Whatever that zip code is that is the desire. They're pretty loud, the, though. Oh, get out of town, man. So they talked to a guy who had a, a lawn Shut service. Up. And the lawn service guy was like, listen, man, I'd have to buy, like, I don't know, 12 new batteries in order for me to, to work all day in order to, you know, blow, you know, to use my, my blower man. enough to, to blow. He's like, he didn't want to buy new batteries. Uh, and then well, another- no, just, uh, just the investment alone. And then, like, I don't, I mean, I don't know. Uh, how long a chart like would that stay charged enough for you to do your regular lawn route throughout the day well that was the point he'd have to buy 12 batteries in order to be able to get through the entire day and have them charge them at night and they're all ready to go you know throughout the day oh, could you imagine the, the guy's responsibility was to put them on the charger and he forgets one day oh yeah he'd, he'd be screwed mm-hmm. but and then there was another guy saying well it's better for the environment and it's not as loud if i use battery and so there's one lawn service in winter park and that's all they use is battery operated and he's got all the batteries and so he's you know, he, he, he likes it better than messing with gasoline. What do you think, Ryan? Uh, should uh, should any place, any city, be able to uh, is smart to ban, you know, leaf blowers, <laughs> gasoline leaf blowers? Man, poor Ryan Park got wake up early. Yo, you know what you should do if you leaf blower wakes you up? You should come to the Winter Park Farmers Market and have some kettle corn on Saturday. Well, it's not even wake you up early. It's like all day long they're going, okay. and they are and they are do pretty that. loud. Wait, it, uh, not for nothing. If we're comp- uh arguing about the sound of these things, the electric ones are just as loud. No, they're not. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's, they are. That's not accurate. That's they not, are loud. No. I, have, I have one. They're loud, but they're not yeah. as loud as oh, gasoline. Oh, oh. That's not even debatable. No, no, no. It is debatable it is because, debatable. again, if we're worried about if the argument is noise pollution and you're saying that this is loud, Order in the court. get the hell out of here, Order you and court. your Winter Park <laughs> attitude. And, yeah. I'm, well, and I live in Winter Park. I grew up in Winter Park. Even the and people... this is just a posh, little, lame, rich attitude that they have. They're so entitled. Oh, get the f out of here with this even the people that have the gasoline they'll admit well listen this is louder i you know it is louder but and mm-hmm. you're right and the and the uh because the guy we got ha- plenty of people who own electric ones that are texting it right now my electric leaf blower is loud as f it's loud but it's not as loud as a uh, gasoline so we're, one. now we're doing decibel meter checks on the which one's louder yeah oh, get the, out of here that's the idea that's uh, garbage lady wants to lay in her backyard and she wants uh. to have a sip of wine at, at one o'clock she and ain't she, worried and, about the sound she's and all she, wind and up. She, and she turned on some Adele, and she can't hear Adele because someone with their gasoline leaf blower uh, is blowing in the, uh, the other backyard. Up. Like, so first world. This is annoying. And this is what they're going to, like, again, this is what they're going to protest about. This is what they're going to go and vote about. They're going to worry about the, the noise of these your These are leaf. Winter Park problems, yeah, Angel. Exactly. Yeah. It's these, annoying. These are Winter, Winter Park. Park. The poor little ears can't handle anything. They are already, they have, like, a Nord ordinance, like, at, like, 9 o'clock, 8.30, 9 o'clock or something, where you, you can't be too loud well, if listen, you're, like, a restaurant or a bar. If you spend that kind of money to live in, you know, in that expensive of a neighborhood, there are certain things you should be able to get. No. Like, like no leaf blowers and turn the music you down. You know what? They've created their own problem because none of them want to do their own lawns. Yeah. So they're the ones that are hiring all the commercial lawn service guys out there. So what they should do is, oh, you make a very good point. So listen, I'm going to hire a lawn service, but only if you use gas or only if you no, use you electric. Can't, you can't mandate yeah, that on you, a business. You could. You no, said, that's it's, lame. That, that's good. It's free market. <laughs> Let the business do what the business does. No, but you can, but you can hire who you want and you can say listen i'm only hiring someone that's got uh you know battery operated mm-hmm. tools uh, this is uh, this is again all the thing that goes down with winter park because the other thing they want to ban they want to ban jet skis on their on their lakes in winter park oh that's the jet skis are so loud uh, the other thing that like ryan said uh in the in the areas of winter park where there are restaurants you can no longer longer have music playing yeah. so it's too loud get out of here winter park you're taking yourself too seriously uh, they're older people no that, that, no, that, that, no they're not oh, i'm not gonna let the no they're all pop douchebags. Well, they look, listen, they've earned a certain amount of money, and they, they're they in a certain spot in life, and they don't want loud noise all the time. Whatever. Exactly. They're going to vote on this soon. Uh, it, it says here, the ban on gas-powered leaf blowers has been swirling around for two years, but now it looks like uh, Winter Park voters are going to be uh, finally get a say on whether they're going to ban or scrap the uh, the law. You know, to get rid of the because uh, the, they haven't they haven't come. I to can't a, a, wait until I yet. get my micro mansion in Winter Park, mm-hmm. and then I'm gonna do I'm gonna I'm gonna get my micro mansion in Winter Park. I'm gonna live on a lake. I'm gonna have all the jet skis. I'm gonna hire only lawn companies that use just gas power. I want them to put like loud pipes 
on their uh, bl- on the weeb on the leaf blowers and everything. I want to have uh, all my cars are going to be lowered and would, just loud. I would and- I would love to agree with you, but I I will say that I do sit in my backyard and I'm like, damn, how many leaf blowers are going at one? Like how like can we all decide just to uh, do it? Russ is on this team. Exactly. Yeah, no, he, that, that's now. exactly why mm-hmm. I'm arguing this because that's what that's what he wants. Because yeah. I see, do find sorry, myself agreeing it, with him yeah, a little bit because I'm like it's annoying when they, like everybody's got a gasoline leaf blower. It happens. Starts in winter. Uh-huh. Park Ryan, and then it goes to Castleberry, and yep. then it goes to Winter Springs, mm-hmm. and then it goes to uh, Altamont, and the next thing you know, oh, we're, we're, Russ, we're, 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 I'm going to yeah. run it in a popka. Uh, uh, Russ is presenting the bill in a popka, and <laughs> oh I'm on this God. counter having to argue him at City Hall. Yeah, this would never pass in a popka. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Popka's too industrial. No, they just shoot you. <laughs> oh no! Come on. Oh yeah, like don't, don't even bring that up in a popka. But uh, man, they, they are loud. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, leaf blowers are some loud some bitches. For like thirty seconds. Like, no, 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 no. Not in my neighborhood. <laughs> it, it's like all the time. It is not Me. all the. Oh, it's yeah. fine. It's part uh. of life. Get over it. Like oh, leaf blowers are part of life. Is yes, that, is that, they is, are. Is that... If you live in a suburb, yeah, you got to deal with it. I look. Well, Winter Park has decided they don't have to deal with it. They're gonna. Well, they're gonna vote. Well, how, mm-hmm. do you think, how do you think it'll vote? I don't know. Somehow they'll elect Trump. <laughs> 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 That's just the reality. Yeah, you know situation. exactly how this is going to go down. The, 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 yeah, they'll, they'll, it's, you think they'll ban electric? I mean, uh, they will, gasoline. Yeah, people? they'll try. You know, and then and then here. Oh, so well, the lawn maintenance like companies. Cold, dead hands. Uh, lawn maintenance companies are mad about it. They like, listen, leave us alone. I've already got the investment. I've already got mm-hmm. the gasoline leaf blowers. Uh, uh, you know, th- they contend that they work better than the battery operated ones. I don't think that is accurate. Mm-hmm. Because I know my buddy Mike, uh, Mike the home builder, he's got a, a battery operated one, and it's badass. I don't know where he got it, but it's. He's got some some model that uh, it, 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 it's good. Poor Russ, and it's, uh, it's like you can't, you already can't hear. You're yeah. already deaf. Yeah. I, don't, I don't understand. Like, why, why does this bother you so much? I'm not saying it bothers me that much. I can, but These, I can. But I lawn can guys empathize. are already scraping by, like yeah. the, with gas and everything yeah, else being hard. so expensive. Like you're gonna you're gonna price them out right. of being able to work, and then ironically, the Winter Park people are gonna have to cut their own lawn. And then here's the thing. So if the, if the if the the blowers go down, then do the weed whackers go too, right? Because yeah. it's, it's going to be all of it. The next thing you know, it's just silent winter park. God, <laughs> God forbid you make noise, or otherwise because yeah, be weed whispering. whackers are loud as hell too. That's it's, ridiculous. Yeah, it's going to be all. I mean, that's what basically it, it's what you're headed down to. This like is everything yeah. will be electric in Winter Park. Yeah, there we go. That's great. I mean, it's better for the environment. I thought you guys love the environment. No, it's not better, Russ. I'm mother, the one that's Mother mis- Earth. Don't you I've love been Mother screaming Earth? Screaming at you, telling you it's not better. All right, the the lithium that we're mining throughout the whole world, we're destroying the earth quicker to do that. Where are we getting the lithium from? From we're stealing it basically from Africa. Oh, mm-hmm. thought we were getting it from Russia. No, no. Yeah, no li- lithium, lithium li- mining's not exactly healthy for the earth. Is it better than gas? We'll, we'll hit a system at some point where an electric battery will be, uh, you know, good for the world and overall better than gas. I don't think we're quite there yet. Hopefully, there's a but lot the of lithium demand- in Mars. If there's lithium in Mars, we're good. <laughs> what? <laughs> if we got lithium on Mars, uh-huh. we go to Mars, get the lithium, bring it back, we're fine. You think it's like not expensive to to shoot up a rocket and go to Mars? We're shooting up rockets every other day, man. There was a rocket going up last night, two nights ago. They like, interrupted the the. Uh, I'm to the point. The Oscars program, I, right? right <laughs> they the Oscar. side by side, and I'm like, stop it! I don't want to see. It. Yeah, I'm sitting. I'm like, I could I can walk my fat ass in the front yard and watch a rocket, or sit back here and watch the beginning of the uh, Oscars. Mm-hmm. I want to watch the Oscars. I've seen 50 rockets. The rockets go up constantly now. I thought that was funny. Yeah. I was like, we're the only ones that are getting to see this. They're not doing this for the whole national broadcast. Oh, it was just us. I thought, yeah, because it's in our backyard. Yeah, we see, we see them all the time. It looked cool, though. It could be lithium and Mars. <laughs> oh, well, that's, we the, whole, that's the whole point where we're going there. We're hoping for that, but yeah. anyway. <laughs> no, Okay, man. so at your house, do you have a gas-operated uh, leaf blower, or do you have a battery-operated? The guys that do my house do, yeah. That's, so, uh, you, so you don't own one? No, I don't own any yard equipment. I've got three leaf blowers. Three? Yeah. I don't. Someone gave me one for Christmas, and I'd already bought one. And then, and then I'm walking through uh, Home Depot, and they had like this big, super one, mm-hmm. like with a bigger battery, and a big. And I had to buy that, so I've got three Look leaf blowers. You. I got one. I got one because my dad uh, gifted me one. 
Yeah. I got the... Uh, it's the only Ryobi Bat thing I got. <laughs> Battery operated? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. See, I, th I mean, I, those are kind of cool, but I guess you would have to... Have a you know a bunch of batteries if you're working. I, mean, I know we've got some guys out there that uh, that are working the lawn care business. I wonder if they care one way or the other. You think lawn workers listen to this show? <laughs> yes, yeah, well, that looks our number one uh, listener base, and Russ is wanting them to have to switch yeah. their whole business model. You know the ones that you put on your back, like you put it. It's like a, it looks like you're uh, you're a member of Ghostbusters, where you put it on your back and you pull mm -hmm. the thing. All right, I will concede those ones are loud as hell. They, that's what I'm talking about. Those are the ones they want to ban. Ah, right, get out of here. It's not that loud. No, like it's it's it's, it's noise it's, for a second. Sorry, you want you can either have good lawns or you can have noise. You can't have both. That's what it comes. I, I mean, hate these dumb people yeah. that move to a town. Like they they move somewhere, their town gets the, uh, popular, and then they're mad that the town is popular. Daytona did it. New Smyrna's doing it right now. And Winter Park, I, peop, you're lucky people wouldn't want to hang out there. And without that, you wouldn't live in that neighborhood anyway. Didn't we have, well, who was You want somewhere quiet, move to the country, move to, you know, Windermere, your Islesworth, and then they'll be quiet there for you. I promise. Winter Park is a city next to Orlando, Florida. It's going to be loud. Do you remember uh, Russ's buddy that called in because he got upset about some restaurant? Which oh, one? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, he's mad. I can't take a to go salad. Man. Okay. They well, won't let me take a to go salad. Yeah. Russ, please help me. Uh, they, they, the poor Hillstone won't let me take my salad to go. So I need yeah, to go you, on the radio and complain because I'm getting lunch with a pedophile. You had your. Whoa. You yeah, had your. Look friend. into that. It wasn't you my had, friend. Yeah. It was some guy. That, it, it was he, your buddy. Don't, 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 try, don't try to distance yourself from him now. Yeah. No, I, I loved him. I, I didn't know the guy. You guys were best friends. No, that's not true. Somebody said, hey, this guy's in the news. Get him on. But I. I barely remember the story. So he was upset or something. We, we did a whole segment with him. Again, yeah. this is the attitude that's in Winter Park. This guy, because this a certain restaurant has their own rules about how they want their food prepared and how they want to present you the food. And the guy uh, was upset that they wouldn't let him take a, a, a salad or to go that order. That's ridiculous. And we and we did a whole segment with I him, Russ. I was so mad. I'm so that guy. I, yeah, I still haven't forgived you for that. And he got he got on local TV. He got uh, we gave him twelve minutes. Dude was a clown. Male Karen. Yeah. Oh my uh, god. Give me a salad. I'm glad it affected you guys so much. <laughs> Haven't been able to get over that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he uses gasoline butt leap blower? Uh I think that guy hasn't touched yard equipment exactly. in forty five <laughs> years. You know, here's what I'm picking up on. All right. So Angel <laughs> went to Winter Park High School. Do you hear the disdain he has for Winter Park? I mean, just I the, love Winter Park. Oh dude. my God! You were just running them down. I, uh, but, but this, uh, this you got a pretentious. You it's like, dumb. Come on. This is a dumb thing. So this is a Winter dumb Park? thing to. Do, do you hate Winter nah, Park? I love Winter Park. I claim Winter Park all day long. All right. I'm ride or die Winter Park. But Don't I can also like admit when they're doing something dumb, and this is dumb. This is like again. This is not this, this can't be the most important issue that they're dealing with in the city of Winter Park, the loud leaf blowers. No, I got a couple of car be. farmers market problems they need to get <laughs> up to for there, there are probably people there that, that this is their biggest issue, right? Like everything else is fine in their life. Their bank account's fat, they're doing good, they don't they have got to work. Nothing at, else to do. They got nothing else to do. They don't work as hard as they used to. They're watching in, in Netflix all the time. Uh oh, who am I describing? Exactly. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, oh, I digress. All right, listen, let's take a break. When we come back, Angel's going to bring you Monster Sports. You're listening to the Monster of the Morning. In three days, the news junkies just okay eight. Presented by Mills Air and JustCallMo.com. This Saturday at the Plaza Live. Get your tickets now at realradio.fm slash just okay. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, lowest prices on the highest quality jewelry. GoldsmithJewelry.com. We slow eastbound on I-4 from before U.S. 27 to State Road 429. We're also heavy from Osceola Parkway to State Road 535. Have a crash on Semarin Boulevard near the 408 at U Drive. Two left lanes are blocked southbound. Emergency vehicles block the left and left turn lane northbound. Also had a crash westbound on Altamont Drive at Festival Drive. And there's a crash on Windermere Road at McKinnon Road. See traffic problems? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by Silk. Feel plenty good. Shop wherever you find groceries. Silk's delicious plant-based beverages help bring a daily dose of goodness to help you feel plenty good. They are rich in calcium and a good source of vitamins A and D to support the health of you and your family. Shop wherever you find groceries. 
Ah, you're looking for a new Chevy car, new Chevy truck, new Chevy SUV? Well, go see my buddies over at Carl Black, Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC. Omar Rodriguez is the general manager. Uh, that's why I'll only buy a Chevy, a Buick, or GMC. When I buy something new, I probably will look at that uh, that electric EV uh, Hummer. I know they have them at Carl Black, Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC. They also have the affordable Malibu sedan, the legendary Camaro, and in any color that you want. Carl Black also has the SUVs you need for your family, whether it's uh, you know the Equinox or Traveris or whatever. They also have the Blazer. That's what I drive, the Chevy Blazer. And they've got the EV model of the Chevy Blazer. They've got Tahoes all at Carl Black, Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC. Looking for a truck? Well, that's a truck headquarters. It's the Silverado 1500. The Silverado 2500 heavy duty models are all at Carl Black, Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC. A big supply of remaining 2023 Chevy Colorado pickup trucks. Carl Black, Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC. Go to Carl Black or Orlando.com to see all the vehicles that are on the lot. Chevrolet, together, let's drive at Carl Black, Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC. Here's a top move for hiring a divorce attorney. See how they look and handle themselves on video or audio. Chances are that's them at their best with editing, setup, and multiple takes. The courtroom is live. Mediation is live. Make sure your divorce lawyer is going to make you look good. At Trendley Kramer Law, we handle family law and divorce. TK Law, one firm for life. Spring has sprung in its full tilt boogie time at GiveMeTheVin.com, America's best car buyer. Sell us your car. GiveMeTheVin.com. So easy you can do it in your underwear. Here's what Fence Outlet customers have to say about their experience. Our Fence Outlet salesperson was a wealth of information. Things that weren't addressed by other companies were addressed by Fence Outlet. We're so pleased with our new Fence Outlet Fence. Go to FenceOutlet.com today. License number C10252 and C10803. The following is a promotion of Guarantee Media and not iHeart Media or this station. Attention! Our friends from Guarantee Media are giving away a five-day Caribbean cruise with all meals and entertainment included for only $99 to the first 50 listeners to tell me the name of a country without the letter A in its name. You know it, a country that doesn't have the letter A on its name, and you'll go on a cruise to the Caribbean. Text your answer to 96551, and you'll get a five-day Caribbean cruise with all meals and entertainment included. You heard right, be one of the first 50 to text the name of a country without the letter A in its name, and you'll go on a five-day cruise. Text your answer to 96551. That's 96551. Be one of the first 50 listeners to tell me a country without the letter A in its name and get a five-day Caribbean cruise with all meals included for only $99. $99. Text your answer to 96551. Text a country without the letter A in its name to 96551. This is not a contest. It is a paid advertising by Guarantee Media with the purpose of soliciting sales on vacation ownership and is not affiliated with iHeartMedia. Some terms and conditions apply. Want to win a free motorcycle? I'm Orlando attorney Mo DeWitt, and I'm giving away a free motorcycle valued up to $20,000. All you have to do is go to bikerswinorlando.com. That's bikerswinorlando.com. Enter today at bikerswinorlando.com. Orlando.com. Help the planet with a tip from iHeartRadio Earth. Education doesn't just take place in the classroom. There are many ways children of all ages can learn about sustainability and the environment at home. Visit iHeartRadio.com slash Earth for a list of resources, activity guides, and toolkits that are educational and fun for the whole family. Brought to you by iHeartRadio Earth and the National Environmental Education Foundation. To find more tips for smarter, sustainable living or to take action in your own community, go to iHeartRadio.com slash Earth. iHeartRadio Earth is here with little tips for a healthier planet. When dining out or shopping at the grocery store, ask for sustainable seafood. By choosing sustainable seafood, you can help reduce overfishing, bycatch, loss of top predators, illegal fishing, and other harmful environmental impacts. Brought to you by iHeartRadio Earth and the National Environmental Education Foundation. To find more tips for smarter, sustainable living or to take action in your own community, go to iHeartRadio.com slash Earth. Life insurance. Why are you putting it off? Can't afford it? Too much hassle? Think you don't need it? There's lots of excuses for putting off life insurance. But if you weren't there, who would pay the mortgage and other bills? With Ethos, you could be covered in 10 minutes and boom, family protected. Ethos, fast and easy online term life insurance. Up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at getethos.com. That's getethos.com. 
I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. International Diamond Center invites you to step into a world of elegance and luxury this weekend. They're going to roll out the red carpet for two of the largest, most beautiful designers. Uh, this weekend at the International Diamond Center, Takori and Viraggio. These are two of the entire collection, two of the most beautiful handcrafted rings you're ever going to see. Craftsmanship is amazing, and uh, it's the entire collection will be at the International Diamond Center. To Corey, exquisite, like beautiful handcrafted rings uh, from California. And then from uh, Viraggio from New York, uh, the entire collection will be here. And when you go to, to the International Diamond Center, you'll be able to get a two-year zero-interest financing on to Corey or Viraggio. Now, here's the deal. You buy it to Corey or Viraggio, IDC, International Diamond Center, is going to give you a $500 gift card. If you buy a matching wedding band, you're going to get another $500. $500 gift. So you get $1,000 gift cards if you buy both, which is amazing. It's at the International Diamond Center. Uh, to Corey, Viraggio, the entire collection will be at IDC. Four locations to choose from. You can go to shopidc.com to get more information. But if you're going to get engaged, man, this is the place to go. The entire collection of Viraggio and to Corey will be at the International Diamond Center this weekend. Make sure you tell them that Russ Rollins and the Monster sent you. Sento Family Moving and Storage is Central Florida's trusted source for local and long-distance moving. From packing to delivery, Sento Moving is fully licensed and insured to provide you a seamless moving experience so you can enjoy your new home in no time. Get a quote today at CentoMoving.com. Forget the stress, move with the best. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you deserve better. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Radio. Thursday birthday is happening on uh, April the 20th. Someone said, how come you don't say 420? I don't even think, like, I, I'm not a I'm not a pot guy, so I don't think about that. But it, I guess it is 420. I'm uh, not a It's pot Earth guy. Day. Yeah, it, it's Earth has nothing day. to do with pot. Well, well, no, they're saying you should say you should say 420 because of the whole, you know, you know whatever. But listen, it's April the 20th. Uh, it's going to be Earth Day birthday. 420. Uh, uh, Monster <laughs> Chill Tent will be there. That's a tent that's got air conditioning in it. Angel Boom will be uh, spinning tunes. I'm going to be there uh, with the official whiskey of Earth Day birthday, which is Triple R Blended Whiskey. Uh, big concert. Obviously, got Stain and Seether. Fozzie's going to Perform. Uh, going to be a great time. So that's Earth Day birthday on April the 20th. And uh, come by and say hi in the Monster Chill Tent. What's up? I'm Russ along with Ryan. And now Angel is going to bring you Monster Sports. Monster Sports brought to you by our great friends over there at Sun Coast Credit Union. We've got three Central Florida locations now. They're brand new. Visit the new locations on South Cimarron Boulevard, South Orange Blossom, or the Loop in Kissimmee, or just go to the website, suncoastcreditunion.com. Hey, they want me to remind you, you got a couple bucks, you're getting a really good tax return uh, back. Why not put it in one of their jumbo certificates or a regular certificate? You can earn up 5% APY on a regular 12-month certificate or 5.25 APY on a jumbo certificate from our friends at Sun Coast Credit Union. Visit the website. Visit the new location. And visit them on social media. They got a YouTube channel with a bunch of tips on how to build your savings. They're on Instagram as well. They're on Facebook. That's Suncoast Credit Union. Remember, you always get more love and less fees. Russ, why, uh, so we got the Orlando Magic getting back on the court today, Russ. They're going to be going up against the 
Brooklyn Nets. Our guys have been on a two-game losing streak, so we need, we really could use to get back on the right side of things here. And Brooklyn's not that good, right? They are not. Yeah, so we should win this. But we're just a uh, – yeah, uh, we should. We should. We uh, should. Brooklyn currently is 26 and 39. The Orlando Magic are currently 37 and 28. So we should win this, and we should that hopefully will get us off the schneid here and get us back to our winning ways because we got Brooklyn today. Friday, we got the Raptors, and Sunday, we got the Raptors. So, again, we could uh, use – the ability to get back on the winning ways. Um, talking about and taking another L, Orlando City got bounced from the CONCACAF tournament last night. The Tigers. Damn uh, it, man. Uh, yeah. uh, we went down 2 0 early, and then uh, we ended up losing 4 to 2 um, in the match. And so uh, that we're out of that tournament now. So. Yeah, I um, I think my theory of, like, let's tank the first half of the season was a bad plan if that's what they're doing. And if not, uh, oh, buddy, this is going to be a rough So you year. thought they were tanking on purpose? I mean, like, the fan in me wants me to go, like, okay, well, we usually have such a good hot start yeah. that uh, we, we come out of the gate too heavy. So I'm like, okay, we'll slow it down. But, you, like, a, a, the, this loss in this tournament – kind of cements for me like this is going to be a rough year because that, this, this tournament easy. is like teams from uh it's it's not part of the mls it's like teams from all over yeah uh that are essentially like club teams right like you like some of these some of these teams don't even have professional soccer players in them at all oh. so, so we got we got a got, got, we got won it. it last time i mean we did really well but it to, to watch this i mean this is and uh, I yeah, love and, Orlando City. And, not, la- and last time that was the one where uh, where uh, Messi played or didn't play. No, that was different. That that was, that just, was a different tournament. Yeah, right? yeah. Um, so our next match is going to be uh, Sunday, March the seventeenth, at mm. Atlanta. Um, so again, a good rival of ours as well. So we will. Um, I think I got that wrong. Okay, and so was hopefully we can get you know back to our winning ways uh, with that. Um, and other news, Russ, we've got teams that are making the uh, tournament. Everyone's qualifying for the uh, basketball tournament, uh, the NCAA tournament. Yeah, and a little bit later on in the show, we're going to have the coach for Stetson in here, and they made the NCAA tournament. Well, that's a pretty big deal. It's a you know, small school, and they, they would call that a Cinderella team, right? Like, if they, if they do well? If they advance far enough into it, yeah, they will absolutely. Uh, number 21, St. Mary's from the West Coast, they made it in. Charleston uh, made it in. Oakland and Wagner on the men's side. Uh, Texas. Green Bay, Portland, and South Dakota State for the women's side um, all punched their tickets to make it to the tournament, and the tournament will be starting on the weekend of the 19th. So. Hey, it's uh, Caitlin uh, Clark is her, her team in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I th- I, actually, I think they just wrapped up. Uh, they won the conference, so they get an automatic bid. Wow. So, yeah, okay. so, yeah, she's in there. Uh, this would be... For her, I know, like in her conference and her team, they've done well. But if she were able to go out with a national championship, that would give her the storybook ending that she probably would like sure. for her collegiate career. So yeah, um, but she's broken like every all of them scoring yeah. record, right? Like yeah. she even beat. Uh, so she just needs a good Steph like, Curry's three point uh, uh, record. She beat that. Yeah, so she just That's needs a, cool. a really good uh, run in the tournament. And uh, and that would again uh, put a storybook ending to uh, her uh, collegiate career. It's always it'll be really cool. Um, and so it's NFL uh, free agent uh, season signing right now, mm-hmm. and we're going to start hearing a bunch of these signings. I think starting today because today begins the actual NFL calendar year. So they've announced a bunch of deals, but I think the actual contracts or the deals or the signings take place today, I think, if I remember that correctly. Yeah. But this one's just interesting because you're like, huh. So Aaron Rodgers, (laughs) he played for about eight seconds in his uh, debut as the quarterback for the uh, New York Jets. Yeah. And one of the things that he has said is that he wants to eliminate outside noise in 2024. He wants to focus on the Jets. He wants to, you know, that be the thing. Yeah, okay. Well, now. I have mean, you heard, uh, Russ, have you heard of Robert F. Kennedy Jr.? Man, can't listen to him talk, man. Uh, yeah. It, 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 he, his voice drives me crazy. Can't talk. <laughs> but I know exactly. He's, he's, he wants to run as an independent for uh, president of the United States. You're absolutely right. Guess who he wants his VP to be? Aaron Rodgers <laughs> or, or, or Jesse the Body Ventura. <laughs> like, uh, well, we're really not trying to. Uh, we're not really not trying to get votes, are we? <laughs> we're, uh, just, we're just playing. Uh, presidential candidate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I, I, I can't imagine. I mean, 
there's a there's a bunch of things in place here that it would be a conflict of interest for Aaron Rodgers. Um, I don't know if he could actually pull them off both at the same time. But so you think his thought is, listen, okay, I need to get attention. You know, uh, people, who, uh, a lot of people are bitching. They, they don't want Trump. They don't want mm. Biden. You know, they, nobody likes it. You know, we don't want the rematch. All this kind of stuff. So you know, I've got a chance if I have a name people recognize. So I'm either going to go with this professional wrestler that used to be the governor of uh, Minnesota. Or I'm going to go with Aaron Rodgers, who is, I mean, controver- he's controversial all the time, right? People, like A lot of people don't like Aaron Rodgers. He used to be really well uh, liked. He would loved until he started talking too much. Yeah, so. I mean, both... Both are the bad. Feeling. Both are a bad decision, right? <laughs> like you're you're proving that you don't make good decisions. Why would you? Why would we want you as president? Uh, just to get the attention, I guess. You know, I don't know to be a distraction. So he needs uh, someone to talk for him. Yeah. He oh, got it. that boy like nah, 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 nah. <laughs> He what? can't really talk. Um. <laughs> he can't. If you got if you, all right, so we're gonna put our hypothetical thinking caps on here, right? Do yeah. It, hypothetically. So let's say, just for argument's sake, just for the point of the start, you stole twenty-two million dollars from iHeart. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> and you did it so badly that you got caught. You got caught. Right? Yeah. So you so you're, you're, you 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 stole the twenty-two million. Well, you, you got it's caught. It's on you, I yeah. heard, for no, letting me do that no, much. Yeah, so, by 22 million, <laughs> yeah. do you mean there's a bunch of chips over there that may or may not have gone missing? Is this a, is that what we're talking and, about? And in the process of stealing your 22 million, you bought uh, condos, you bought cars, you bought watches, you bought uh, all kinds of internet memorabilia. Like you were, you weren't discreet about your your uh, your monies, all right? Because mm-hmm. so, evidently nobody's <laughs> checking up on me, so I'm going to buy everything. You sold 22 million dollars. Yeah. How long do you think you would go to jail? Wow. Well, I got $22 million for legal fees, so not long. How, you know what? Uh, so, yeah, if it's that much money, does it does it matter the amount of money? That's a good question. That's what. Uh, That's a good question. Is it the same as, like, say you stole uh, $50,000? Is it different than if you stole $22 million? I think, it, I think the, I, I think it'd be the same I don't All think right, stealing, I, I, stealing. So you, stealing stealing. you got caught. Kind of, you're going to jail for how long, Russ? I don't think there's a sliding scale. Um, uh, five years. Five years, Ryan. Uh, three years. Three years. So the dude. So um, who we're talking about is Amit Patel. Yeah. And he was a uh, employee for the Jaguars <laughs> from twenty uh, from the 2018 to 2023. Just getting away with. I mean, apparently the kid was well off. He really didn't need to uh, to do this, but he ended up doing it. He used the program uh, Ryan that you were talking about yesterday. He had access to the Jacksonville Jaguars virtual cards, right? Mm. And so he basically uh, jacked the Jaguars. Poor, uh, poor phrasing there. For $22 million, yeah. he transferred uh, a million dollars to FanDuel and DraftKings. Mm-hmm. He spent $600,000 at Apple, $278,000 on travel, $69,000 at Ticketmaster, $47,000 on Tiger Woods, Scott Cameron Putter from the 1996 U.S. Amateur Tour. He also paid $2,200 for a Trevor Lawrence jersey on eBay. Um, Does he have to give all this money back? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, and then there's a... Well, there, what if you don't have it anymore? Like, listen, I spent it. I spent Oh, no, he spent it. He's going to have to work this stuff off. He's got... He How owes, do you work off $22 million? I don't know. He owes more than $21 million in restitution. He's got to attend uh, Ga- Gamblers Anonymous. And he was sentenced to 6.5 years in prison for stealing $22 million. But because he's never really been in trouble before, because this is his first offense, he's probably going to only have to do four. Hmm. And there was a whole bunch of money. That's spent what I, I said five. Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Said, there was not a not a scale like, oh, listen, you stole a bunch. Not for so. nothing, but like at twenty two million dollars, and and I get to like be you know be an idiot for two years, and then I only have to go to jail for four. Right. I mean, that's temptation. It's it's, it's worth <laughs> thinking about. You, know, you gotta sit and do the math on that. Now yeah. the only dilemma is I know that you know, this place doesn't have twenty two million lying around. And then he's, he's, he's got to do four years, right? Four yeah, years, four but, he's, years. but he gets out. Yeah, but he's got to, he's gonna dude, he's gonna be paying restitution for the rest of his life. He's owes twenty one. If I owed I heart twenty two million dollars at my pay scale, I just did the math, it would take me seven hundred and five years. <laughs> 
there's, I mean, if you can't get a job when you get out, you can't pay them back. I mean, like, there's no way we can't. You can't get blood out of a turnip. No, but it doesn't matter whatever Not kind of job. You put blood in the turnip first. It doesn't matter what kind of job you have. Whatever job he ever ends up getting. Let's say he works at a convenience store. He works at a car wash. He, he gets a job. His wages are going to be garnished from the uh, jump. Right. They're just going to take it. So. And that's Monster Sports. Right? Thank you so much. Uh, don't go anywhere. You're listening to the Monster of the Morning. Yeah, my wage is garnished. Real Radio is on Facebook at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine at 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Eastbound I-4 is very slow from 4 U.S. 27 past State Road 429, from Osceola Parkway to State Road 535, and from Michigan Street to Colonial Drive. In Brevard County, we're still very slow northbound on I-95 into north of O'Galley Boulevard. Overnight serious crash investigation still has the right lane blocked here. Also have a wreck and delay northbound on Spring Garden Avenue at Plymouth Avenue. And if you see traffic problems, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by Pearl's Specialties Olives in the Sunny Yellow Jar. Original MTV VJ Martha Quinn here. Pearl's Specialties Olives are bursting with flavor and add the perfect Mediterranean twist to everyday meals and snacks. Rock your recipes with Pearl's Specialties Olives. For quality you can trust, look for the Sunny Yellow Jar at your local Walmart. This year full of Real Radio is brought to you by Crimeline.org. Give a tip anonymously. The most common form of treatment for the arthritic joints is normally cortisone injections and gel shots and over-the-counter medications and most patients have tried all of that and are still in pain. Every day Dr. Aaron Wolkoff, a QC Kinetics medical director, meets patients who have exhausted every method to get relief. They've been told surgery is their only option. They want to stay away from that path and they come to us almost as a last hope. So we're using our own body's properties to help manage pain, to help slow arthritis down, keep the patients active with no downtime time and getting back to what they enjoy doing. I mean, I love what I do. QC Kinetics regenerative treatments from our board certified providers help heal and restore aching joints. No surgery, harmful drugs, or downtime. Call for your free consultation today. Call QC Kinetics, 689-244-7980. That's 689-244-7980. In Orlando, Winter Park, the Villages, and Lake Mary, 689-244-7980. Download the iHeartRadio app and listen to thousands of live radio stations, podcasts, and stream unlimited music playlists for any mood or activity. Powered by City Kia, Central Florida's favorite auto dealer. If you ask anyone who's experienced LASIK, they will tell you it's the best thing they've ever done. And more often than not, they'll add, I should have done it sooner. So what are you waiting for? The Filatoski Eye Institute is offering free LASIK consultations. Just text 1041 to 868686 and start your journey to better vision with the Filatoski Eye Institute. They performed over 65,000 LASIK procedures using the latest state-of-the-art technology. If finances are a concern, they offer 24-month interest-free financing. Text 1041 to 868686 to schedule your free LASIK consultation at the Filatoski Eye Institute. My friends at Mills Air have been in business since 1992 right here in Central Florida. Over 30 years, they're not going anywhere. Carrier, factory authorized dealer, turn to the experts. Equipment changeouts and upgrades right now up to $1,275 in rebates. Go to MillsAir.com. McDonald's McCafe Ice Coffee wakes you up like the perfect song. The 100% Arabica beans get your head nodding. Yeah, then the cream drops like a smooth bass line. Uh Uh-huh, add some ice to chill it down, and some French vanilla flavor. There you go. Or change it up and go with caramel. Either way, it's a stone-cold classic. Start your day with a $1.49 McCafe iced coffee available during breakfast hours only. Music to my ears. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. My day just flows better when I make my first stop McDonald's. I can choose two faves and save big with a bundle of savory sausage McMuffin or flaky sausage biscuit with crispy hash browns for breakfast for $2.79. Or I can make Mickey D's my last stop. Lunch, dinner, a late-night snack perhaps. When I bundle a crispy McChicken or juicy McDouble with the Delicious small fries for only $3.69. Now my day is made the tastiest way when I bundle and save at McDonald's. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices of participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Valid with product served. 
Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I've got a leaking... To leave us a testimonial saying how happy you are with our service, press 1. But you haven't even... For all other inquiries, please hang up. Wait, what? Hang up and call Frank Gay. We're busy watching the game. You know what? I think I will. When you have a leak, you need solutions on your schedule. A helpful expert who can find the problem and fix it fast. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com Oh, 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 O'Reilly! Stop by the new O'Reilly Auto Parts in Orlando on Curry Ford Road next to Winn-Dixie now through March 26th for the grand opening sale. You'll get two times O rewards points on select purchases, including five quarts of Mobile One full synthetic motor oil for $35.95 and receive a $10 O'Reilly gift card after rebate. Plus, buy one, get one free Coca-Cola products at your new O'Reilly Auto Parts. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 original stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like 24-7 comedy. Men don't settle down. We surrender. Women, we never express the emotions we're actually feeling, right? I'm fine means I'm about to stab you in the neck. Clips from today's top comedians and the greatest of all time. Donut hole. If you want a donut, have a donut. Why are you eating the hole? When you need a laugh, just open the free iHeartRadio app and search comedy. You can actually change the station. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. To the Top is sponsored by TK Law because life-changing events happen. TK Law will be there for you. One firm for life. This hour of programming is brought to you by My Home Builders Network. Need a new roof? Then you need Mike and his team at HBNUSA.com. Hey, what's up? Remember, we're on our YouTube channel, Real Radio Monsters on YouTube. That's Real Radio Monsters on YouTube. If you follow us on YouTube, there's a little area there where you can chat back and forth. A real real great uh, group of people that chat back and forth about the show during the entire show, which is awesome. And then also, please, when you uh, when you go there, subscribe, because it doesn't cost you anything, and you get to get you know notifications when we put up new stuff and all that kind of stuff. So it, it, it's awesome. It's Real Radio Monsters on YouTube. What's up, guys? I'm Russ Rollins, along with Angel and Ryan, and Friendly Ray Trendley here with us today, hanging out for a little bit. How you doing, Ray? Good morning. I'm doing well. Are you, are you, do you, go, are you going to court today? I am not going to court today. I've got some office meetings today. Do you look forward to like, going into court? Like It's like performing, right? Yeah. You, you know, I, I think from an adrenaline standpoint, I really enjoy going to court. I really like the ability to test the theory, um, experiment with different strategies with evidence. That's really a fun part of my job. Yeah. Um, you look forward to it. I, I very much look forward to it. The hardest part is just being out of the office in general. You know, I, I think the greatest resource I can offer to my clients and, and just all the clients of the firm is to be available and around to supervise and watch over cases and, and be available if there's any questions or concerns and things like that, because that's where my experience really is helpful is, yeah. you know, um, being in the office. So it, it is a, a give and a take for me, but uh, me personally, my own, you know, and re-energize myself. I love going to court. So when you go into the office, and, and I've been to your office, and you got a beautiful office. Thank you. Uh, and you go right by the, the fancy, uh, fancy furniture place. Do you ever, do you ever see fancy furniture and decide to buy it? Like no. going in and out? No, you've never bought any fancy furniture there. I've never purchased any fancy furniture. It's a scan design, right? Scan design, and it is is beautiful furniture. I know. And it's, I would it's be comfy. I would, I'd want to buy. I'd be like, oh, I gotta buy because the way they, they, the way they put it together, it's like, damn, that room looks good. Like every day, I'd want to buy whatever scan design has. Doesn't it, Steve have a store though, like a like a furniture store? No, he's, he had a he had a um a cosmetics store. Uh, it was called Ship to Shore, and it was. Oh, yeah. I thought, I thought he had like a brick player. and mortar business somewhere. That, like, was, no, like, no, I guess that I'm was a long time ago. Wrong. Okay, no. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, no, no furniture. Um, 
It just makes your whole office look fancier, though, because you're, as you're walking in, it's like, oh, these all look fancy furniture, and then and then you go 100%. in there, and there's Ray, Ray Trainley in the fancy office. Everybody thinks I'm much fancier than I am just yeah. because of where my office is. They're like, oh, you must drink champagne all day long. That's you don't? The, no, I don't. Dang. I'm more of like a Miller Lite kind of guy. There we go. <laughs> hey, question for you guys. So, uh, so we talked about this yesterday a little bit. It's been world news, right? Like, it's this world news about that photo of the royal family, yeah. Kate Middleton, uh, the Photoshop thing, Photoshop fail, they're calling it. So if you had to guess, you know, try, try to use your, you know, your imagination, everything has, you know, uh, 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 effect, right? Like, if something happens and it affected something else. What do you think happened after this whole thing, whole debacle, the, the effect of the family photo failure uh ryan take a guess what do you think uh, came out of it like okay this happened but it affected this other industry or it, it, it did something in the world what do you think uh it affected uh ugly christmas sweaters ah oh, that's a very good guess yeah, yeah so you, th- you think more ugly christmas sweaters uh, are, sold yeah like people try to get that look of their fake ai children mm, mm, no, okay that's not, not a bad guess uh angel what do you think was the effect of the uh, the th- royal family photo failure. I would think that people are more uh, intrigued with uh, celebrity photos and trying to fi- uh, catch or see if there's any more um, uh, altered ones. AI have, uh, pictures. Trying also. to catch all the photo. Yeah, yeah. the people that uh, have, uh, have changed their photo. Okay. What, what do you think, uh, Ray Trenley? Yeah, that was kind of my thought, too. And I don't want to stay that anymore, so I'm going to change that to uh, more people are traveling to England to try to catch a, a glimpse uh, of the royal family. Oh, of, of the of real Kate Middleton. Yeah. She still hasn't come up on a photo yet. You know? No, like, no. Still keeping it a mystery. No, get the and, and I only bring this up because my my my, my son-in-law, my, my brother-in-law, uh, he, to- he talked me into buying stock in this because he works there uh and since this has happened adobe has gained three billion dollars in the market wow that's funny <laughs> three three what three billion dollars in wow. the market uh after this whole thing happened people realize oh wow you can uh, you can you know adjust your photos with adobe photoshop no. like, like we all knew that didn't we like we all no. knew for like the last 20 years but ray have you ever like come across like someone who tried to manipulate a photo on you yes i have have oh, you really in court like in a court situation in court in trial and at uh, one time what they do one time i know i was right and and we got the evidence thrown out one time i thought i was right and then I started learning more about artificial intelligence. This was like at the very beginning of artificial mm-hmm. intelligence and manipulation of photos. Yeah. And now I, I still have doubts. I still have doubts. And, and, and we won because I'm very convincing. Um, <laughs> what kind of, was it evidence about like... Uh... It, it, was, it was evidence of an assault. Mm-hmm. And uh, I believe that the evidence was altered. Yeah. And now I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure. They have, uh, they, they have like, so I've forensic, got very mixed feelings about it. They, they have like a forensic, uh, I don't know, specialist that can go in and tell whether it's been manipulated, right? Well, well it, and so that was what was unique about this case. So normally we ask for the metadata and we can see in the metadata if it's been altered. Um, that that wasn't available in this. All we had was a hard copy of the picture. And so what we did was we compared two pictures that were taken within two hours of each other uh, to determine whether or not we thought that they were altered. And my position was that it was altered, um, and uh, and now I'm not sure if the first picture that we used to compare was altered. And so, um, mm. interesting. It, it, it Does was, it keep you up at night? Because did you you won the case, but I you wouldn't have because of this. It, the, I'm not sure how it all plays out. Oh. Um, but I've got no reason to believe the evidence that I was relying on wasn't right. But now that I've learned more, I see like little things and I'm like, Mm -hmm. oh, that is something that AI would have done. And that is something that maybe I would have missed. And um, Mm. it it was a few years back. I think it was was right before COVID. So Mm. um, it was was kind of the infancy of of artificial intelligence and these photo uh, manipulations. And I just, I don't know. Russ, I don't know if I got it right or not. Does it mention in that story like... uh... Is this, is this a, just one of those weird coincidences that uh, Adobe's having a good run, uh, ha- they had a good stock day, or is there any other uh, things that they can attribute or they're making connections that why it's connected to Kate Middleton? Uh, they, they said Adobe stock recently, after this uh, happened, recently a significant increase, apparently adding $3 billion to the company's overall value 
in the stock market. The only reason that I asked, though, because, like, uh, Ray, you bring up a good uh, point in the sense of this, right? Russ, you use uh, – there's a bunch of apps that are available to you that are more user-friendly or I, easier to use than Adobe, than Adobe product. Yeah. And so – that's why I was curious of why, because that's not a, I mean, it's an awesome, fantastic program, and they do a, a, with their audio um, editing and all that. It's, well, it says Adobe is the company that created uh, Photoshop, so I guess whenever you use Photoshop, you're using an Adobe product. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so uh, uh, yeah, fo- uh, Photoshop uh, breaking news uh, that uh, they went from uh, 551.69 uh, to 560.42, which is a $3 billion increase. But yeah. well, I, good for them. They needed the money. Well, <laughs> you know, they have a whole suite of products. Right. But that's I, what I get. Yeah. I think they had one of their AI apps. I think they just limit uh, released like a, a limited beta testing for one of those um, for free. And gotcha. I, don't, I don't know which product that was, but, y- you know, I subscribe to all the, the Adobe products for the office. And so I got an email blurb, but I never read it. But I wonder if maybe that's part of it as well. Why that, so I got that was okay. within the last month or so. Understood. Um, you almost can't use photos from your phone or whatever as evidence, can you? Because because they, they can be manipulated, changed. It could be you know. Make, that's why you get the metadata. Make everything brighter. Make everything darker to look like bruises. There's all kinds of stuff. Yeah. So. so um, Correct. So one, we, we need the we need the underlying data f- with the photo, um, and, and we don't use phones generally as evidence unless you're going to admit the entire phone into evidence. So that way, it could be examined and whatever. Nice. Um, but uh, yeah, so that that was a really big thing. I don't know if you guys remember the Trayvon Martin murder case yes. uh, with George Zimmerman. Yeah. But that was a really big part of the evidence uh, that was introduced was when, and this is again nerding out. But when the state provided the discovery to the, the defense team, they gave them a photocopy of a picture mm. with no metadata or anything. Um, and that was a really big part of the case was because at trial, they determined that it wasn't the original photo file. Uh-huh. And then they provided the metadata and they found out that it was altered and that came into court. Gotcha. And that basically they were able to show this is what the actual photo looks like. This is what, you know, was provided in discovery. And does this change your opinion about, you know, who was the aggressor? Um, because it definitely like, you know, they did the shading. So like the bruising looked more pronounced right. and, and things like that. So um, it's a huge thing in evidence. It, it's definitely something that the law has, is starting to catch up to and understand Okay, these data files are very important to determining yeah. whether or not this evidence is Because the metadata credible. shows you the device it was taken on, the the exposure, the original, all of that stuff, and whether it's edited. You can't really, I mean, you can go in and edit that, but most people aren't smart enough if they're criminals to go and do that, I suppose. Whatever. Well, well <laughs> they're not criminal minded. <laughs> and, 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 you know, there are some things, and, and I know that there are some limitations to that because I've learned a lot about it over the years myself. Um, but you know, we just look. We, you just look at the amount of data too. If the data changes, right? There's got to be a conversion somewhere, and in that conversion, there could be a loss of pixelation or something like that. So there's a lot of things that we look to, even so if it's not you, an intentional manipulation. What if you don't change color? If you just like, hey, listen, I made my face not look as fat. You know, like like you, 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 <laughs> that'll be in there. That, that'd be in there. Yeah, yeah. It it takes was, a lot of data well, like, to I'm, do I'm, that. I'm not, I'm not changing the color. I just don't want my face to look. So I want to get rid of that double chin. You know, that, that kind of thing. You still can tell, huh? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, it shows up on on the. Don't be checking in my photos <laughs> hey uh uh so going back to the kate middleton thing she still has not shown worldwide news right like they the, like they want to see how she's doing and she hasn't put it like a a facebook thing out with in front of a i don't know in front of the newspaper like look i'm here i'm fine yeah. uh that that is kind of weird isn't it but is it just a, a result of having social media and like we feel like we need to be directly connected to what's going on in everybody's life all the time because in my mind this isn't the first time somebody in the royal family has had, let's just say cancer. I don't know if that's what it is, but let's say cancer. And then they didn't tell anybody about it. You See, know? I, I knew I thought it was something with the stomach. It was a, a abdominal uh, uh, surgery. Is so what this they is said. the timeline that the uh, the um, the royals have put out there, right? So on December 25th, that was the last time Kate made a public appearance. Right. Uh, she was seen leaving church, and uh, then she went to the family's country residence in the north of London. Gotcha. January the 17th, uh-huh. uh, Kate Middleton went underwent a planned abdominal surgery. Right. Uh, and which, they don't say what kind of surgery. They don't say, but they said that as they expected her to be hospitalized for 10 to 14 days. Uh-huh. The palace adds that it's unlikely Kate will participate in any public engagements until after Easter, Easter sorry, which falls on March 
thirty first. Okay, so we haven't we're not we're not so to we're, Easter yet. Maybe yeah, she's so, just like, listen, I told you yeah. I wasn't coming out to Easter, and I'm not coming out to Easter. Exactly. So uh, it looks like that. Uh, that's what they're going to be doing. Hmm. Yeah, but okay. When you have the, the they're not te- they don't have a t- real power power per se. But when you're like married to the guy who's next in line for the throne, and that guy has cancer. Uh, you, I, I would say you have an obligation. What guy has cancer? Hey, well, no. King Charles. Well, King, uh, no, he is on the throne. He is the king. Right, but the next in line would be William, who she's married to. Correct, though, right? yeah. Yeah, so and you have an obligation to come out to the people and be like, hey, I'm okay. I know that this is going on. They're aware that this conspiracy th- theories are going wild and expanding. Especially when it's, for whatever crazy reason, it's worldwide news. I guess, it's you know why it's worldwide news? Because it's really not... It's not depressing and sad. It's not kids dying. It could you know, be. It, it, you don't know. Well, it could be depressing and sad. I yeah. mean, it could be that you know she's got something terminal, or you know, you know I don't know. It's just I, I don't know. And maybe I'm just too sensitive to it. But like, I know if my mom's sick, or you know, if one of you guys is sick, I don't want to spread that news out to everybody. I want to keep that you know in the family and just I don't know. Yeah, but if you're them, you can't, right? Right. They're home. I mean, that is kind of what you're signing up for, I guess. You know, yeah. when when you marry a royal, you are kind of signing up for like every part of your life to be examined. You know, yeah, you didn't paint your toenails citizens. one day; yeah. everybody's gonna know. Yeah, yeah, but they're. I mean, I get what you're saying, Ryan, but they're not under any obligation to pr- uh, produce her for us. They are because they are, they're but, taxpayer funded. No, no, but they gave us a timeline. So uh, according to after March 31st is when I'll start worrying. <laughs> <laughs> but they gave me the calendar. Just they the told, fact that a simple photo c- could fix this, and they're not doing it because they're the royals. They're, Even though, well, just a but, Facebook video. Hey, I'm Again, fine, everybody. You guys are not getting it. They're the royals. They don't have to listen to us. We're commoners, especially we're American commoners talking about the royals. We'll uh, never be royals. But you know, isn't there like a... <laughs> s- s- I, bet, I bet they don't have uh, gas leaf loads by the uh, by the castle. Oh, don't get me started on that. I'm all electric. Oh, really? I'm all electric. So you think in Winter Park they should pass that law? Like, I didn't say that. This guy. We also I learned, didn't say that. We also learned, Ray. Oh, like I, don't, I don't like anybody telling me what to do, yeah. but I'm all electric. I got electric lawnmower, weed whacker, I do, well, I do too. But do you think, you know, in Winter Park, they're wanting to pass that law where they can't use gas-powered leaf blowers. Would you be for or against that, Mr. Dre Trendley? I'm generally in favor of less laws. So uh, I don't like people telling me what to do. There you go. Good answer. I honestly don't even like people telling me to cut my grass. I want to let it grow. I want to let it grow. (laughs) Angel, we learned during the break, you're not in here to hear it, but, like, Ray, Ray has a... M- like double the size closet space than his wife. So do I. I do. Yeah. Well, I, I would imagine so. He's an attorney. He's got all the suits. So his wife's got lots of po- suits, lots of shoes. Yeah. How, many t- how many ties you got? Hundred. Oh, I don't ask me that question. My wife listens. Over, over, um, under hundred. Oh, you, you got a bunch. I right? have, I have to hide them because <laughs> you have to hide your ties. I've got two of the rotating tie racks, and like every year, my wife is like, "I'll get you two more ties for Christmas, but you have to give away two more." So you're but at the I- point where you can tie your tie without even thinking about it, right? You just. Yeah, it. sometimes I got to adjust the length, you know, but... Um, are you good with the Windsor or not, or do you just do the standard? Uh, usually, I'll do a, 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 a five-tie knot or a three-tie knot. Gotcha. Um, uh, I will do a Windsor occasionally, but I'm not that fancy. I, I, I can you. just do the one thing. I, I don't even know uh, what it's called. I, just, I, can I, just, do the yeah, one. Like I can't the do three. a fat one like that. I like that uh, fat one. Yeah, yeah, so do I. Ray Trinley got <laughs> a fat one. Oh, you whoops. like Ray's big fat one? Uh, <laughs> How do you do the big fat one? Is it two, is it two it, loops? It, it, no, it's five. Five loops? Yeah, it's five... Uh, yeah, turns. five. Yeah. How could you do five? It's called a YouTube video, Russ. I learned it that way. Uh, uh, you, you, you learned the five? Yeah. Because I, I, it gives I, it, cause it, it does. It gives it that nice uh, sub, you know. Because when you do the one I single one, five. if you cinch it too tight, it looks like a little tiny balloon knot. Exactly. Yeah. I hate that. That's the only one I can do. Yeah, it, it works well do with skinny ties, though. It like, does. It does work well Yeah, but that, we were in the 80s, and it was. Uh, if you were in a three and a half <laughs> or a two and a half, I like to. Use yeah. a five tie. Next time I got to wear a tie is at that uh, Edgewater High School thing. I'm going to do a five tire for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing uh, a, a five looper. I'll, I'll prepare it for you. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I, I'm like a little boy. I'll put it on my head the day of. I, I, oh, I'll, <laughs> if I bring, I'll bring my tie in. Next time when you're on the show, I'll bring the tie in. I'll let you do a five tire, a uh, five knotter, and then I can just slip it over my head the day I got to get I, I do that for my kids. Whenever they have to wear ties, I do that. And, uh, you know, I just like You'll have to make it, it longer for me, though, because I got to. Well, a five tie is hard to make long. That's a. 
Yeah, and you, you, it get, is. you end we'll up with like a, a shorter little leg. Uh, yeah. yeah, you got to so you got to make sure you get the appropriate length tie. How does Donald Trump do it? He's got the long tie. He buys clown tie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that must be it. All right, we'll take a break. When we come back, you have uh, a divorce thing you want to tell us about. Yeah, I get a re- interesting article Ooh. from the Wall Street Journal. And I got a divorce question to ask you too. Yes, okay, so we'll do that. So don't go anywhere. You're listening to the Monster of the Morning. Real Radio is the Jim Colbert Show. You have a good turtleneck head. I do not think I have a good turtleneck head. Jack has an okay turtleneck head. But Jim and one would look like a roll-on deodorant. <laughs> How dare you, sir? The Jim Colbert Show. Weekdays at 3 on Real Radio 104.1. From the Cool Today Weather Center. Cooltoday.com. Good morning and happy Wednesday, Central Florida. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast. And we are expecting another warm day across Central Florida. Temperatures will warm their way into the low 80s, the high of 82 degrees for Orlando. We will expect some clouds along with an isolated chance of a few sprinkles, but only a 10% chance as we head to tomorrow. Even warmer temperatures with highs approaching the upper 80s by the end of the week, low 90s by Sunday. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This This report is sponsored by Blue Stream Fiber. HOA and condo board members, it pays to have fiber. Let Blue Stream Fiber show you how fiber internet provides revenue for communities while saving up to 50% off retail rates. Visit bluestreamfiber.com slash radio to find out more. Solar source. I love solar source. They made solar put solar energy on my house so that way my pool is always at the right temperature. It feels awesome. I can go in my pool anytime I want. You know, it used to be I couldn't go in the pool anytime I wanted. I'd have to wait till like June before it got uh, warm enough for me to go in the pool. Not anymore. I went the other day because uh, it was awesome. I have the temperature right where I want it thanks to solar source. Nighttime pool parties, not a problem. Poolside movie nights, not a problem. Water workouts, I don't do those, but it would not be a problem if I wanted to. To do it. It's Solar Source. They can help you and help you now. Uh, friends of Russ Rollins save even more money when you go to solarsource.com slash monsters. That's solarsource.com slash monsters. Solar Source, you can uh, pay as you go, build as you go. If you want to start small and build it up, you can do that. Uh, and, and Solar Source has been great, great company to work with. They've been around for, I mean, many, many years now, over 40 years right here in Central Florida. It's solarsource.com slash monsters. That's solarsource.com slash monsters. Tax time means a much-needed cash bonus for many people. But for business owners, it can mean the opposite. Hey, this is R.C. Hill from R.C. Hill, Mitsubishi, and DeLand. My accountant said I need to reduce my tax burden now, so I'm going to overpay for your old car because I'd rather give you the money than the government. Get up to $4,297 more for your old car than it's actually worth. No matter where you bought the car, no matter how many miles are on it. It's simple. Trade in your old car you hate driving and get a new car today like a Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty. That means most people can trade and lower their payment. Or let me double your tax refund up to $2,500. RC Hill Mitsubishi specializes in approving customers with below average credit scores. My goal this month is 100% credit approval. This month, my prices will not be beat. This sale ends when my accountant says enough is enough. I'm RC Hill at RC Hill Mitsubishi, Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishis. Two locations, DeLand and now in Ocala. Or visit me at rchill.com. That's rchill.com. Credit requires bank approval. See rchill.com for details. You know you should clean your carpet and tile, but did you know there's a right way to clean? Russ Rollins here for Zero Res, and they have figured it out with their patented process that leaves zero sticky, soapy chemical residue behind. They bring their own special ZR water because it cleans better, and it dries faster, and it's safer for kids and pets. So, no hooking up to your water. Mention my name, and you get 20% off your tile and grout cleaning. And carpet cleaning is only $49 per room. Go online to OrlandoZeroRes.com. That's Zero Res, spelled forwards or backwards. It's the right way to clean. Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Door Service. Springtime savings are here, and now is the perfect time to service your garage. Don't wait until a simple garage door repair becomes a major problem. Call A1 Garage today and receive the best service, best parts, and best warranty in the industry. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. 
Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. I'm Charles. I got a bad back injury when a truck crashed into my car. You know those lawyer ads. All they talk about are themselves and money, money, money. I wanted the best doctors for my back. I called attorney Glenn Klausman. He got me to really good doctors, and I'm doing great. Glenn was always available to talk to. He got me a great settlement and quicker than I thought possible. Car crash? Call Klausman at 407-917-1718. K-L-A-U-S-M-A-N law.com. Office, Winter Park. Hey, what's good, guys? This is Angel from the Monsters. You guys know I love to cook on my big green egg. Why? It's impressive, and everything turns out great on the big green egg. If you don't have one, you got to go to Wasi's Meat Market and get a big green egg. They have the lowest prices in the country. They also have all the accessories, everything that you need. They have the classroom set up so you can teach you the basic techniques on the big green egg and advanced techniques on the big green egg as well. When you get the big green egg, from Wasi's Meat Market, there's a lifetime guarantee, so check them out. It's Wasi's Meat Market. Check them on Instagram or go to their website, wasi'smeatmarket.com in Melbourne on Wickham Road. It's Wasi's Meat Market. Get ready because Scott's is taking over daylight saving time. It's such a big event that we're calling it day long saving time, and now it's got real savings. In fact, it's the biggest deals of the year. Audacious? Absolutely. So don't wait. Stock up early and you'll be able to save up to $20 on Scott's Triple Action and Easy Seed products today at the Home Depot, Lowe's, or Ace Hardware. Offers available March 7th through 20th at select U.S. stores while supplies last. Selection varies by location. See store for exact offers. Real Radio is Real Music Weekends. This weekend on Real Radio 104.1. Real Radio 104.1. Welcome back to the Monsters of the Morning, Real Radio 104.1, broadcasting live on iHeartRadio. What is up, everybody? I'm Russ Rollins, along with Angel and Ryan, and we've got friendly Ray Trendley here with us today. By the way, Ray Trendley is with TK Law, does family law. And, uh, you know, we talk about estate planning all the time. You also do divorce. You also do uh, – what else is on top of that? Uh, I just think of divorce and uh... – We do a, a wide variety of things. I mean, we, we can do contract review. We do civil litigation. We do uh, – we, we've got attorneys that do personal injury work, although they're of counsel at the firm. We've got attorneys that do intellectual property work. Yeah. Um, but we do a little bit of everything, and if we don't do it, then we know somebody who does. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, do, you, do, do you want to tell us – you may ask my question first, or you want to do that? Yeah. I mean, it's entirely up to you, um, but I, I read an interesting article. We, we, we talked about a Time Magazine article last week, yeah. and, and this one was a Wall Street Journal article, and it talks about the lessons I've learned from my friends' very expensive divorces. Uh, ah, so, so basically I, watching your friends go through divorce and then trying to learn from that. That's right, and so this is from the perspective of a California-based therapist uh-huh. uh, who's been working with clients that are going through divorce and the fallout of divorce. Um, and, and, and really her focus, obviously it's the wall street journal was that money comes up a lot in her conversations with people about divorce. Well, of course. Yeah. That's a, one of the first things you worry about. You're like, yo, oh God, we got to split everything. Uh, absolutely. And really the focus, and I thought this was an interesting one cause I've, I've historically, I've heard a lot of people's opinions on this. Um, but her perspective on it is autonomy equals equality when it comes to income. Explain, explain what I mean. And, and so <laughs> what, what she's talking about is that when you have individual accounts and you've got a joint account for joint expenses, that that's the best way to have money conversations in your marriage, right? So she talks about, you know, you've got a major expense for the family pet or you've got a major expense for the house, that that comes out of the joint funds. 
but that you talk about that together before making that decision, but neither of you feels obligated to, uh, to have to ask for permission because you also have your own separate accounts. Um, and, and one of the things that she emphasizes is this idea that both parties need to be working and have their own separate incomes uh, to retain that autonomy, right? Where the, your individual uh, status financially is is separate from your spouse's. Um, and that's something I've heard a lot of opinions on over the years. I've heard some people say the key to a successful marriage is to have all separate accounts. Yeah. I've heard people say the opposite. I want everything to be joint. Um, and so, so what uh, if some stuff is like some stuff is joint, like you have a joint banking account, but then, you know, someone's got their own 401k and then someone has their own other account. Uh, is that is that still considered it's all together? Yeah, no. So for, for me as a lawyer, that's generally what I'm advising people about when they when they enter into prenuptial agreements or they uh, get married is that it is a good idea to have one joint account for joint expenses, the mortgage, whatever the household expenses are, and then everybody contributes something into that pot, right? So, you know, let's say you and I are married, you make five times what I make, so you make $100 and I make $20 a, a, a month. Uh, so I'm going to contribute, you know, um, you know, five dollars to every, you know, twenty five dollars that you're going to put in. That means account. if we get a divorce, you deserve, you get less because you put less in the pot. Oh no, no, no I still oh. get half. Um, <laughs> Damn it! Uh, but, that, way, that doesn't make no no sense. Uh, but but you you balance it out. Well, and it, that's why you get a prenuptial agreement, Russ. <laughs> right. um, but uh, but you balance it out that way, and you have. And this is one of the points that this person was trying to make. You have conversations about how those expenses should be handled and treated. And so, um, you, you know, one of the things that she advises people to do is do a money date. And once a month, they talk about where their accounts are at and what they need to do and what major expenses that they plan on having for the family. So that way, you know, we're not resenting, okay, you spent $10,000 on this uh, new Harley and now I've got no money for my new suit or whatever. I don't know. Right. Um, and, and so having those conversations and being proactive and having those money those money conversations that ultimately lead to strife in your marriage. What um, about? I know, I know a guy uh, who uh, is going through was going, was going through a divorce uh, and and started hiding money, like like you know you know. Oh, but, that's bad. Yeah, uh, and, and, and you can't do that, can you? Well, you're asking a lawyer on the radio who, uh, <laughs> whether or not you can hide money, and I'm going to say you cannot. No. And uh, oh, but there are there, so there are wink, wink. Are there ways? It, it, it happened. I mean, here's the answer: it happens, right? And, and and sometimes there's enough evidence to prove that it happened. Sometimes there's not. Um, y- you know, what I think the answer is is it is better to disclose everything and and just kind of come clean, so to speak, because. At the end of the day, if there is any evidence that you hid money, what are they gonna do? It, it can come back out in the future and undo everything, and then the court's really gonna hammer you, right? I mean, yeah, the judge is not gonna be uh, kind to you the, after that, right? And, and so basically, you know what you're saying is, judge, I thought I could outsmart you because you're a dumb, dumb, and I'm so smart. Mm-hmm. Judges love. Oh, I forgot and judges, about that Acorn account. I judge, had no idea. Judges don't like that very much, <laughs> and, and so. You, you know, can't say I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Uh, my, my bad. My, my bad, Your Honor. That? Ignorance of the law doesn't give you a pass. Oh, that's right. And, yeah. was, and then we subpoena the Acorn. And it's like, oh, when you're last making all in. these yeah. trades, and yeah, uh, so, so it gets bad. <laughs> um, uh, so, so it's better just to disclose it. But you know, people do try to do it. I'm sure people have gotten away with it. I also am certain that people haven't gotten away with it, and they get hammered by the court because. At that point, you're talking about waste. You're talking about attorney's fees. You're talking about all these other things. Yeah, and and it's a really easy way to get a six figure attorney fee award. So um, if if someone comes to you, do you, do you always suggest, hey, let's do mediation first, or is it better just to jump right? You know, if someone says, I want to just, I want to this go as quickly as possible, uh, is it better just to go with the attorneys and let them figure it out, or mediation is what I had found, and I've been through this several times, is that mediation seems to be another expense. That never really, like in my, in my situations, never came to anything other than us arguing all day long. And then I lost, I, I, it cost me a lot more money and there was no solution. So, so the answer to that question for me is two parts. One is it depends on what the goals of the parties are, right? So if both parties have the same goal of resolving your case, mediation is a great you know, option. Uh, if one person does not have that same goal, they want to drag it out, they want to humiliate the other person, they want their day in court, whatever that example may be, uh-huh. um, mediation is probably not going to be very fruitful, and we're going to do that as quickly as possible, you know, uh, show up and leave probably within 30 minutes. 
Um, that's one part. The other part is for me, it's it's how financially fluent you are, right? So if uh, again, Russ, you and I are married, but you handle all the finances, and I have no idea how to pay a bill, I don't know how to open a checking account. Um, rushing to a mediation or rushing to an agreement is probably not in my client's best interest because at that point, my client doesn't have the financial education to make an educated decision. And and I'm concerned about whatever decision they reach may not be the right one. So we might want to get, you know, a financial planner or somebody involved to help pump balance out that, um, that knowledge gap. So it really just depends on me in the case and in the, in my client. But if you've got two parties that have pretty good understanding of the finances and pretty good understanding of their assets and their net worth. I'm perfectly okay with just writing up an agreement and sending it to the other side and saying, here, take a look at it. Yeah. We don't even need mediation. Because mediation can be expensive. It can I be. did. I'm not saying which one. There's there's four to choose from, so you can't. You, you have no <laughs> idea who I'm talking about. Uh, so this is all a mystery, okay? But I had one uh, me, mediation all day long. All day long, and I'd agreed to this, agreed to this, and, and only because I wouldn't pay for her cable for the ten, next 10 years. It's just, no, 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 no. And so I had to oh. pay for mediation for the entire day for both of us. Uh, plus and, the attorney uh, plus for the you attorney. and the attorney for them. What a waste of time. And, and so that told me that she wasn't going to agree to any of this anyway. It was just wasting my day because, like, that was the breaking point. You're, you're not going to pay for my cable for the next 10 years, and I'm not doing it. There's a judge that I used to know that <laughs> what he, the, wow. he passed That's away. True. But um, his theory was everybody has to have some skin in the game. And so even if it was a stay-at-home mom and and a husband worked all the time, he still wanted mom to pay some of those fees because that is that is kind of a um, a leverage point, right? Mm. If, if the bill's on Russ, he's got to pay the mediator, my attorney, and his attorney. Yeah. I don't have any problem with him you know, getting charged $1,500 an hour for Thanks us to care sit, less. sit here all day long. Yes. You know, uh. um, so uh, we, have, we have more questions, yeah. uh, divorce questions, uh, when we come back with Friendly Ray Trendly, uh, TK Law. If you need to get hold of him, it is uh, onefirmforlife.com. That's onefirmforlife.com. You can go, you can get some uh, you know, great information, buy some furniture, all in one shot. Uh, you're, you're listening to the Mobs of the Morning. <laughs> Orlando City heads to the ATL to face Atlanta United FC for a Sunday showdown. Coverage begins this Sunday at 6.30 p.m. on Real Radio 104.1. Westbound I-4 is slow traffic from Saxon Boulevard to State Road 46 and then from County Road 46A past Lake Mary Boulevard. Also from Fairbanks to Amelia and from Sand Lake to State Road 535. Have a crash on Spring Garden Avenue at Plymouth Avenue. And in Brevard County, the right lane is still closed northbound on I-95 north of O'Galley Boulevard with a serious accident that's being investigated. See traffic problems? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by Direct Auto. Direct Auto Insurance is for uncompromisers. With a super low down payment, you can stop compromising and keep driving. Get a free quote at directauto.com. Down payments vary does not mean savings. How you buy can affect price. National General Group, Winston-Salem. Zero res. Listen, you know what? You got to keep your carpet and your tile clean. You know that, right? Well, the best way to keep your uh, carpet and tile clean is with a company like Zero Res. They use a patented process to clean your carpets, your tile, your grout, and there's zero sticky, soapy chemical residue, not with Zero Res. They use this ZR water they bring with them. They don't use your water. They bring the ZR water with them, clean everything. It uh, cleans much, much better. It dries faster, and it safe for the kids and the pets. Mention my name, say Russ Rollins, you'll get 20% off tile and grout cleaning. Uh, Carpet, it's $49 per room. That's all. $49 per room with uh, zero res, and they use that patented ZR water, and it cleans so much better, and it lasts so much longer. Zero res. Now, if you want to get hold of them, go to OrlandoZeroRes.com. That's OrlandoZeroRes.com. Zero res. Spelled forwards or backwards, it's the right way to clean. International Diamond Center invites you to step into a world of elegance and luxury as we roll out the red carpet for the world's two largest bridal designers this weekend. Takori and Viraggio are here. 
with their entire collections. Exceptional handcrafted rings made with intricate detail and craftsmanship. See the entire collection from Takori. Exquisite handcrafted rings from true artisans in California. And here from New York, see all the latest from Viragio. Unique, distinctive, and personalized. Find the ring of your dreams and enjoy two years zero interest financing. Plus, at this event, when you buy any Takori or Viragio ring, IDC will give you a $500 gift card. Buy the matching wedding band and get a $1,000 gift card. Don't miss this spectacular event featuring the most exclusive designers in bridal. And let IDC's experts help you match up the most perfect diamond for the ring you'll fall in love with. It's happening this Friday through Sunday exclusively at International Diamond Center. All four Orlando locations on approved credit. This is trial attorney Jeff Kaufman from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind. Whenever you hear the words, this call is being recorded, understand this is not for your benefit. In my experience representing thousands of clients over 25 years, I have seen insurance companies use these recordings to deny responsibility and avoid paying medical expenses. Let your attorney do your talking for you. Contact us at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546. Office Orlando. Hi, I'm Chef Justin Timnery, Florida's culinary ambassador. If you've enjoyed preparing fresh from Florida recipes, then you're going to love the Fresh from Florida Club. As a member, you'll be able to search and save delicious recipes, create custom menus, and ask me your cooking questions. Each month, you'll also get a list of what's in season, so you can make your family the freshest meals possible. It's free and easy to sign up. And best of all, you'll be supporting Florida's farmers, ranchers, and fishermen. Join the club at FreshFromFlorida.com today. I recently stopped by the Renewal by Anderson showroom right off Lee Road in Winter Park. And apart from the really impressive group of people that work there is the quality of the products. I couldn't believe how much noise was reduced by Renewal by Anderson windows and doors, especially being on busy Lee Road. That's because their windows and doors are built solid and yet so easy to open and close and clean. Renewal by Anderson is really a customer experience company. Company. They just happen to sell windows and doors. In fact, Renewal by Anderson has the most five-star reviews, and their products are backed by some of the strongest warranties you will find. Renewal by Anderson has a great offer to help you get started during the month of March. Buy one window and or patio door and get one 40% off. Plus, no money down, no payments, and 0% interest for 12 months. Visit rbafla.com. Some restrictions apply. Official partner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. License number CGC 1527613. Sneezing, coughing, a stuffy nose, runny nose, post-nasal drip, interrupted sleeping. I just I was groggy at the end of the day. Allergies and sinus congestion were making Jana miserable. Then a friend recommended Navage. Navage provides immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus germs and other airborne irritants. Navage helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. Navaj gave me instant relief. I didn't have to wait 30 minutes. I didn't have to wait an hour, 90 minutes. I didn't have to wait. I didn't have to wait a minute. I just, I ran the rinse and I felt immediately I felt better. Stop suffering from congestion and start breathing and feeling your best again with Navaj. N-A-V-A-G-E. I've had people ask me how I find relief, and I tell them Navage immediately. This thing is amazing. Navage is available at Navage.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Save time and money with a PVC fence in a box from Fence Outlet. It comes with everything you need for an average backyard of 120 feet starting at 2260. Go to FenceOutlet.com today for more information and store locations. License number C10252 and C10803. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Care. Go to millsair.com. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because clients and character matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts.
Welcome back to the Monsters Mornings World Radio 104.1, broadcasting live on iHeartRadio. What is up? I am Russ Rollins, along with Angel Rivera and Ryan Brian Holmes, and uh, friendly Ray Trainley here with us today, uh, talking about. Uh, you, you, so we've read this article about divorce. Uh, and we're having the discussion. As we're having the discussion, I, this happens all the time. Where we're friends of my wife, stupid friends of my wife. They're stupid people, right? Uh, and they, they'll te- I don't believe that. They'll text her. Like, Russ is talking about divorcing you. I'm like, we're, we are talking uh. about divorce uh, because it's a topic. But we did get into an argument about something the other day, and I got to ask you about this. Uh, I gotta- Whatever Mary Ellen says, I agree with her. Okay, well, okay. So here, <laughs> here it is. I'm watching this documentary. Okay. Uh, it was called Sweet Home Alabama. And in Sweet Home Alabama, uh, this documentary, uh, like she, he wants, to, uh, he, w- she wants to get a divorce, but he doesn't. Okay. So he just doesn't sign the paperwork. <laughs> and they're, and, and, and so for years they're still married because he's like, no, I'm not signing the paperwork. I don't think that's a documentary. <laughs> no, 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 it's not. Ray, that gives you insight to where Ray, uh, where Russ was getting his legal advice. Is that yeah. a thing? Can, can you just go, listen, you might want a divorce. I don't. I'm not signing anything. I'm not going to any. I'm not I'm, I'm not going to go to any mediation. I'm not going to any uh, meetings. Uh, I'm but just, what I, I am going to do is I'm going to go to the beach. I'm going to put some <laughs> lightning rods in the sand, and right. I'm going to get some really cool sculptures from so it. Exactly, you think she would know that's a real thing a though. That's a real thing though. Did you know that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a real I thing. I saw it in the documentary. Um, no. <laughs> uh, when the time of that movie came out, I was a young man, and I used to go down to the beach uh, uh, in Everglades National Park, ooh, which I probably shouldn't admit to because um, <laughs> government anyway, land. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, it is true. It will do that. Um, uh, but you have to dig really deep. They make it look too easy. Um, so to your your documentary that you're referring to. Um, you can certainly refuse to sign anything, but the way I describe it to people is the train doesn't stop just because you don't want to get on board. Oh, really? And so um, there's a whole process that we can go through where if you don't sign, which is fine, that's up to you, we'll get you served. Uh, after you get served, we'll uh, if you don't respond within 20 days, we just go tell the judge whatever we want, and we pretty much get it. we gotta, we got to lay the foundation. But there's nobody to object to any of our evidence. There's nobody. Oh, so you're not to... doing yourself any help. You're any no. service it by uh, avoiding all this. You can get hammered, and you know it's it's one of the absolute worst things that you can but do. In is this to documentary, not it was seven years later. They still hadn't gotten the divorce. Well, and, and so what sometimes what people will do is they'll say, um, you know, go Russ, you're not going to get married for here for a second. Uh, you want to get divorced from me because I have too many clothes. Uh, and enough closet space. And so you say, hey, Ray, I don't want to file for divorce and embarrass you, so just sign this paperwork. And then I don't sign it, but then you don't file anything. Right. And then seven years later, you're trying to find a new husband, and uh, now you need me to come sign some paperwork. Uh, and then you realize we're madly in love with each other, um, <laughs> according to the documentary. Right, right, right. Um, oh, yeah. All, yeah. And at the end, it's, it's all love. Yeah, See, all love. He, he was right. He waited it out, and then the love came back. That was prime Reese Witherspoon, though. <laughs> that, um, was, that was prime Reese. Uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so it doesn't help you to put your head in the sand. And uh, for all the people out there that are wondering, I've never heard Russ say anything but amazing, wonderful things about his wife. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, just because he's talking to a divorce lawyer. <laughs> We talk about a lot of things. We talk about the Dolphins. We signed uh, Jordan Poyer yesterday. Oh, you yeah. guys finally did something in the Who did we sign? Agent. Jordan Poyer. Who's he? He's a safety for the Bills. Uh, so we can talk football, too. Oh, um, we got, we got let a Let me ask here. you something, too, because uh, you're estate planning. Yeah, do that, too. Very important. I learned that over the last weekend when I had to go to a funeral. Very important Ooh. to estate plan. Uh, and I'm assuming part of that is making a will, correct? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Matthew Perry's will just yeah. got released to the public. Uh, which he he doesn't have any kids or anything. He basically created a trust, a uh, million dollar trust that he calls that's after a character in a Woody Allen movie. But one of the things that sticks out most to people is this: um, he indicates that if he had that his will that any children he doesn't have kids, but if he does have any children out there, they're not entitled to anything. Wow, that's covering your bases, isn't it? That's like, like just in case. Like, like, like I- How common is that? And and is is that legally binding? I mean, after your death, you can write like, if I die, this potential children that could be out there, 
get nothing. Oh, man, that's so bad. To the But let's say, before you answer yeah. the question, imagine if you're 20-some years old and you find out, my dad was Matthew Perry. Oh, my God. I, I find yeah. I, I, and then, like, hey, sorry, he put a he put a special note in his will to make sure you, if you ever came up, get nothing. Well, he, obviously, he uh, like that's the way that it's written is uh, under the assumption that he doesn't have any kids out there. Right, so he doesn't know, and if there happens to be one, he didn't know the kid. I, I, he, he didn't have any kind of relationship know, with I, the kid. I, I'm being, I'm being empathetic for this poor kid. Ah, screw found- the kids. Mm. <laughs> F them babies. I, I think Angel's point is really the, the take that a lot of people took out of. I won't use the exact words that I used when I saw this yesterday, um, but uh, essentially what you're saying is, is any children that I have, I don't know them. I don't have a relationship with them, so. Um, I don't. Yeah, want, they don't get any of my. Of my I, don't, I don't want them to have any of my stuff, and, yeah. and I imagine that also probably means that Matthew Perry has concerns that there might be some illegitimate children out there that he's uh, fathered. He probably got around, you know. Um, yeah, but Matthew they, Perry. Well, he was, he was high Perry. all the time. He, he didn't have time. He was to high, but still, he was doing some Perry business, you know. Mm-hmm. But but for as far as you know. Uh, the validity and effectiveness of that. If he has minor children, for example, the state of Florida doesn't allow you to disinherit minor children. So what you could do is you could file a paternity case within this state um, or within the probate, and you can establish paternity and say, you know, little Johnny six, and he still gets, you know, some inheritance from Matthew Perry's estate. Yeah. Um, Ryan, did it say, like, uh, did he leave any of his uh, stuff to family? No, Uh, no. uh, no, it was. It didn't say exactly when I the what I read. The filing indicates that Perry had over a million dollars in personal property when he died, which is in addition to what his executors said uh, have already put into the trust. So everything has gone into a trust. Right. Very serious question. Yes, sir. Let's say I die, and yeah. I want to leave all my movies that I have on Amazon to my son. <laughs> right? Because I bought a lot of movies. I got like almost sixty movies on Amazon movies. Ooh. You know? Uh, can, can, Explain uh, this to him. Can, can I can I can I leave my Amazon movies uh, to my son? Just just leave him your login and password. You know. Um, oh, so if I just leave him my login and my password, then uh, then he's got them forever. Yeah. See, uh, guys. But my attorney uh, figured uh, it out. He doesn't own them. But, he but Amazon own them. does not give you the ownership rights. They give you a license to watch it. So that's where you have problem. That's why you give them your password well, and. Well, it's, if they if they find out I'm dead, then they'll take it away from him. But just so just pretend like I'm still alive, and he can watch him forever. Amazon's not going to know who's going to pay for your Amazon account when you're dead. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Because Amazon's one of those you have to be subscription card. for, right? Uh, exactly. Because uh, we do we do voodoo. Um, not that there's a comparison, but we do voodoo. I don't. That's just the first one that we had where you had to like type in like the codes when you got the DVDs. And oh, it was I thought like, at your law firm you do voodoo, so yeah. it's like you bring people back to life. Oh, that's I didn't even oh, catch video that. video on yeah. demand. Uh, uh, He's got a voodoo doll of uh, <laughs> rival attorneys here in town. Uh, just Ryan Holmes. Uh, that's why he keeps Is falling. that why you asked for my hair? And- <laughs> um, just shave it while you're sleeping. Um, uh, no, but uh, so so we do that, but all it's not a subscription-based service. It's just free. But I don't know if I pay more money for the movies that way. I don't know. My wife likes the Disney movies, so we have. So, you, got, I mean, you don't own anything. Yeah, you don't <laughs> any of these digital Correct. things. You don't own any of it. And on top of that, you're paying for the subscription that you have, so that unless you've set it up to for it to go uh, for to infinity with a, an account that's going to have money in it forever, there's no way to pass that stuff on because someone has to pay for it. it well, is a I guess license. Ryan won't get to get uh, you know Zach. Uh, what is it, Zach? What's his face? Efron. Uh, <laughs> uh, Justice League. He won't get it. Oh, uh, Zach Snyder. Zach oh. Snyder's Justice League. He won't get it. And all the Reese Witherspoon movies. All the Re- I do have. I do have all the Reese Witherspoon movies. <laughs> he won't get. I any saw of Fear them. just came on Netflix yesterday. Yeah, that's creepy. <laughs> I, I actually started watching that, and she's uh, so young in it. Uh, and she's like sixteen, and then and then uh, what's it? Marky Mark is, yeah, is like a thirty, creep, <laughs> like creep, creeping on her. And I'm like, oh, I, mean, I got I got creeped out watching it. I couldn't watch the whole thing. Oh, so you tried to watch? You you're the I guy did. who made it number seven in the country <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> I started watching it, and I'm like, she's so young, and he looks so much older than her. I'm like, oh, that's kind of creeping me out. That was a big thing, though, in the 90s. Uh, there's a lot of things that if you watch now, you're like, hmm. Yeah. Well, you had your Poison Ivy movies. Yeah. And uh, there's, like, a lot of, like, movies about old dudes uh, hugging up with kids well, back in the day. A lot of songs about she's only 16 or whatever, like, you know. Well, that, that too. Um, <laughs> I mean, that used to be a thing. But And then you find out, you know, 20 years later, these these men are going to prison because they were sexually assaulting these women. Weird. Um, I got to tell you, what, if you watch the movie Priscilla, it may it, it, it has affected the way I feel about Elvis. I've always loved Elvis, but that movie made him look like a creeper. That's right? what I was gonna say. I, I heard that it was not. Um, it was not flattering. Very flattering for him. Yeah. I mean, um, she was like 
14 when he when he's trying to date her. With, I mean, that's didn't a, they get married when she was still a minor? That, uh, I thought she was like 16 or 17 when he, they got married. I think she was 17 yeah. when the when they got married. But he was like trying to date her. Now she alleges in the movie and she's alleged in her book or whatever that he didn't have sex with her until she was 17. That's what she says. They got married and when she was 17. Yeah, uh, and that's when they finally had sex. But it's still a creep. He's making out with a 14 year old girl. It's kind of weird. Yes, Angel. Uh, shout out to Travis for reminding me of this. Uh, Reese Witherspoon has made one amazing movie. One absolutely amazing movie. And this is my favorite movie of hers of all time. Walk the line. She won an Oscar. Uh, The most amazing movie that she's ever uh, made is a movie called Highway. Yeah, it's great. You've seen that one? Yeah, I have. You like that one? I do like that one. You've seen every Reese Witherspoon movie. I haven't seen that one. You got to see that one. I'll have to watch it. She's wild in that movie. The uh, character she plays is wild. So, uh, Ray, <laughs> if people need, need to get hold of you for divorce or for uh, for you know any other kind of family law or whatever, how do they get hold of you? Onefirmforlife.com. Very nice. Good seeing you, man. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Yeah. And a happy and safe St. Patrick's Day this weekend. That's right. Did you, do you do anything special for St. Patrick's Day? No. I, when I was younger, I'd go to Chicago or whatever, but... Um, not anymore. Yeah, yeah. Just going to probably go to the park with my kids. <laughs> Super excited. You don't have to sound so excited yeah. about it. You don't have to sound so thrilled. They'll probably be mean to me, kick me in the shins. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you dress them up in green, you know? No, I, I don't torture. Kick them. I don't torture my kids by dressing them up. Uh, yeah. Usually, I I get dressed up so they can laugh at me. I don't know. Do they yeah. do they pinch you if you don't wear green? You get you, oh, I wear. That, that used to be a thing, right? If you didn't wear green to school, then you 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 got pinched. Yeah, and then you lie and you're like, I got green underwear on, and it's like or green whatever. socks. Yeah, green socks. Green socks. Um, Right, right. Does, your, does your firm do, uh, like, Green adoption time. stuff at all? We do adoptions, yeah. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Are you uh, looking to adopt somebody? You want? <gasps> do you want to be my dad? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to adopt a little Ray. A little friendly Ray. Trendly. You can do an adult oh, yeah. adoption. That's fine. He talked about that yesterday. Like, they're looking at adopting a, a kid. Oh, really? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's only a, a white kid, though. Only wants a white kid, though. Uh, it's I not what I, I said. I don't think that's what he said. <laughs> that's exactly what he said. It's <laughs> not what I said at all. No, you said an American baby. I said American, yes. Uh, I, I, you said. That you, all races can be American. You uh, said you thought it would be too confusing. You didn't want people to I, I, know right off the bat. It's okay. It's, it's, I listen, I think it's you what you said yesterday. Of, of any ethnicity, and I think that would be an amazing thing. Not because what I said. There are it a is lot what of, you said. I said it would be easier if the baby looks like me because then you, you don't have the, the questions of like, hey, why do I look different from you right out the gate? Right. 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 When you're saying that, it, all I hear you say is, is that you want, want a white, white baby. baby. I want a white baby. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it just doesn't sound good when you say it, but I understand it. I think uh, I think you should probably. Saying they're the best ones. <laughs> I think you should adopt somebody who For will me. put up with your sense of humor. Thank you, oh, Ray. I appreciate. I got dad jokes ready to go. <laughs> I appreciate you coming in, Ray. Don't. Uh, I appreciate you guys. It's uh, TK Law, OneFirmForLife.com. You're listening to the Mantra of the Morning. Real Radio is the news junkie. That sounds like a some sort of animal. Hit it again. Yee. <laughs> <laughs> you can convince me that's a donkey. Well, it did come from a total ass. Oh. Oh. News Junkie. Weekdays at 11 on Real Radio 104.1. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center. Shop the best quality jewelry and lowest price. Goldsmithjewelry.com. Westbound I-4 is very slow from Highway 472 to just before Dirksen Drive with a crash on the right shoulder. Westbound also has a lot of slow traffic from Sand Lake Road past Central Florida Parkway. In DeLand, there's a crash on Spring Garden Avenue northbound at Plymouth Avenue. A wreck in the right lane westbound on East Altamont Drive at Maitland Avenue. And a crash westbound on Graves Avenue, Kentucky Avenue. See traffic problems? Call the Valvoline instant oil change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477 from the traffic center i'm daisy ash this report is sponsored by silk feel plenty good shop wherever you find groceries feel plenty good by incorporating silk into your morning routine silk's delicious plant-based beverages help bring a daily dose of goodness they are rich in calcium and a good source of vitamins a and d to support the health of you and your family shop wherever you find groceries Mills Air, great business, been around since 1992, over 30 years, and it's owned by uh, a really cool gentleman, Leon Mills. He's a family-owned, you know, he's family-owned business, and a uh, great guy. I like Leon a lot. Him and I will go to lunch every once in a while. When we go to lunch, he always brings up, hey, listen, make sure you tell your listeners, you know, that maintenance thing is very, super important. It's a it's an expensive piece of equipment. you got to take care of it, just like your car or any other expensive piece of equipment, and they can detect and prevent any upcoming breakdown. They can save you a lot of money with a 30-point inspection once a 
year, and they do service on all brands of air conditioning. They definitely can work on yours. They're good folks. It's millsair.com. That's millsair.com. Last year, they put a UV light in my air conditioning system. Helps so much if you've got allergies because it kills the mold and the mildew and the bacteria. They've got rebates uh, with carrier systems up to $1,275. If you're going to get a brand new system, turn to the experts carrier because Mills Air is a carrier factory authorized dealer. That's millsair.com. Millsair.com. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Stop by the new O'Reilly Auto Parts in Orlando on Curry Ford Road next to Win Dixie. Now through March 26th for the grand opening sale. Right now, spend $20 on select Armor All Car Care products and get $5 back after rebate. Plus, get three times O rewards points on select Seafoam products, which means you can reach your next $5 reward even faster. Visit your new O'Reilly Auto Parts today. Tax time means a cash bonus for many people. Hey, this is R.C. Hill from R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. I need to reduce my tax burden, so I'm going to overpay for your old car. Get up to $4,297 more than it's actually worth. Trade in and get a new car today, like a Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty. Most people can trade and lower their payment. Or let me double your tax refund up to $2,500. My goal this month is 100% credit approval. I'm R.C. Hill at R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishis. Two locations, Deland and Nocala. Or visit me at rchill.com. Credit required. Bank approval, CRC, for details. Are you paying too much for term life insurance? There's a tremendous price war in term life. Industry rates have dropped dramatically in the past few years. For example, a man aged 45, non-smoker, can get a million dollars of coverage for $75 per month, level rate for 10 years. Or a man aged 50, non-smoker, can obtain $500,000 of coverage for a monthly premium of $110, level rate for 20 years. That's right, guaranteed level rate for 20 years. If you're a smoker, we have great rates available for you as well. At Term Busters, we specialize in policies of $500,000 and above. If you're looking for new or replacement term life insurance, call for a free quote today, 800-200-2250. That's 800-200-2250. Don't wait. Call 800-200-2250. 800-200-2250. Sample rate quotes based on preferred non-smoker rate class. Exam required to qualify. Slam dunk savings going on now at Deland Nissan. Drive away for less with huge savings on over 100 Nissan models in stock. Score big with pre-owned vehicles too with new trade-ins arriving daily. It's not just a Nissan. It's a Deland Nissan Nissan. Help the planet with a tip from iHeartRadio Earth. Education doesn't just take place in the classroom. There are many ways children of all ages can learn about sustainability and the environment at home. Visit iHeartRadio.com earth for a list of resources, activity guides, and toolkits that are educational and fun for the whole family. Brought to you by iHeartRadio Earth and the National Environmental Education Foundation. To find more tips for smarter, sustainable living or to take action in your own community, go to iHeartRadio.com earth iHeartRadio Earth is here with little tips for a healthier planet. When dining out or shopping at the grocery store, ask for sustainable seafood. By choosing sustainable seafood, you can help reduce overfishing, bycatch, loss of top predators, illegal fishing, and other harmful environmental impacts. Brought to you by iHeartRadio Earth and the National Environmental Education Foundation. To find more tips for smarter, sustainable living or to take action in your own community, go to iHeartRadio.com earth. Get ready, because Scott's is taking over Daylight Saving Time. It's such a big event that we're calling it Day Lawn Saving Time. And now it's got real savings. In fact, it's the biggest deals of the year. Audacious? Absolutely. So don't wait. Stock up early and you'll be able to save up to $20 on Scott's Triple Action and Easy Seed products today at the Home Depot, Lowe's, or Ace Hardware. Offers available March 7th through 20th at select U.S. stores while supplies last. Selection varies by location. See store for exact offers. If you love sports and scandal, then join me, ESPN broadcaster Jay Harris, each week for Playing Dirty, Sports Scandals, the newest podcast from executive producer Dan Patrick. From current scandals like MMA champ Cain Velasquez armed car chase to historic shockers like the biggest Little League cheat, Playing Dirty, Sports Scandals doesn't shy away from dark details and always packs a punch. Never miss the dirt, people. Listen to Playing Dirty, Sports Scandals on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts.
Welcome out of the Monsters Mornings on Real Radio 104.1, broadcasting live on iHeartRadio. What is up? Remember, uh, Angel is going to be out at Earth Day Birthday in the Monster Chill Tent. Monster Chill Tent. Now, this is going to be on April the 20th. Monster Chill Tent is a big tent that's it's got sides on it and everything, air conditioned, so it's a great place to hang out. It'll probably be hot for Earth Day Birthday, which is fine, uh, and, but you get a good place to go in, chill out, have some drinks, and uh, I'll be there in the VIP area with the... Uh, uh, the official whiskey of Earth Day Birthday, which is Triple R Blended Whiskey, which should be awesome. So uh, both of you guys, I, I know definitely Ryan did this. I can't remember if Angel said that he did this. Have you ever been a server, uh, Angel? Ever worked in a restaurant? I've uh, worked in restaurants, but I worked uh, back of the house. I, I've never uh, been a server or a bartender. Yeah, I worked in the back of the house, too. For my first yeah. job, I was a dishwasher, Yeah, and I loved I was, it. Uh, it fit my OCDs. Like, like for me, I, was, like, I didn't want to do anything else. I'm like, I like watching the dishes. I do. <laughs> <Which is, it's laughs> oh, my God. And they wanted me to be a, they wanted me yeah. to be, uh, uh, they go up to busboy, and then they wanted me to be a server. I'm like, no, I like watching the dishes. Yeah, I was busboy. and <laughs> it's crazy, right? Um, I also, I, uh, we deliver room service from time to time. Yeah, I, I mean, I, and they'd get. Mad. I, I would, I would be the the dishwasher. I would get everything clean, and then I'd go help, uh, like the the chefs and stuff like that. And it, and, and I guess I was taking someone else's job by me doing that, and they were getting mad at me, uh, like slow down, you're doing you're doing too much. Uh, but that was uh, that, that was uh, that was a long time ago. But uh, anyway, so what do you think? Since you have been a server, at Ryan, mm-hmm. what do you think can happen? And they said here they they've studied this, and it can give you. Let's see here. Wow, an extra twenty five percent, fifteen to twenty five percent tip. An extra fifteen percent to twenty. That 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 sounds like a lot. What? what? Okay, this is something <laughs> something that can happen. Okay, you're okay. The, you're the server. Okay, so uh, 15, 20 so, percent on top of the fifteen twenty I'm already getting. Uh, let's see here. Uh, this, this happens. Suggests good... the tip amount uh, at a restaurant receives uh, makes it a uh, tip more. Certain things make us tip more. Like this thing, uh, next to fifteen percent, uh, can get you a twenty. So, it, so it give you like eleven percent more. Yeah. So this, so so this happening can get you about ten percent more if you do this. So as a server, you serve them, you do mm-hmm. something. There's something you can do that they're saying uh, through through studies. If you do this, you'll get about ten percent more on your tip. Kiss them on the mouth. Kiss them on the Kiss mouth. Kiss them right on their mouth. <laughs> okay. Uh, did you have any little tricks that you would do trying to get more tip? Uh, Water's full the whole time. No, I was bad server. Oh, you were? I would like to apologize to everybody who had me <laughs> at Catababa's because I was mostly in the back eating free bread and uh, talking to my friends. Yeah. So <laughs> you probably got neglected on your spaghetti a little bit. Uh, there were people that were good servers, though, and I looked at them. Uh, not up at them. That's not what I would say. I would be, I would be like, Yo, you definitely are good at being a server. It takes a certain set of skills. And what they do, they always bring them like a little bit of extra stuff. So, you know? so bringing extra stuff. Yeah. Is a, okay. Uh, what, extra pats of butter. What do you think, Angel? In this study they found that, uh, that if you're a server, if you do this, you'll get about 10 to 11% more on your tip. I appreciate a server that... Uh, Makes it a point to check in with the table more frequently, okay. not, mm-hmm. not just not just like with serving drinks and and uh, and bringing us our food, but like in between those designated times. They go, hey, you good? Everything yeah, fine? They, they still like touch base with us. Now with me, if you recognize you know me from the monsters and you say, hey, are you Russ from the monsters? You're guaranteed to get thirty five percent tip. Like <laughs> I, if you if mm-hmm. you say you know the show, you listen to the show, I'll feel like a jerk if I don't tip you really I know, really I well. I hate it. I'm like oh I'm like oh they're gonna say Russ doesn't tip well, so I gotta give him a really big tip. So now if you do listen and you ignore it and you don't bring it up. And you're like, oh, I didn't want to bother him. Yeah, that's a mistake. <laughs> I want to know that you listen. Uh, so, but this is what it says. It says here they found that uh, servers that either draw or use an emoji of a smiley face get 10 to 11 percent more. My mom, who was a waitress for while I was like a little kid, said like she always told me that she was like she was like if I would get there to go food or the receipt and I would draw a picture on it or like and say thank you and it always got me more money and I never believed her until right now this is the study is from the journal of hospitality management found that people do tip more if you draw a smiley face wow. on the receipt now that, that 
I, I mean, I've never made that correlation. No, like, me either. either. Like, but I do notice if someone draws a smiley face or says, thank you for letting me serve you. Like, when they do, now if, okay, just the smiley face by itself doesn't make me think, oh, I need to tip more. But when they do write a little note, I think that does, I'm like, oh, they took time to write a note. This personally to me. Like, like I know they're doing it to everybody, mm-hmm. but, but it feels like it's personal. Uh, but I, I don't know that I noticed the smiley face, but it says here that we do. It's subliminal and that uh, we think the person is nicer if they draw a little smiley face so if you're a server that seems to be the gimmick Uh, they say that uh it it works most of the time if you draw a smiley face or use a a smiley face emoji when you're you're, if you're typing it in (laughs) they use a smiley face to offset the fact that they're a horrible server (laughs) yeah if it's a bad server they draw a smiley face i don't know i think you're messing with me (laughs) see i would draw a little stick man with this with a with a little flag you know (laughs) <laughs> you know, <laughs> what, why of man with well, a flag? Yeah, what's that? I don't know. Like, like, like that, like that. You know, hold on, I'll draw it for you there. And he's holding a flag. There's. He's doing art now. See, like that. You know, I do that and what, say, "What is that? That's that's offensive." What flag is he holding? It's, he, oh, it's a Make America Great flag. He's holding a little flag. No, I don't know. <laughs> what's the what's the correlation there? I, yeah. I, you know what? My dad used to do that for me, and I don't. He, and he'd like make little stick men holding flags, and huh. I don't know. I don't know why. Did your parents also have something that like they would always draw or doodle? Like if there's like my mom was a big doodler, but she'd always kind of draw the same thing over well, over and over again. Well, what would she doodle? She's just a doodler, so it's uh, it, it was like a little character. She was just always drawing things, and like she, if you give her a set of pen and paper and you talk to her with it and long enough, she will draw that character. Hmm. I draw eyes and faces. Draw eyes and face on what? I I draw I, when I'm doodling. I'll end, I'll, I'll like end an up, eyeball. I, I make a, a a weird eye, or and I make really weird faces. Okay. That's what I draw. Hmm. I always draw the uh, little guy that was looking over a fence for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> That's, a, That's the Kilroy. The Kilroy Kil- was here. Yeah, Kil- I, know. Kil- I found out later what that was. I don't even know where I learned how to do that, but I, I watched a whole documentary on like Kilroy was here. Uh, which I don't is, even know what that's about. It's a, it's a thing that they would do in World War II. Like GIs would go around and uh, and and draw this on various points. So like Kilroy was like a like a soldier that didn't actually exist, and he been Kilroy was everywhere. <laughs> well, I, okay, Kil, was Kilroy supposed to be like uh, like like a little thing in the machine, like a ghost in the machine? No, Kilroy was like a, a, <laughs> if I showed it to you, oh, see, Kilroy. No, I've seen Kilroy. I just thought. Um, Okay, I'm only getting this from I'm only getting this from Mr. Roboto. I was gonna say it was in a Kill song too, Roy. right? Yeah, Kilroy. I thought so. I I guess I assume that has something to do with robots because in the <laughs> stick song, Mr. Roboto at the very end they're yelling Kilroy for some reason. Yeah, well we had Kilroy, and then the English people called him Mr. Chad. <laughs> Mr. Chad. Yeah, that's a scene. I like Kilroy better. Kilroy does sound more American, Mr. Chad. Hey, yeah. hey, we're gonna do uh, King of Denmark early, just so you know. What? Yeah. When early? Uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go break and let you do it when we come back. Uh, <laughs> well, we good got, luck. We got guests coming in. Well, you can talk about why you want a white child. We'll do that. Oh uh, no! Uh, we can do that. Whoa. When, when we come back, don't go anywhere. You're listening to the Mosh of the Morning. <laughs> Real Radio is on Instagram at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. This is former Notre Dame quarterback Brady Quinn. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network. Presented by Progressive Insurance. The Magic are rewarding their third-year head coach, Jamal Mosley, by agreeing on a four-year extension that will take him through the 2027-2028 season. The Rays fall against the Baltimore Orioles. Rob Brantley homered twice, while Randy Arozarena also went deep for Tampa, who falls to 4-11-2 in spring play. And Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes is restructuring his deal to create $21.6 million in salary cap space. I'm Jenny Haffrey. Progressive makes bundling easy and affordable. Get a multi-policy discount by combining your motorcycle, RV, boat, ATV, and more. All your protection in one place. Bundle and save at Progressive.com. That's Progressive.com. John Clay Wolf has been buying used cars for 28 years. And every year, he knows the used car market is peaking when the Bradfair pair in his front yard blooms. Guess what? The Bradfair pair has bloomed, and that means that now is the best time to sell your used car at GimmeTheVin.com. GimmeTheVin.com. They offer a 60-second bid process, pressure-free service, and free pickup. Just click on GimmeTheVin.com and get your check on the spot. Sell us your car. GimmeTheVin.com. 
So easy you can do it in your underwear. A Fifth Third better means we put in 166.7%. What does that mean? Well, at Fifth Third Bank, our name equals 166.7%. So that's how hard we work. That means free checking, no hidden fees, and helping to protect your identity. Explain it in baseball terms. It's a home run. Basketball terms. It's a slam dunk. Football. Touchdown. Highlight. Buzz ball. Cricket. Golden duck. Wow. Guess that really is a Fifth Third better. That's what a Fifth Third better means. This is banking a Fifth Third better. Fifth Third Bank National Association member FDIC. Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Door Service. Springtime savings are here and now is the perfect time to service your garage. A1 is also your one call for garage floors and garage storage. Don't wait until a simple garage door repair becomes a major problem. Cracked or worn out bottom rubbers and seals expose your garage door to bugs and other pests, dirt, debris, and cold air. A1 Garage Door Service can replace old bottom rubber and seals in no time. And don't forget about all the moving parts of a garage door system. Wheels get old, cables fray, grease runs out, and tracks move, putting excessive wear and tear on your garage door system. Don't wait until there's a problem. Call A1 Garage Door Service for all of your garage door needs. Call today and take advantage of our $29.95 tune-up special. Because the garage door is the smile of your home, don't wait. Call A1 Garage Door Service and you'll be smiling today. The following is a promotion of Guarantee Media and not iHeart Media or this station. Attention, our friends from Guarantee Media are giving away a five-day Caribbean cruise with all meals and entertainment included for only $99 to the first 50 listeners to tell me the name of a country without the letter A in its name. You know it, a country that doesn't have the letter A on its name and you'll go on a cruise to the Caribbean. Text your answer to 96551 and you'll get a five-day Caribbean cruise with all meals and entertainment included. You heard right, be one of the first 50 to text the name of a country with Without the letter A in its name, and you'll go on a five day cruise. Text your answer to 96551. That's 96551. Be one of the first 50 listeners to tell me a country without the letter A in its name and get a five day Caribbean cruise with all meals included for only $99. Text your answer to 96551. Text a country without the letter A in its name to 96551. This is not a contest. It is a paid advertising by Guarantee Media with the purpose of soliciting sales on vacation ownership and is not affiliated with iHeartMedia. Some terms and conditions apply. If you ask anyone who's experienced LASIK, they will tell you it's the best thing they've ever done. And more often than not, they'll add, I should have done it sooner. So what are you waiting for? The Filatowski Eye Institute is offering free LASIK consultations. Just text 1041 to 868686 and start your journey to better vision with the Filatowski Eye Institute. They performed over 65,000 LASIK procedures using the latest state-of-the-art technology. If finances are concerned, they offer 24-month interest-free financing. Text 1041 to 868686 to schedule your free LASIK consultation at the Filatowski Eye Institute. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free free. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 original stations, like 24-7 Comedy. If they were really donut holes, the bag would be empty. When you need to laugh, just open the free iHeartRadio app and search comedy. Should we call someone? I'm like, no, that's his face. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. At Mayo Clinic in Florida, we're conquering the unconquerable. Using artificial intelligence and data, our experts can create a personalized gene roadmap just for you. Customizing your cancer treatment giving your body exactly what it needs to fight the disease. We're making more possible at Mayo Clinic because every day we're doing what's never been done. Learn more at mayoclinic.org slash possible. Mayo Clinic, you know where to go. This is Steve Kramer. Let me tell you a business secret. There are sketch companies out there selling awards. 
Make sure the awards earned by your lawyer are from respected organizations. At Trendley Kramer Law, our lawyers have been recognized by Orlando Magazine Best Lawyers, Florida Trend Legal Elite, Super Lawyers, and listed in U.S. News as a best law firm for years. We've earned the awards that can't be bought. Trendley Kramer, TK Law, one firm for life. Com. The winners are in from our 2024 iHeart Podcast Awards. Presented by The Hartford, live at South by Southwest. Ladies and gentlemen. Best comedy podcast. This is important. Best health and wellness podcast. On Purpose with Jay Shetty. Best sports podcast. Club Shay Shay. Best crime podcast. Crime Junkie. And podcast of the year, New Heights. Congratulations to all the winners we honored. Hear these 2024 iHeart Podcast Award winners anytime on the free iHeart Radio. Radio app. Radio. Radio. This water's not as good. <laughs> <laughs> the same water. I don't feel energized at all. Oh, <laughs> poor buddy. My hydrogen water thing broke. I just got it. Maybe I, I know I've. I know I. I know I charged it. Anyway, wait, welcome out of the Monsters Morning Show Radio 104.1. All day, thrown off. It has been. And I forgot about it until you brought it, you put it behind me. Uh, the whole day, yeah, see what, yeah, see yeah. see what he did? Uh, he, he put behind me a, a thing that said hydrogen water. Yeah, I meant to point that out earlier. That was funny as hell. <laughs> Jackass. It he me, didn't I, notice it for like the longest time. It took time. me a second. That I was like, oh, there it is. That's awesome. <laughs> Jackass. Uh, welcome back. I'm Russ Rollins along with Angel. Uh, and now it's time for the <laughs> King of Denmark, Ryan Holmes, to make his daily proclamation. Yes, it is 9.37, but... Weird. I don't we're, like we're it. We have a guest coming in at 10, so... I'm getting bumped in my own segment. You're not getting bumped. Bumped. Bumped you're, forward. No, you're... It's our promotion. <laughs> you're early. Yeah, it's time I'm, for the Daily always. Proclamation. Yeah. From the king of the Danish nation. Let's all wave our wieners. wieners that no wieners. That mortgage guy done Just one week. from that mortgage guy done dot com is who brings you this segment. And uh, more on him later. That's been a hell of a show. Russ is, Russ can't have his water. I know. There's that. a goat missing. Oh, that goat. Oh, Paolo. Paolo the goat. Yes, if you bring Paolo the goat up to us, we'll not turn you in. Yep. Nope. You won't be in any trouble. We'll give you two monster t-shirts mm. and a uh, magnet. A magnet. And, uh, back here. And, and you'll be a hero for turning the goat in. Well, Hell actually, yeah. we'll be heroes for turning the goat in. That's right. You'll be exonerated. A goat thief still, but yeah. we won't tell anybody. We'll be cool, bro. You can even just drop it off in the lobby, put a note on him, though. Say, Paolo for the monsters. Or maybe tie it to one of the uh, trees in the in the parking lot. Yeah. What uh, When you guys are growing up, what was your favorite kid's show? Like, what did you watch on the regular? Oh, Batman. I mean, I got I, I, every every day. Oh, they, they, I was like, are they the I, animated I, versions of that old? No, no, no. The live no. action the Batman. The live action yeah, yeah. Batman. It was on, uh, you know, after school. Matter of fact, they wanted me to be a, uh, mm-hmm. uh, what's it called, a monitor, school monitor. And I'm like, well, what, what time would I have to be there? And I wouldn't get home until after Batman. I'm going to say, no, I got to watch yeah. Batman. My bad. Wholesome Batman. Uh, uh, Adam West. Adam was West. Well loved into the end of his life. Burt Ward, yeah. And Burt Ward, too. He sells dog food sometimes. Still around. But I've talked to him. We did an interview with him on Kaufman's show one time. Uh, nice guy. Nice mm-hmm. guy. Angel, uh, what, 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 what would you watch when you were a kid? Oh man, um, I watched TV. I played sports, nerd. Yeah, I was trying to whatever uh, afternoon cartoons. I, yeah, I re, the shows that I re, recall are not from my generation. Well, so I, I, I specific re, cartoon, which was the Three Stooges. I remember watching a lot and okay. uh, Ghostbusters. Cartoons, the Ghostbuster cartoon. No, the regular uh, Three Stooges. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Three Stooges. And then the Ghostbusters. Good. Good. The Ghostbusters. All relatively good people, depending on who you ask about Bill Murray lately. No, no. Uh, but this was the animated Ghostbusters. Yeah. My my stuff just keeps getting ruined, and I get so annoyed by it. You gotta stop looking into people. I don't look e- into it. Everybody's it's like gonna disappoint you. There's nobody that's not gonna disappoint you. <laughs> that is you. quite the phrase. You, Russ. Everyone's gonna disappoint you. You are disappointed by everybody. <laughs> that is the opposite of to the top. When Carlos is not here, <laughs> Russ just does. Everyone will disappoint. They you. will. You're disappointed by everybody. No, there's, there's differences. Everybody's got some things, man, that no. you don't like. They're like the guy who made Doug is still a good dude just i check it out because like yo gabba gabba that's an awesome show great show 
Uh, but I, I run across it. I don't like research it. It's not me like on a Tuesday being like, what the guy who created Red and Stimpy, what's he up to? Don't look that up. Oh, well, he's that probably dark. I mean, think about the, the comedy. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. But like, okay, SpongeBob seems, the guy that does SpongeBob seems to be pretty good overall, even though the voice actor at one point did get into some shenanigans, I think. Uh, but it's fine. Rick and Morty, same thing. Yeah, they replaced the guy who does all the voices. This one keeps happening to me. All right, who's, who is this? And I'm annoyed by it. Mm-hmm. And I was a big fan when I was a kid of uh, Saban's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, but come with those Power Rangers who were. Dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude. It's like, it's, it, it, it's, it's a lot. And it's not even. They're just actors dressed up in. I will make an argument that it's only one color of ranger. <laughs> That's the problem. Is it the Red Ranger? It is the Red Ranger. Yeah, Red Ranger. There's something seems to be about a... being the Red Ranger yeah, yeah. that makes you a terrible person. <laughs> yeah, I've seen those stories. Always a Red Ranger, isn't it? Never wasn't a Power Ranger. No. Uh, Power my son Rangers... was. Ryan, my, my son Ryan. I uh, love the Power Rangers. Power Rangers was dope. I didn't know what was happening when I was a kid. I didn't know that it was like an old Japanese TV show that they spliced in with a modern day show. So like anytime you saw the kids out of their Power Ranger suit, that was like created for them. And then they would just have this old show called Super Sentai from Japan that they would just splice in and run or whatever. It was, it, it, it was great for me being a kid. All of the things it combined like Transformers with ninja fighting. Super cool. Yeah. Now, uh, the, the guy who was the Green Ranger and the White Ranger uh, recently passed away within the last couple of years. That guy seems like an okay dude. He was the guy that played Tommy. I forget his name. One committed suicide, didn't he? Well, okay. The White Ranger. Yeah, he commits suicide. Uh, this is unfortunate. That's, uh, that's sad, yeah. But the Red Ranger, let me let me give you a list of uh, things that, that that has happened with actors who've played the Red Ranger. Yeah. Oh no, we, there, need, we did a we need a miscreant to play there, the Red Ranger. There's one that uh, attacked and killed his roommate with a sword. Oh, uh, that was he was a Red Ranger. He I was a Red sword. Ranger. Yeah. He wasn't the original, but he popped. Uh, uh, he's actually up for parole soon. How, huh. how fun is that? There's another Rain Power Ranger that went to attack his wife and child, and then just ended up killing himself. Yeah. Hey. And but I always thought like, okay, the original Red Ranger, you know, the first guy, he's got to be all right. His name's Austin St. John, you know, he was like my first like childhood, like he like hero guy that you look up to. That's like a real person, not a cartoon. I was like, oh, I want to be the Red Ranger. Uh, no, I don't. What did he do? <laughs> well, several things over time, including one where he was arrested for tax uh, wire fraud. Uh, uh, that's not that bad. <laughs> you know, he's just scamming people. But uh, now he has a clothing line. And you're like, oh, what is it? Is it like some kind of like ninja fighting clothing line? What is it? Is it like, uh, is it like uh, some kind of motivational thing? No, it's it has historic figures from history, but not the ones you want. <laughs> Which ones? What, who, who? God, he's selling Hitler T-shirts. He's selling Hitler T-shirts. <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> Who's gonna buy that? Who would buy that? Oh, oh, Russ. Oh, Russ. There's oh. a market for it now, Bubba. Is there really? Oh my yeah. God. That's sad. So uh, he has a, a, a he has a quote. His quote for it on a Hitler T-shirt is, uh, "Hitler might have been a, a a demon on steroids, but he had some good points or good one-liners." He had good one-liners. <laughs> and then that, that that's where you're at. Where you go from like being childhood hero. To sell in Hitler t-shirts and uh, yeah, you're right, Russ. I need to just stop looking into people all together. Yeah, wouldn't it be better to be ignorant? It would be better, but I wouldn't be living an authentic existence. It, 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 does that really matter? What is yeah, it? Yeah, but like you said, it, though, it, he didn't go seeking this out. I this didn't guy, seek this out. This guy is making, uh, you know, uh, tabloid I, I news. Know, I know you're right about that, but yeah. but he does search <laughs> out stuff and then he gets disappointed. Wouldn't it be better to be ignorant? You're like, you just, you know. Yes, uh, yes. I've said this a thousand times. It must be so fun to be dumb it's lovely and ignorant and just like run around and think that they don't have buildings everywhere <laughs> like it'd be so fun it's fine yeah i unfortunately can't and i can't let something go so when i get like i see a little crumb of something so now you can't enjoy uh, mighty more for power rangers because this guy sells uh, hitler t-shirts i i'm just so surprised he's the, an actor the tragedy that befalls the actors of the mighty Morphin power rangers including the original blue ranger had to come out years later and say that he was like aggressively bullied by a bunch of kids that knew martial arts because he was gay and it's like okay well live your life man but uh well i mean he had a legitimate uh, problem 
With the bullying or with the being no, gay? No, he, he was being bullied <laughs> for being gay. That's not right. <laughs> no, that is not right. So it doesn't make him bad. No. It just it just sucks. Like, and I guess that's the nature of humanity, where you you, you know you, you you live long enough to to be, see yourself become the villain. Mm-hmm. You know, I I saw Matthew huh. Perry getting dunked on all day because people were finally like, ah, oh, he's been dead for six months. You can do you can say all this bad stuff about him now. And I'm like, I'm not I'm not fully on board with that. Yeah, you give it at least seven. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> yeah. But so, you know, I, I have other things to focus on, like uh, my, adopting a baby. Yeah. And my wife does. My wife said a sentence that she meant like in passing, but yeah. like is haunted me. Oh, good. Let's hear. And she's like more lube. Well, we're talking about the adoption thing and we're talking about like uh, there was like a loud noise the other last night, uh-huh. like, like all just out of nowhere. There's just like a loud noise. It's like 930. I go outside and I check. Nothing's going on. I don't know where this noise came from. And she's like, oh, I'm, I'm glad you were, like, brave enough to go out there and check. Oh, well, look at you. And I was like, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, like, I'm not I'm not afraid of, uh, you know, of that. And she goes, oh, I was really worried the other day we went to Lake Eola. <gasps> and I she go. She has no confidence in you. And I go, why? Him. Like, what happened at Lake Eola? She was like, well, you and the dog got really close to one of the swans. <laughs> and that swan, like, bowed up on you. And you like back down, uh, and I was like, "Whoa, wait, what?" Ryan got punked by a swan. I did not get punked by a swan. <laughs> now you got to go well, back and fight the swan. I, to be fair, swans are pretty bad. Thank you. Yeah. No, they're not. My okay. My argument is is like fivefold on this. No. One, I'm not fighting a, a a bird in the middle of a crowded park. Ryan got punked by a swan because a, I'm pretty sure it's illegal. It's got to be illegal. B. I could beat up a bird. No, you can't. Yes, I could. And that is my argument. Your lady, I, I'm you're, now mad at you. lost her confidence. Yeah, so that's your the worst lady part. witnessed this. Now you got to punch she something. She saw you. You got to punch something now. What, I don't know what it is. Uh, what so, am I supposed to do? Okay, so something's like, got to get punched. You got to show the, her that you're the, not afraid. The swan wasn't attacking. The swan just did like it does that thing where they're on the ground. And then they stand up and they're much bigger than you think they are. And, and you got scared. And, and, and so he does that bow up, like flappy flap. Yeah. And I'm just going to do the crane kick on you. I'm not scared. It's a swan kick. I'm not scared of it. What I'm doing is I'm pulling the dog back. Yeah. Because the dog definitely thinks it can fight the swan. And I'm having Your pull- dog is tougher than you. And she's you like, gotta, you gotta find a pit bull or something and punch it. No, no, I'm not gonna fight I an can't animal. Punch Mr. 305. Come on, punch a pit bull. But she 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 like literally said, she's like, I, it was the first time in my life I ever thought that like, oh, can can he protect his family? Oh. And I was like, oh I was like, God. we're talking about a swan here. Was she, drink, was she drinking wine swan. when she was saying this? Was she half drunk when she was saying this? I mean, we were walking around Lake Eola doing that whole thing. Oh, you know? okay. oh the swan was going to sweep the leg. But now, like, that's in my brain. And I, I had a dream about it last night. And, and so I'm like, <laughs> I now feel like, and there's no way to make this happen. But, like, I want, I kind of want to go. To, to walk around Lake Yola again. We got it. We got to recreate not, the situation. Not provoke a swan. Oh, you got to though. But like, you know, if it if it attacks me, I gotta I gotta assert dominance over that swan. Went back to the fold of the other swans and be like, Ah, did you see me punk out that bitch? Who's more brave, you or Christina? <laughs> me. Obviously, Christina. So when you thought there were ghosts in the house. Right? I remember how <laughs> well, okay. scared you were, and she wasn't scared. I think she's more brave. No. Okay. Well, first of all, uh-huh. I'm, I'm, I, if I'm afraid of things, it's things that are real. But you weren't and afraid then if it's of supernatural, ghosts. I can't fight the supernatural, Russ. I don't have magic powers. Yeah, I don't know, have yeah. some and, kind of disenchantment and, and you spells. Wonder, and you wonder why Christina is worried that, uh, you know. <laughs> I will beat a bird's ass. And I like, I, I don't know how to prove this. I don't, you keep saying a bird. It was a swan. It's a swan. swan. A swan bowed up on you and you punked out. But like, okay. Like it was it wasn't a blue jay angel. It's a, it's well, a no, massive. It, you keep saying a bird. It was a swan. They're big. You're scared of a swan. Like, I'm not scared of a swan. But like, I don't understand why they're so protected by the city of Orlando because these birds yeah they're expensive are, are dicks but they're expensive there are uh, what they, are they they, where they, are, they come from there Japan? are mascots for downtown I think they come from Japan I know that they shouldn't be the mascot of downtown first of all okay I, it wasn't like it wasn't like I saw a swan and then I let my dog go over there 
What they do is they build a giant nest right next, right next to the sidewalk. Yeah, so ones are going to swan. Everyone that lives down there knows. You went down there as a tourist. Oh, let's go walk around the park with the dog. And the swan swanned on you and you punked out. Orlando's known for their swans. Yeah. You know they're there. Then they should have like Orlando. They should just turn that into Swan Lake and not let people walk around and, and like do stuff there. So now your wife questions your manhood. She's afraid. Because of a swan. That you, that you can't protect her. I don't even know what you do. I don't I don't know how do you recover from that? You're, you're afraid got, of ghosts and swans. Yeah. Like is, I, I, I'm trying to think of what the equivalent is of like a of, of something I can fight that would be like swan esque to show how I, quickly I, a, a swan can get beat up by me because you get a swan. <laughs> look, if it bites you, it's gonna hurt, right? Yeah. But like I could grab a swan neck and just fling it around. Oh, that's not a good look. Mm. But uh, exactly, uh, so you're cheating. Now. And then I gotta yell, "This swan was attacking me first. Uh, it's a whole thing. I genuinely don't know how you recover from this, man. But you like, uh, you like get, you, re- real you talk. Show, look, you look. gotta show her you're brave somehow. Yeah, real. you gotta help an old lady across the street. Real talk. That's not brave. Well, I mean, like in rush hour traffic on I four. Oh, <laughs> you could like Russ. You could beat up a swan, right? I mean, I'm sure if I punched him in the head, but I, I, I probably, I probably would run instead of hurting it. I wouldn't want to hurt a swan. Thank you. And that's the real response. And that's what I did. I backed up, jumped away. Yeah, but in that but in that moment you bitched out and your lady now is Listen, questioning your, your authority. Jim Dirty Jim, Jim Colbert, Jimmy Jimmy uh t- tells a story of it wasn't him, it was a buddy of his and uh he they were golfing and I think it was a goose or a swan or whatever, like went after a dude, and he had his uh, his uh, golf club and he swung it and hit the hit the swan's neck mm-hmm. and it broke its neck. And 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 the swan, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, and he's like, they're weak. Well, that's what you do when the swan's attacking you. You uh, don't st- take a step back and go. Oh, but the guy swan. felt terrible. That's afterwards. a normal <laughs> reaction. No, it's not for a grown ass man to be. Oh, if, swan. A, if, if a giant bird <laughs> jumps out at you, yeah. How from, about these two birds? Ah, see. What percentage of chances <laughs> that, that that would happen? Hundred <sighs> percent chance that I will not. Be scared of a swan ever again. I'll tell you that. I'm gonna go aggressively mean mug them. And uh if they if they do move the swans, they could probably get a really good swan mortgage thanks to the swan that mortgage guy no, that mortgage guy swan. No, it's not. It's that mortgage guy Don. He doesn't do swan mortgages. No, he does regular mortgages, whether it's like a traditional, he does HELOC. He even if if you're starting a business, he can get he the the, the business money the money he can pull in for like a business to build like a building. Imagine it's crazy money. Uh so and work that mortgage guy down is awesome. So check out homeloansradio.com or that mortgage guy don.com and uh, he'll help you out. Plus he has an amazing show on Saturdays from nine to ten thirty here on Real Radio and a th- thousand five star reviews on Google. Check it out, that mortgage guy don.com and so it shall be. All right, when we come back, we'll have the coach of Stetson University where they are uh, the coach uh, Donnie Jones will be with us. They are uh, they made the dance, man. NAA I almost said CP Play. Men's <laughs> basketball tournament. A lot of letters there. Oh. <laughs> we'll have him in when we come back. You're listening to the Marge of the Morning. Don't miss the boat. Compare your quote with that mortgage guy, Don.com. In four days, the News Junkies Just OK 8, presented by Mills Air and Just Call Mo.com. Saturday at the Plaza Live. Get your tickets now at realradio.fm slash just OK. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. The crash westbound on I-4 approaching Dirksen Drive is on the right shoulder. An accident in Deland blocks northbound at North Woodland Boulevard at Plymouth Avenue. There's an accident on US-192 at Celebration Place. A crash on University Boulevard at Semarin Boulevard in a turn lane. And a vehicle fire blocking two lanes northbound on Kirkman Road at Vineland Road. Also an accident eastbound on Maitland Boulevard at Eden Park Road. See traffic problems? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the traffic Center, I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by Pearl Specialties Olives in the Sunny Yellow Jar. Original MTV VJ Martha Quinn here. Pearl Specialties Olives are bursting with flavor and add the perfect Mediterranean twist to everyday meals and snacks. Rock your recipes with Pearl Specialties Olives. For quality you can trust, look for the Sunny Yellow Jar at your local Walmart. 
I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. You call that a precision stop? When a rookie stunt driver, just give me a shot, meets the trainer who thought he'd seen it all. Come on, focus. They'll soon find out that behind the wheel of the Nissan Rogue, with the power of VC Turbo and the most fuel-efficient gas-powered engine in its class. Watch this. The protege can become a master. But this is no ordinary blockbuster. It's a Nissan sales event ad. Level up your drive with 1.9% APR financing for 60 months on the 2023 Nissan Rogue. Shop the Nissan sales event. Visit your local Nissan store and NissanUSA.com today. Yeah. Auto Pacific segmentation excluding hybrids and electric vehicles. 2024 EPA fuel economy estimates from 28 city, 34 highway to 30 city, 37 highway for 2024 Nissan Rogue. Actual mileage may vary. For well qualified buyers, 1.9% APR financing for 60 months on new 2023 Rogue and dealer stock example, 60 months financing at 1748 per month per thousand financed. Actual down payment may vary. Subject to residency restrictions and in MAC credit approval, not all buyers qualify. Dealer contribution may affect actual price set by dealer. Contact dealer for details. Ends 4124. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. And we're Anajar and Levine. Experience the Anajar and Levine difference by calling us with any of your legal needs. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation and take back control of your life. In Office Orlando. McDonald's McCafe Ice Coffee wakes you up like the perfect song. The 100% Arabica beans get your head nodding. Yeah, then the cream drops like a smooth bass line. Uh-huh. Add some ice to chill it down and some French vanilla flavor. There you go. Or change it up and go with caramel. Either way, it's a stone cold classic. Start your day with a dollar forty nine McCafe iced coffee available during breakfast hours only. Music to my ears. Ba da ba ba ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. My day just flows better when I make my first stop McDonald's. Hey, what's going I can on? choose two eggs and save hey, yeah. with a bundle of savory yeah, sausage McMuffin or flaky oh. sausage biscuit with crispy hash browns for breakfast for two seventy nine. Or I can make Mickey D's my last stop. Lunch, dinner, a late night snack perhaps. When I bundle a crispy McChicken or juicy McDouble with the Delicious small fries for only $3.69. Now my day is made the tastiest way when I bundle and save at McDonald's. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Valid the product served. If it's time for you to get some new windows, reach out to Mike the Home Builder and his team of professionals at the Home Builders Network. Let me tell you what you will get when Mike takes care of you. Great question. It's a window company that moves into your house for three hours when they come in for the free estimate, pressuring you for the sale. Use someone local, someone you can trust. Go to myhomebuildersnetwork.com. Tax time means a cash bonus for many people. Hey, this is R.C. Hill from R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. I need to reduce my tax burden, so I'm going to overpay for your old car. Get up to $4,297 more than it's actually worth. Trade in and get a new car today, like a Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty. Most people can trade and lower their payment. Or let me double your tax refund up to $2,500. My goal this month is 100% credit approval. I'm R.C. Hill at R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishis. Two locations, Deland and Nocala. Or visit me at rchill.com. Credit requires bank approval. See rchill.com for details. The number one cause of accidents is distracted driving, like cell phones, eating, and playing with the radio. So leave it right here on Real Radio. Injured on the go? Just call mo.com. Mo DeWitt, Orlando's injury attorney. My friends at Mills Air have been in business since 1992 right here in Central Florida. Over 30 years, they're not going anywhere. Carrier, factory authorized dealer, turn to the experts. Equipment changeouts and upgrades right now up to $1,275 in rebates. Go to millsair.com.
Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Find out at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Morning's Radio 104.1 broadcasting live on iHeartRadio. I'm Russ Rollins, along with Angel Rivera and uh, Ryan Holmes, and we have a special guest with us here today. This is exciting, man. Uh, from Stetson University, Coach Donnie Jones is here with us, and uh, thank you so much for uh, for driving in and coming in. What a what a great story! So tell me, uh, Coach. Now, Coach, how long have you been at Stetson? Yeah, Russ. Thanks. Uh, it's great to be here. I, I've been there five years. This will be my fifth year, and obviously uh, the most exciting one of all, to say the least. I guess so. And then, uh, did you used to coach at UCF? Yes, sir. I did. I was there six years as the head coach at UCF, and eleven as an assistant at the University of Florida. Oh my gosh. So, so, and then, you know, but here you are now Stetson university. And when you talk about these other universities, the amount of, of kids that go to Stetson or young, young men, young women, uh, yep. go to Stetson compared to UCF and, in you know, in, uh, uh, Florida, big difference, right? Yeah, absolutely. We're a little under 3000 and now you're talking 75,000 at a UCF or 70,000 at Florida. So a little smaller school, uh, a little private institution, great academics, Beautiful campus. It's a, oh, it is beautiful. beautiful. You, you, I got to tell you, I, I, when I uh, it was a long time ago, right, eighty three. I had a, a scholarship to go wrestle at Stetson, and I was afraid to go that far away from home, which is ridiculous because it's really right down the street. Sure. Uh, and I never visited the campus then. You know, my parents oh. didn't. My, my parents didn't. Uh, they didn't know much about college or whatever, so I never visited the campus. I just heard Stetson was so. But when I finally got to visit Stetson. It is a beautiful campus. It really is. So, so, so five years ago, you're you're, you're you know you're at Stetson. Uh, the guys that you have now playing on the team, like when, when did they, like is it? Um, Angel always talks about one and done. Like uh, kids come in and they play and then they leave right away. Do you have uh, uh, players that have been there for some time? Yeah, yeah, we've have uh, we have we have four guys that've been here for four years uh, that are important players to our team. Uh, we've added you know a couple freshmen and some transfers and a couple people. It's kind of build up this unit, but. Uh, this is something that's been in the making for uh, the last four years. You know, our program's just is con- constantly started to climb, and this year we were able to to break through and have a chance to get to the tournament. Yeah, and I mean that is kind of rare, isn't it, uh, for a school this size to make it to the NCAA tournament? Yeah, you know, it's the first time in the history of the school. Uh, Fifty-three years we've been Division One. It's the first time. Uh, the men's program has made it to uh, March Madness. So is that it's, attributed it's to, to the fact that you guys are in the A Sun now? Uh, with with the automatic bid, is that one of the things that were uh, incredible, helpful, or or it just it just worked out that way? No, we've been in the A Sun. Okay, uh, yeah. So we've been the oldest uh, school in the A Sun. We just had never made it to the tournament. Gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. What, what what is the A Sun? I don't know what that is. The conference. Oh, okay. Their conference, so it's all the other schools that are they're playing against. I was hoping he would go, no, I attribute it to me. It's me. <laughs> I'm the one that did it. I'm here. Hi. Well, yeah, what, what, what do you think it is? I mean, I mean, uh, you just have a, a, an incredible uh, group of guys. Do you think it's a, you know, just a, I mean, you know, not just your coaching but the assistant coaching? What, what, do you, what, what was the magic? Uh, what, what's the magic? Oh, well, I think there's a lot of magic. It's not one, I don't think it's one thing. I think it's accumulation. It's the beauty of team sports. You know, anything that's great at – Starts with great people. Yeah, I think any success is it begins with that. And you know, we got great coaches, uh, we got great players, uh, we got a great administration, great school. I just think it's all come together. And uh, obviously, uh, you know, we we I was able to hit magic in the bottle here down the stretch. Yeah. So do do you know uh, when when do they draw the up the the tournament? Like, do you know who you play in the first round yet? Or yeah, that's coming. Uh, so selection Sunday begins this Sunday. Ooh. So it's six o'clock CBS. They'll have the big national show. All the other teams are playing in their tournaments as we speak, and they'll have winners out of that. There'll be 68 teams invited, and then they will announce what region you go play, who's your matchup, and we're having a big watch party. Uh, we'll go ahead and announce that, you know, on Stetson's campus. Uh, we're having that up in the Stetson room. That's going to be from 5 to 7 on Sunday. We'll have our team, our cheerleaders, our band, our president, our administration, Everybody, uh, it'll be a big celebration for that announcement at six o'clock. Now, as long as you've been coaching, I mean, you, you you've probably been to the tournament before, right? 
Yeah, I have. You know, 14. This is my 15th time. 15th uh, that, time. That I've been and won two national championships when I was at Florida. Oh, wow. Okay, so you know you I've know what at, it's like. So you know the pressure that goes along with it, but the guys on the team probably don't know this pressure yet, right? No, they don't. This is the first time uh, this school has ever been. Uh, this is the first time these kids have been. So it's so exciting to be a part of that, to share that opportunity with them. So do you, do you think about that? Like, okay, I got to get them through this so they don't get way too nervous. And, and by the way, Angel used to play professional basketball. So Angel, you, maybe you can speak on this. Like, like going to – you know, this kind of a tournament with this kind of pressure and like no one's a kind of, I mean, they're like, oh my God, this is going to be a Cinderella kind of a team. Like, how do you, how, how well, do there's you... nothing like the NCAA men's basketball tournament. It's the, it's the, the highest tournament at a collegiate level that all uh, players aspire to. I got to go to a smaller, uh, it was a junior college uh, national tournament and I went to that to experience there. But uh, you're right, coach, in the sense of you want to get these guys ready for that because it, it you know, you, it's one and done. So you, you keep going or move, moving further the more that you win so that's a new experience but getting your guys ready for this it's got to be uh you know exciting oh it really is you know we've and so the, all the excitement on campus too so they become instant heroes and instant excitement so you got to be able to funnel that energy and yeah. be able to lock back in so we took two days off uh, we played sunday had a sellout crowd the championship was right there in the land uh we packed the the Edmonds Center, which was exciting. A lot of past players, a lot of uh, history was made there. Yeah. It's the best season they ever had in the history of the school. So a lot of good things happened there. So How is the city itself, not not just the campus, but the city of DeLand, is it becoming like a basketball town? Or, 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 That's got to be cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone ate up with it, yeah? Yeah, yeah, they were excited. You know what, we had a lot of people there. Uh, it was it was incredible. I think it's really uh, brought a lot of energy to campus, a lot of energy to, to the community. Uh, you know, it's only been three days since, so we're still kind of buzzing right now with it. And uh, now we got to lock into practice today, get back into it. I mean, we don't know who we play, but we just got to practice and get ready and stay in tune here until Sunday. Do you think and, another and, team for your from your conference will make it? No, only one no, team. Only one, only okay. one team. And this yeah. has to be great for, I mean, you know, for Stetson and for your, you know, for your Bragging program. Rights. I mean, yeah. to, I mean, this kind of attention. I mean, I know John Brown uh, from Fox. Uh, he's the one that contacted me. Thank you, John. I, I appreciate it so that we, we could speak with you today. But, uh, you know, you guys getting this kind of attention, it's got to be great, right? Oh, it's incredible. What it does for the university is uh, you can't buy the attention as we're getting here today. And, uh, you know, some... Some estimated around forty million dollars worth of free advertising. Yeah, just to be in March. So, and, and so do you think the next year when you're recruiting, you know, uh, you know, young guys that are thinking of, you know, high school guys thinking of where to go, they're like, oh, Stetson, that's a school that made it to the to the tournament. I, I wouldn't mind playing there. Is is that kind of part of of, of the win for you guys? Oh, one hundred percent. I think any time it's enrollment for the university. Yeah, uh, it's it's for all the past players that's played there. It gives them great pride. Uh, so I think it's a you know, as we say, is the as the tide rises, all boats float. Right? Sure. And so I think everybody everybody wins. And yeah, the national exposure because you get you got to guarantee you're guaranteed that there's some uh, high school basketball players that once they watch the uh, the team um, this weekend or when they see the first game, they're gonna be like oh, Stetson, where is that? Let me find that out about that. And they're gonna reach out to coach and be like, Hey, I'm graduating from here. They'll probably send them some reels and whatnot. Uh, coach, uh, who should we be looking out for? Who's who are the players on the team that yeah. uh, we should uh, kind of keep an eye on for this uh, next game? Yeah, great question. You know, the guy that's been really outstanding is uh, Jalen Blackman. Uh, he had 43 points in the championship nice. game. Uh, <laughs> so he was, I uh, set a record for the A-Sun uh, championship uh, appearance. Uh, you know, he was a four-star player out of Indiana uh, coming out of high school and uh, went to Grand Canyon, transferred to us last year, and he's been first-team all-league newcomer of the year. He's had an incredible season. And so he's he's been the, the star for us. Uh, another kid named Stefan Swenson he's from he's from Belgium. Uh, point guard, been a senior, been here four years, uh, all-time leading assist guy for us. Uh, he's our team leader. Uh, you know, he had the big shot, got 1.2 million uh, hits uh, against Jacksonville, hit the three at the buzzer for us to win the, the, nice. base of the championship. So uh, that's that's got a lot of energy. Uh, he's a terrific player. And then, you know, kid Alex Olgsby, you know, it's a senior. Uh, it's from, you know, right here, on, right outside of Gainesville. His dad's a coach up there. And then um, we've got another kid from Belgium, 6'11 kid, Alban Gatterizzi, uh 6'11, uh, terrific player. And, and then, you know, just a lot of other, you know, young guys and a good core group. But those are the main guys for us. Uh, Coach, would you feel that you have the – 
maybe one of the advantages is like a team like yours has because it sounds like all your guys have been there two to three years, I, except for the the recent transfer and everything. And going up against some of these schools that have guys that I you know we've talked about in the past that are one and done, whereas you you have your core of guys that are in your system and they're comfortable with each other, they know each other, they trust each other. That's got to be a, a competitive uh, advantage in that regard. No, it really is. It's about the team. You know, we we play a lot of the big schools. You know, in our non conference schedule. I mean, we played four. Florida State last year, we beat them. We wow. played South Florida, beat them. Uh, we played UCF this year, beat them. Uh, we we've played a lot of teams, uh, you know, very competitively. Charlotte was you know top in the American, we beat them. So we've we've been competing at a very high level. I think non conference. So I think that's helped build our our confidence. It's helped build our team. I think it's built our unity, our brotherhood, and you know, and obviously you know we finished second in our leg. Uh, was right one game out of first in the regular season and. Uh, and, and, you know, rally and win the championship. So there's a lot of good things happening with this group, a lot of confidence. So, That's Coach, cool. do you think when you when you, when you you were playing the bigger school, like playing UCF, do you think the UCF's like, ah, oh, it's just, you know, Stetson small school. We, we got, you know, they, they got no chance, and then they don't take you serious? Do, what, what do, you, do you think they just, because of being a smaller school, do you think, you know, they just kind of, well, they don't, you know, play as hard and then realize, oh, damn, now Stetson has got a, you know, <laughs> an incredible record. Oh, you record. want to sleep on them? No. <laughs> do, do, I mean, do you think they were sleeping on you there? Uh, I don't know. I mean, obviously, I can't speak for their team. Uh, yeah. Obviously, we've, it's not the first game we've won big. So, right. Uh, I'm sure coaches respect when teams show up. We respect everybody we play, no matter what level. Uh, sometimes kids do overlook it, and that happens in the NCAA tournament. Uh, yeah. You look down on one end, and there's Stetson, and, you know, you got all these McDonald All Americans. They don't know any of your kids. Yeah. And they don't look the same. That's what makes March so exciting. Is there a level of intimidation that happens amongst the players, though, from a school like Stetson when you get there and you see, like, like the guys you see on TV, you know, like for, like, uh, Duke or whatever? Is it, it, or they just go into, it like, these are basketball players. I'm supposed to be here. Yeah, I think so a little bit. But you know what happens? You know, some kids are older. These kids play AAU all summer long. Most of these kids, they've seen each other at some point or know of each other. Yeah. So I think that comes down to us, coaching. I think mentality is, hey, who we respect and understand. It's, you know, it's not football. We're always the biggest, the strongest, and the fastest wins. Uh, you said you played for, like, UF and, and UCF, or you were coaches for both of it. I, I went to UCF. I mean, there's 60,000 students in that school. Yep. But, and, and I felt like, I, I definitely felt like a number where Stetson, it's like 7th of 3,000, which is like, yeah. Yeah, less than my high school. It's got to be more rewarding to be doing it at Stetson like that, where, like, especially when you get to this level, do you feel that difference at all? Yeah, well, I think the biggest thing is, you know, is numbers. It's going to be more personable. I mean, yeah. 12 to 1 ratio in a classroom. I mean, you, we feel like, as we say, you're seen. Uh, you know, we recognize you here. Right. And we know your name. You know us. So I think that's an important, that's a quality you have at a smaller school. Let's do that. We'll take a little break. Can you stay for another segment? Absolutely. I, I know you've got more questions, yeah. Angel. we got a bunch <laughs> of listeners that have questions for, uh, it's Coach Donnie Jones, uh, Stetson University. They've made the tournament, NCAA tournament, which is a really big deal. And uh, very nice of you to come in. I appreciate it. I'm excited uh, to be here. So, so Thank we'll, you. We'll, have, we'll, we'll have some more questions when we return. Do not go anywhere. You're listening to the Monsters of the Morning. Real Radio is on threads at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the law offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Woodland Boulevard is closed due to an accident northbound at Plymouth Avenue and before Kentucky Avenue. Authorities are clearing up an accident on Kirkman Road northbound at Vineland Road. The right lane is blocked. Expect delays there. And on I-4 this morning, you can expect your regular delays before U.S. 27 and approaching State Road 429. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Mattress Firm. Bonus savings on top brands and better sleep are all the buzz at Mattress Firm's friends and family sale. Hurry in to save up to $700 with your extra discount. You'll even get a free adjustable base on select beds. Plus, if you see a lower price, Mattress Firm will match it. Restrictions apply. Get ready, because Scott's is taking over daylight saving time. It's such a big event that we're calling it day-long saving time. And now it's got real savings. In fact, it's the biggest deals of the year. Audacious? Absolutely. So don't wait. Stock up early and you'll be able to save up to $20 on Scott's Triple Action and Easy Seed products today at the Home Depot, Lowe's, or Ace Hardware. Offers available March 7th through 20th at select U.S. stores while supplies last. 
Selection varies by location. See store for exact offers. When it comes to protecting your family and property, there's a name that has stood the test of time. Safe Touch Security. Save 50% right now on your security package by calling 888-723-8682 or go to safetouch.com. State license EF20001945 LVA4188. Are allergies holding you back? Take control with Aspire Allergy and Sinus, your one-stop solution for a breath of fresh air. Our expert team offers comprehensive allergy testing and cutting-edge treatments so you can enjoy life without the hassles of sneezing and sniffles. Say goodbye to allergy and sinus struggles and hello to a healthier, happier you. Go to AspireAllergy.com today to ditch those temporary fixes and schedule your appointment. That's AspireAllergy.com. Spring has sprung and it's full tilt boogie time at GiveMeTheVin.com America's best car buyer Sell us your car GiveMeTheVin.com So easy you can do it in your underwear Hey, let's get out of here With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. Hey there, homeowners. Russ Rollins here. Are you tired of staring at a cold, unused pool? It's time to make a change. Spring is the perfect time to add solar heat to your pool and enjoy it year-round. Solar Source customers, they enjoy family time, nighttime pool parties, movie nights, birthdays, and even low-impact workouts. Don't let your pool be a monthly expense with no enjoyment. Schedule a free consultation from solarsource.com slash monsters. Remember, friends of Russ Rollins save even more money. Regulated activities performed by a licensed official. I had no idea I could sell my life insurance policy. Norman and Nancy Duggan for Coventry Direct. We were about to let Norman's policy lapse because premiums have become expensive. Our kids are doing well on their own, so we just don't need it anymore. Then Nancy called Coventry. They were so helpful answering all of our questions. If you're over 65 and have $100,000 or more of life insurance, you may qualify. After this past year, we're celebrating life. We've booked some long overdue travel and we're able to pay for our grandkids' college. Coventry Direct has helped thousands live the life they want to live, pay for unplanned medical expenses, or supplement retirement income. When it comes to selling your life insurance, Coventry has you covered. Call 1-800-607-9400 or visit CoventryDirect.com to learn more about how you can get cash by selling your life insurance. Call 800-607-9400. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 original stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like 24-7 comedy. Men don't settle down. We surrender. Women, we never express the emotions we're actually feeling, right? I'm fine means I'm about to stab you in the neck. Clips from today's top comedians and the greatest of all time. Donut hole. If you want a donut, have a donut. Why are you eating the hole? When you need a laugh, just open the free iHeartRadio app and search comedy. You can actually change the station. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to millsair.com. The 
coach of Stetson. They have uh, made it to the NCAA tournament. Coach Donnie Jones here with us. Very exciting for the uh, for the program. And a lot of people have a bunch of questions still, Coach. So I think why we asked you to stick around for another another segment. Appreciate you coming in. Thank you. It's yeah. great to be here. And I want to get there. I thank John Brown again for getting hold of me. Uh, very nice of him uh, from Fox uh, to uh, talk to you. So, so uh, God, I'm, like I said, there's so many different questions. Here's what I want to ask you about. Around here in Central Florida, there are a lot of really great high school teams. You know, I went to Edgewater High School, big proud of being going to Edgewater. And then uh, Angel went to Winter Park High. That's where he played. And a pop guy I know recently won a, a, you know, a championship. Like, do you personally go to the high school games and try to recruit and look for new kids? Oh, absolutely. You do? Yeah. Oh, yes, absolutely. Uh, there's great basketball here in Central Florida and and obviously, recruiting wise, can't talk about certain kids, but yeah, yeah. Uh, but school wise, yeah, we've signed two kids here in the area oh, already wow. that's signed with us early. Ooh. And uh, what schools are your favorite ones here locally? <laughs> you can you say that? Like, I can't say my favorites. You can say no. favorites though. No. I can't. You wear say a disguise it. when you go to them. <laughs> but uh, when do they part- know when you show up? Like you walk in, are, oh, yeah. are the are the player are the players like that's the that's the coach from Stetson? They know. They do. Yeah. yeah. They do know. <laughs> And, uh, you know, kids, you know, especially, you know, hey, they want to be recruited too. Sure. Know? Want to be able to play. And if they could play at home and be around their family, it's even better. We'd love to keep all the Florida kids home. Sure. And uh, we have a kid on our team, uh, Brett Comer, who played at Winter Park. He's my assistant. Oh, right on. Uh, yeah, Brett yeah. Comer. Yeah, he went to Florida Gulf Coast. They made that great run, the Sweet 16. Yeah. Uh, he's an assistant with me who went to Winter Park. So, yeah, a lot of great players around this area. Hey, another question that a texter has is to ask the coach about this. How do you fight – uh, your players from wanting to transfer to bigger schools. If they're doing, if they have all this great success and everything, like, oh, I could transfer to a bigger school. Uh, like, do you think about that? Do you, do you, uh, is that something that you have to combat or sure. you just. Sure. We've had kids, you know, here over the last couple of years with our success. So um, they went to Oregon, went to Murray State. They've been recruited away. So it's, that's just part of the landscape right now. You hope the kids want to stay. Everybody has a different story. Uh, you hope they're having success. Uh, some of them may want to stay with it. If not, then you know we just have to recruit the next one coming up. That's part of the business today. So when you say recruited away, so if, if they do go away, do you feel like man, I must have done something wrong, or like, like do you feel? Or, or, no, because no? now you have NIL. You know, you got kids making two, three, four hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How does that? Um, it's a like, different world. Yeah, like a school like your, you know, in Deland in Stetson, yep. um, it'd be considered a smaller market kind of thing. Uh, that's got that's got to be a tough tough one to, to battle, especially when you have you, the UCFs and the University of Florida's and the Florida States around, uh, you know, circling you. That's uh, got to be, a, uh, you know, how to navigate that. Yeah, it's tough. I and mean, there's no perfect uh, formula for it. All you can do is uh, you know, embrace the kid or some kids are coming, you know, chance to be a pro. Some of them won't take the money for a year. They want to play in a system, a style of play. Uh, some of them want to be pros, feel, feel they can do it. I've had 23 NBA players, so it's not like it's not a place you can't be a pro. Yeah. Uh, so, it's uh, so you know you just hope the kid and the family, depending on where they're at, and if that's what they choose to do, hey, that's you know it's a personal decision. And we applaud that for the individual, and we recruit the next one. So and I'm d- sure d- you've d- had the flip side of that, where you've had a guy, and you're like, okay, you're ready, mm-hmm. like you're ready to go to the next level. You know, mm-hmm. absolutely, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, do- we you have to embrace that if you fight that. You, you're not going to win. You don't be coaching very long. <laughs> do, do you have do you have uh, players that are are concerned about the endorsement deals and get upset about other players making endorse? Like, do, do, does it enter the locker room and become a distraction? No, we've been fortunate. That has not been an issue for us right now. Good, but, but you know, the higher the level, the higher the devil, right? So the higher the I level like you go, uh, yeah. you're going to have to fight those things. And I think that. Uh, you know, that comes down to coaching, I hope, and uh, relationships and trust and, and being able to communicate and, and trying to make sure you work that out best you can. Yeah. And then so uh, th- so uh, finding out the draw and finding out who you're going to play, that happens, you said, this Sunday. Sunday? This happens Sunday, 6 o'clock. Uh, uh, that will be a national broadcast. Are there particular teams you're hoping for in the first round? Like, 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 <laughs> no, oh. I'm just happy to be in them. Just trying yeah. to be there. Yeah. 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 So. And, and, I, and I wonder what other teams think when they see they're playing Stetson, you know? Yeah. Uh, you know, like, like, uh, like, like, oh, that's small school. Uh, and they don't take you, you know, hope so. serious enough. Yeah, yeah, they, they, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Angel, question for Coach Donnie Jones. Coach Donnie, um, when, when in the moment or when is the moment that you break out your Hoosier speech to your guys? <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, right. Yeah. Well, you know what? Um, I had one of those on Sunday, yeah. which was pretty cool. All right. I uh, had one of those on Sunday. So, nice. And it worked, so that's yeah. the good news. So, And it was a kid from Indiana, which he made it better, right? Uh, who Jalen Blackman. All yeah, right. Yeah, he was the star. But, uh, but yeah, you know what? There's not a whole lot of motivating right now. Now it's a chance. These kids know 
Uh, I think, uh, and they're ready to go. They're, they're ready to roll. If anything, just calm them down uh, and just stay in the moment and and just go out and do what you you've been doing all year long. Yeah. Hey, so you said you've coached uh, players that have gone on to the NBA. Mm-hmm. Any that we'd recognize? Any names? Yeah, a lot. Uh, <coughs> Al Horford uh, plays for the Boston Celtics still. Joe Kim Noah uh, had ten first round draft picks. Obi Toppin. Uh, I was at Dayton. Uh, coached Obi. Oh, so you were at Gainesville when both those kids were there. Yeah, I was there 11 years. Yeah, wow. We, we had Mike Miller, Jason Williams. Yeah, Mike oh, I know that, was a, that was a juggernaut yeah, of a team. Haslam, yeah. Miami Heat. yeah, that was a juggernaut of a team when you had those guys, kids there. Yeah, Corey Burr, we had three of the top 10 picks. In yeah. The oh so when you're the coach, uh, you, know, uh, you know, a college team, like, do you have time to actually casually watch the NBA? Or, or are you so busy watching high school players and college players? And like, like do you have time to, to watch the NBA for fun? Well, I got YouTube TV, which is uh, you know, really good. So <laughs> I, I, I watch it on my time. Oh, you do? You know, which is cool. But I, I watch the NBA all the time. Yeah. And I love the NBA. I'm an NBA fan. I'm a Magic fan. I'm know? sure, yeah. Yeah. I, I love what Jamal Mosley's doing. He texted me the other day. Congrats to him getting his. Yeah, he got his contract. Yeah, yeah I think nice. He's doing amazing work, man. He's he's a heck of a coach. Is that something you think about? Like maybe I'd like to coach in the NBA one day. I love the NBA. I was with the Clippers for a year as a scout. Oh, uh, you were. When I left UCF, uh, I had a gap year there, trying to decide what my next move was. And Doc Rivers was a friend and offered me a job. So I was with the Clippers. That was cool to be on the other side, to, to go across the world and see the best players and evaluate and see that. And so uh, and then I got back into college. That's where my heart was at the time to coach kids. Yeah. And uh, but but no, I love the NBA. You know, hey, I'd love to be an NBA coach someday. Very cool. Yep. Well, coach, it really is Dude, nice of you, you to come in. We appreciate it, and good luck to Stetson. What a great story. I mean, you know, what what, what will you consider a win? Like if you just if you win three games, in the, you know, like what what for you will be a win? Just making it as a win, or, or you yeah, know. you know what? It's just you know, for say. First time in the history, hey, we want to win. I mean, yeah. we're going to go out. It's just a, just how we how we represent ourselves, I think, how we go out and compete. Put ourselves in a situation to to get lucky down the stretch is all you can ask. But, uh, but you know, we want more. Uh, you, you're in it. you got to take advantage of it while you can. So, like you say, you got your dancing shoes on. The music's playing. Dance as long as you can. Do yeah. it. Until it stops, man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Good, so, good luck, Coach, it. and thank yeah. you <laughs> for taking time to come talk to us. We'll be pulling for you, man. Thank Rack you. You guys are awesome. Thanks. <laughs> Appreciate right, hey, it. When we come back, it's time for your hot take, your messages we'll play those when we come back don't go anywhere you're listening to the monster of the morning coming up tonight on real radio at seven it's a corporate time with tom and dan brought to you by gringos locos and modern plumbing industries at 9 p.m it's real laughs with comedians james miguel ken and mike and real music starts tonight at 10 on real radio 104.1 Traveling on I-4, watch out for an accident off to the shoulder westbound before Dirksen Drive. Authorities are also clearing up an accident on Kirkman Road northbound at Vineland Road. And traveling on I-4 this morning, there's bumper-to-bumper traffic eastbound before US-27 and approaching State Road 429. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. If you've been injured in an accident and would like to know the value of your case, go to ForThePeople.com to see cases just like yours. You see, all lawyers are not the same. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Check it out, guys. I love my big green egg, and you can get one at Wassie's. Uh, Wassie's Meat Market right there in Melbourne. Man, they have a fantastic selection. They have all the sizes of the big green egg. Another neat thing that Wassie's does is that they have the Wassie's Learning Center. They basically have this whole kind of uh, classroom environment. They've got like uh, one, two, three, four, like six of the big green eggs all set up. And what's neat about it is that they offer these classes. For example, this Sunday, March the 17th, from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., they're raising the steaks with Captain Phil. And you're going to cook your steak to perfection. Uh, You're going to sous vide it. You're going to sear it, reverse searing, and direct grilling. What's awesome about this class, if you're like, you're not sure about the big green egg, you're like, I don't know. This is a hands-on class. You're going to be cooking. You're going to be cooking your own steak. You're going to be on the grill. And Captain Phil will be there to take care of you, right? You can get your tickets. 
tickets for this class to participate. Um, you got to buy the tickets. It's going to be at wasismeatmarket.com. They're going to provide the barbecue tools. They're going to give you the gloves. It's a hands-on class. It's absolutely fantastic. But this will give you a good idea of like, okay, this is how I do this. Oh, go. This is how you do the reverse sear. Perfect. They're doing that this weekend. Go visit the, the website, wasismeatmarket.com. While you're there, if you're at the shop, make sure you go into the meat market side of it, man. They got some incredible cuts of steak. They got these stuffed pork chops that are absolutely amazing. Wasismeatmarket.com is a website to purchase your tickets for the classroom uh, settings. Uh, follow them on Instagram as well. It's Wasis Meat Market on IG. If you're looking for a big green egg, you're curious about a big green egg, you want to learn more about a big green egg, visit my friends there at Wasis Meat Market right there in Melbourne. Hi, my name's Charles. On my way to work, I was struck by a tractor trailer. I called attorney Glenn Clausman for help. He got me to really good doctors. I don't think it's right to be bragging on a billboard or TV about getting millions of dollars for getting hurt. However, I will say Glenn Clausman got me a great settlement quicker than I thought possible. I'm very happy with the results, and that's why I'm doing this. Call Glenn Clausman at 407-917-1718. His website is klausmanlaw.com. Car crash, call Clausman. Office, Winter Park. If you're the victim of a car crash, never rush to settle with the insurance companies and never settle for just any attorney. Demand Anna Jar Levine. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation. And take back control of your life. In Office Orlando. Hey everybody, Jim Colbert here for my friends over at Life Imaging FLA. Let's spread the word this month and save some lives with proactive health care. We do that with Life Imaging FLA's free heart scan. I go personally try to get 50 friends and family over there. Started with my mother-in-law, my father-in-law, and here's why. The testimonials coming out are simply amazing. People's lives are being saved, and it's a simple approach to proactive health care. Don't wait till there's a problem. Learn beforehand. You can do that with this scan. And then take that information to your primary care doctor and build that life plan. There are no dyes with this test. There are no injections. You don't have to take off your clothes. It only takes a few minutes. Take control and call Life Imaging FLA today. Get that free heart scan. Again, just a few minimum requirements, and it is a $699 value. Pick up your cell phone, dial pound 250, and say the keyword free heart scan. That's it. Pound 250, say the keyword free heart scan. You'll be connected in seconds. Make that call today. Make 2024 the year you take care of your long-term health care. You'll have the option to receive a one-time auto-dial text message from iHeartMedia. Enjoying the news junkie? You've probably heard a ton of injury attorney commercials, but if you are injured and need a lawyer, who's the right lawyer for you? That's why we offer our 30-day risk-free trial. If you are not 100% satisfied with the way we treat you and your case within the first 30 days, you can take your file back and you owe us nothing. No fees, no costs, and no questions asked. Injured on the go? Just call mo.com. Go to justcallmo.com. Mo DeWitt, Orlando attorney. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter com slash free. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by Abvi. Tax time means a much-needed cash bonus for many people. But for business owners, it can mean the opposite. Hey, this is R.C. Hill from R.C. Hill, Mitsubishi, and DeLand. My accountant said I need to reduce my tax burden now. So I'm going to overpay for your old car. Because I'd rather give you the money than the government. Get up to $4,297 more for your old car than it's actually worth. No matter where you bought the car, no matter how many miles are on it. It's simple. Trade in your old car you hate driving. And get a new car today, like a Mitsubishi Mirage, 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty. That means means most people can trade and lower their payment. Or let me double your tax refund up to $2,500. RC Hill Mitsubishi specializes in approving customers with below average credit scores. My goal this month is 100% credit approval. This month, my prices will not be beat. This sale ends when my accountant says enough is enough. I'm RC Hill at RC Hill Mitsubishi, Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishis. Two locations, DeLand and now in Ocala. Or visit me at rchill.com. That's rchill.com. Credit requires bank approval. See RC Hill.
solarsource.com for details. When it comes to power, trust the source, solarsource.com. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Happy Wednesday, Central Florida. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast on this Wednesday. We are expecting a good amount of sunshine with only a few passing clouds for your Wednesday afternoon. Expecting high temperature of 82 degrees in Orlando will warm to the mid 80s all the way through the end of the week with a high of 87 for Friday. Even into Saturday, high temperatures approaching the upper 80s and eventually with a high of 90 degrees for Sunday, increasing rain and storm chances for Monday. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by Direct Auto. Direct Auto Insurance is for uncompromisers. With a super low down payment, you can stop compromising and keep driving. Get a free quote at directauto.com. Down payments vary, does not mean savings. How you buy can affect price. National General Group, Winston-Salem. Very nice coach. Yeah. Coach of Stetson. Yeah. Good luck to them. Oh, yeah, UCF's in the uh, NCAA tournament too, right? No, no, currently they're still in the Big 12 uh, tournament. They beat Oklahoma oh. State yesterday, 77 to 62. They play again today at 1230. They're the 12th seed in that conference going up against number five, BYU. So they can't be a part of March Madness? I just, I guess I don't know how this works. No, no, no. So, okay. Again, uh, the NCAA tournament, uh, March Madness, is a inv- it's an invitation. It's a tournament, right? Gotcha. So certain conferences have automatic bids if you win. Okay. All right? Um, you can also – certain big schools can get at-large bids. Um, if, so, like, even if you lose your conference tournament, you can be invited to the tournament. Uh-huh. Right? But then the best way to secure your tournament typically is, is to win your conference tournament. So can UCF and Stetson be in the same – NCAA the tournament rest, for they March be, Madness. They potentially they could be if they were to be put in the same region. Because ah. remember, it's 62, 64 teams, yeah, and it's all across the United States. And so, if the uh, if the UCF Knights were to go on a run and win the Big Twelve Conference uh, Championship, they would get an automatic bid, and they could potentially be put into the same region that Stetson is in. But Stetson already beat them during the regular season. During the re- yeah, but that doesn't mean anything now. This okay. is tournament. It's tournament time. Yeah. Okay, well, very good. Yeah. Well, good luck to Coach. I'm glad he came in. What's up, C Lane? How you doing, buddy? What's going on, monsters? Uh, you know what? Just uh, trying to do what we do, man. Just uh, how are ticket sales going for uh, just okay? Oh, dude, it's going great. I just uh, uh, left a meeting where we were kind of going over things, doing all like the last minute, you know, do we let this person in? Do we kick that person out? That kind of stuff. Oh, so, oh look so at you guys. Is Ryan getting in? Or, uh, Ryan Holmes getting in? Or <laughs> yeah, so, far, got so far, he's getting in. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really Couple curious. more rounds to make it through, but I'll get there. <laughs> so last night was rehearsal from what you said yesterday. So uh it Oh, no, I had to move that to today. Oh, did you? <laughs> okay. Oh, the, man, the, you guys the, are really waiting at the last minute on this. The, the baby was being a real uh, real treat, I guess, yesterday, uh-huh. and uh, I, I could tell by the tone uh, coming from my wife that if I were to leave uh-huh. to go to Sean's and play guitar, uh, that uh, I would be strangled. So, gotcha. Uh, so it, it, that's uh, immediately after the show. I'm heading over there, and we're running through. So who needs more? Because I don't know. I, I didn't know Sean played. Like, like, so, I mean, are, are you guys on the same level of play? Or, or- <laughs> Sure. Sure, yeah. <laughs> He's in the meeting right now. So, uh, uh, sure, 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 sure. What are you, what are you trying to do? You're going to throw him under now, the bus? You're going to throw I, the host of the well, show well, under the well, bus? I'm just asking him. I mean, like, look, I know, like, I knew in our band, I was not, like, you know, they were pulling me up the the, the hill, right? Like, right. I wasn't the greatest drummer. And, and I, you know, I had to work on it. Uh, uh, so I'm just wondering, right, at least, are, are you hey, pulling Sean up the hill? At least you were playing the drums. I know whoever was playing the bass was just uh, uh, bouncing around, uh, uh, flopping a bass guitar while Bubba was playing the bass notes on his keyboard. So. Well, no, no, hold on. Now, that, that was Daniel played bass and then he and then he switched over and then uh, Drunky played bass. Uh-huh. Uh, who else? I don't know. There was some girl that did it last time I, I saw, like, uh, when we, we did Lost Weekend in Daytona. Oh. Oof. 
Oh, no. oh, <laughs> oh, that was the worst. Everybody just kind of. Oh, that, 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 was, that was when I. That's when I walked on stage and said, "Ladies and gentlemen, you are at the last monster concert." <laughs> I, I, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'd had some drinks, but I realized mm-hmm. this is terrible. This is absolutely that horrible. I did see you wipe your face with one of the t-shirts before you uh, threw it at the crowd. <laughs> that <laughs> that this, was bad. There's nobody here. This sucks. Oh, it was uh. bad. Yeah. No, both Daniel and Drunky did play. Uh, they, they played bass uh, pretty well, but maybe we did have a girl. Yeah, I don't remember. It was somebody that had to sub in last minute. Could but, be. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, so what I did for Sean, and he's like, he was super excited about it, is the the songs that he needed to learn Yes, I that, that were like swapping vocals, I just recorded, and then all of the ones for his voice, I did the AI voice thing oh. that Ryan does, uh-huh. and I just changed it to Sean's voice. So I just delivered him mp3s of what we're doing <laughs> oh and, that's smart and, and, he, and, he, and goes, he can hear his own voice and he goes oh he goes this is perfect all i have to do is sound like fake sean oh and so and that and that's how we've been practicing up until uh this afternoon now, when we put it all together has sean because i don't know okay has sean performed in front of a crowd before yeah he, okay uh, he had a he had a ska band oh, okay, uh, okay. back in the day and that called chasing edmund uh they did a lot of pick it up pick it up pick it up kind of, that kind nice. of music and um, and then but he we all performed together uh, at the last just okay for for a bit where we just got tased a lot while we tried to play songs. Okay, okay, very good. <laughs> and it's Sabrina, very radio. And, nice. and Sabrina's band is, is headlining. She's doing the. I mean, she got her. Their band is tight and ready to go. Their headline. Oh yeah, they uh, they, they got Fritz running the show there. So. Oh, oh, I saw yeah, Fritz yeah. posted yesterday. He's sick though. Oh, he is. Yeah, he'll be better by Saturday. Oh, I hope so. Okay. This, this is news to me. <laughs> Oh, is it okay? Well, I don't oh, know what you're doing. I wonder, I wonder if Fritz is gonna, I wonder if they're going to do the beer song. That'd be cool. That would be awesome. I don't know. I we have like a a kind of an internal rule where we don't want to know each other's set list because we want to gotcha. like enjoy yeah, yeah. the show. We just want to. So I have no idea what she's playing. Somebody was asking me about it yesterday. I was like, I don't know. She doesn't know what we're playing. Hopefully, they don't overlap. We only have four songs, so there's not a whole lot of room there to do that. But, uh, yeah, no. They, oh, that they, would they, be epic. They've got everything. Uh, it, that is a tightly wound machine there, Sabby's Little Helpers. Plus, the Shabooms are playing. Those guys are amazing. I love the Shabooms. The Shabooms are incredible. Yes. Young tapes. It's going to be a fun time, and it is in three days. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, tickets are on sale now. You go That's to right. realradio.fm slash just okay to get your tickets. Who do uh, I check in with to get my wristband for all free drinks? Oh, uh, I don't even have that wristband. Uh, oh, I was promised that. <laughs> By who? By, by, by people in y'all's organization. Yeah. My organization? Y'all's organization. Someone said, hey, if you, uh, Angel, will you come? And I was like, only come in if I get a wristband mm-hmm. that gives me all free drinks. Oh, uh, well. Uh, no? Uh, whoever whoever <laughs> promised you that. Yeah, have you're talking to. Have you, <laughs> I just say charge it to Sean, and then like oh, I'm like yeah. I'm, I show my iHeart ID and I say Sean Watson is on his tab. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you doing like a St. Patrick's Day theme? Is it themed out or not? Uh, a little bit, yeah. yeah. I mean, a lot of the the graphics and stuff, and uh, and and some of the some of the music will be St. Patty's Day themed. Very yes. cool. I'm yeah. excited. I know I'm it's going. St. Patrick's Day, but uh, you guys got my rider right. I, I there's a specific brand of tequila. That I, I don't want. even have a rider. Oh. I'm okay. I'm curious how uh, how you ask for, you rehearsal, get a rider. But yeah. curious how rehearsal goes tonight. So tomorrow you can uh, you can. Get, I'll let you know. Yeah, yeah give us the uh, the, we'll the, the skinny. All right. Realradio.fm slash just okay. Sponsored by Mills there. Thank you guys. Yeah, man. No problem, see you, man. All right. Do we have any hot takes? Any messages today? We do, Russ. And you go to the iHeartRadio <laughs> app and use the talkback function, and you can hear yourself on the it's show. It's time for the hot take. Boom. Okay. And uh, say your name, and then uh, we get to do it like this person does. Monsters, little Karen here. Seeing how I'm naturally well versed in the complaint department, Russ, I jotted down your top five bitches today, and I actually have a solution to one of them. Bitches are dog barking, water bottle breaking, loud leaf blowing, rockets launching, and Robert S. Kennedy talking. <laughs> the simple solution to the dog barking is I would suggest snatch that hat, hat off of Ryan's head and adhere it to the fence. Boom. Bill up, of course. Problem solved. YouTube, y'all need to shut up about my hat. All morning long, all that chat. What's wrong like, with your hat? How long? Look at Ryan's builder's hat. We should make a diving board and dive off Ryan's hat. Ryan's hat's so big. Shut I like, up. I like, I like the hat. I think Thank that's, you. That's the too co- big for his head, though. The, the coach even said, like, hey, that's a good hat for basketball season. And I was like, thank you, Why coach. would he co- a basketball coach say that's a good hat for basketball season? Because it's a, it's a Bud Light basketball hat. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a yeah. basketball court. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so take that, stupid that's YouTube. A, that's a, that bill is too big for your head. 
Hot take. Soul Man here. The best way to describe entry into the tournament. The best teams in the country are going to get into the tournament no matter what happens in their conference tournaments. So, for example, Houston could lose their conference tournament. They're still getting in because they're one of the best teams yeah. in the country. Oh. However, teams that are on what they call the bubble may not get in if they do not win their tournament. The tournament grants them an automatic qualifier. There are 68 teams in the tournament total. That means we have tickets to sell, so everybody who's good is getting in, right? <laughs> no, because, well, like what, he, what he's saying is absolutely correct in the sense of this. The only way for UCF to get into the tournament is they have to win their conference tournament. Houston is in their same conference. Houston could get bounced out of that tournament, but they've had such a fantastic season, they're getting in either way. Sounds confusing. I know, it's, uh, I no, because was... I think UCF's like, what, they're seventh in their conference right yeah. now? Or 12, 11th, something like that. They're, they're low. Like, they Houston... have to win four games right now to get in yeah so, houston uh, through a couple times throughout the year they were the number one team in the nation yeah and, last year the cinderella the cinderella team was fau right they they were the ones that uh, yeah they're making a run they made a really good run so it'd be cool to see stetson you know do that this year i would love to do i want to see who they're seated up against hot day might be a huge bet fun man here listening since six o'clock this morning uh -oh. was wondering if russ's Early stumbles were due to daylight savings time, losing an hour of sleep, and then also, obviously, his water bottle <laughs> problems. And uh, I'm doing this with proper modulation because my voice actually... Okay, he died at the end. I'm not sure what happened there. Oh, he was doing, he was doing the, the Robert Kennedy. My thing. early stumbles, that's just my technique, sir. <laughs> oh, <he's... laughs> that's, just a, that's just how I do radio. I mean, what, what are the early stumbles? Well, I was just very frustrated because my water bottle wasn't working properly. The one I yeah, paid a yeah, hundred yeah. and some odd dollars for, and it's, uh, it's not. Now I'm going to go home and charge it. Maybe it didn't get charged enough. I don't know. Uh, but uh, but uh, yeah, the, I get. Listen, it, it, certain things will throw me off, and it threw me off this morning because it was right when the show was starting. I hit the button and it wasn't working. Hot day. Hey, it's Flip from Virginia, South Carolina. Wow. Uh, I was today years old to know that the swan was like the symbol of Orlando. I thought that it was a homeless guy getting hit by a train. Oh, oh no, oh, sir. Oh. No, it's a swan. And then sw and they came from Japan. Uh, it was a gift from Japan many they years ago. They flew all the way from Japan. Uh, it was a gift. Boy, their arms tired. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> and that's why we're known for sushi. Did you know that? What? That's why Orlando is known for having great sushi is because of the, the, the swans. I know, I know you think I'm joking, but that's Swan what sushi? This, this is what this, this was covered when uh, um, uh, Ginger Gladstone went up to. And you guys obviously didn't watch when Savannah was on uh, Drew. Yeah, I, I she admit, covered that. Uh, uh, she so covered we on, got swans and all of a sudden we're, we're a great sushi place. That's the way it works. No, uh, no. That's what they covered on when Ginger Gladstone was on Drew Barrymore. They talked about that. Hot <laughs> take. Good morning, guys. This is Mikey Mike. Hey, Ryan. Now you got to go back to Lake Yola, man. Mm -hmm. You got to fight that swan, bro. <laughs> it's not a good look on you. Yeah. You got to go back, bro. All right, Mikey. We roll deep. Got to show them who's the boss. <laughs> so yeah. many people texted me after that segment and were like, uh, I, like, I'm on your side. Swans are jerks. I got chased yeah. by swans for nothing. But you got to prove to your wife that you're not afraid. So what you need to do is you take her down there again in a couple days, and you go up this swan, you pick that swan up, and you hold the swan for a picture, and as many times as it bites you, you just don't flinch. You just, you just take all them bites. I do not uh, endorse molesting the swans. Oh, don't touch you. the swans. They also have bird flu right now, which will get you yeah. sick. Oh, no, I got you. I got you. I got you. All right. You are afraid. So let's we'll we'll stage it, right? You'll definitely you go back with mm -hmm. the lady. You do what you guys did. You have couple drinks have the dog out there and everything then we'll get somebody dressed up in a swan costume oh yeah like this yes yeah right? and, I fight and so him. and so then that swan when it comes to scare you yeah just clock it in the chin okay i'm See, down we could do that okay do they get to fight back? No. Oh, okay, cool. No, you, you just, you want, like, you know how you kind of, you can fake throw a, you know, faint a punch, mm -hmm. right? And then so you do that <laughs> and have it just get knocked out. You guys have had a couple drinks. She's not going to notice that it's <laughs> a, a, a person ab in a swan suit. abnormally <laughs> large swan. Do you want it to be a, a, a white swan or a black swan? Or uh -oh. do you care? Uh-oh. Uh. -oh. uh <laughs>
<laughs> Much like my baby, I don't care. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> uh, hot take. What's up, everybody? It's Dallas. What's up, Ryan? Dallas? Ryan, man, the, the only way you're going to be able to keep your marriage going smoothly, you know, because the swan punked you out, <laughs> is you got to put a baby in her, bro. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> I hope you mean her and not the swan. Hot take. Ryan, why are you saying you can't fight the supernatural? There's literally a show that is like 15 seasons long that literally tells you how to defeat any supernatural. No, not real. You're right. It's salt and it's iron and it's a combination of those or something else. (laughs) It is always salt and iron with those. Salt and iron and you can defeat any demon or devil or, you know, specter. You cannot fight the supernatural. Hot take. Good morning, monsters. Otis here. I watched that over the weekend. I watched this show, uh, Ricky Stanicki, I think was the name of it, with John Cena. Terrible. Uh, that dude is funny, man. He, <laughs> he doesn't give an F. He'll do anything to make you laugh. So I just wonder if you guys saw it or not. That's all. I think John Cena is great. Day. Peacemaker's an awesome show. That movie. Peacemaker, he was great in uh, Peacemaker. Ricky Shaniki or whatever it's called. Shaniki. I didn't. I don't know. I just thought you're the only two flat. guys that I've heard say that they didn't like it. A bunch of our texters loved it. They all texted in yesterday when they're saying that, and then we had John just now say that he loved it. Yeah, but they they laugh at Ryan Holmes. <laughs> hey. And then we, we made a lot of lawn dudes mad tonight. Uh, oh, this with, morning. The, with, with the gasoline, yeah. uh, the gasoline oh, yeah. leaf blowers. Every lawn guy calling in. Hot take. Crap, you do realize that, and yes, I do have a lawn business, that the mowers are a lot louder and they run for a longer time on the same property. Probably at least typical property, you'll hear the mower four times longer, five times longer than a leaf blower. And the leaf blowers are quieter. This is stupid and batteries are bad for the environment right now. There you go. Oh, man, they get mad about that. Huh? No, they they are mad. Yeah, uh, dude, mad, as, mad as hornets. Hot thing. Turn it down. The only reason Winter Park is annoyed about having gas-powered leaf blowers is because everybody got stuck home during the pandemic working from home. So now they realize how many times a week they have a leaf blower within their hearing vicinity, and they get bothered by it. Well, you make your point. Like, if I wasn't home all day, you know, we, we get done here by 1230 or so, I'm home. So, But if I had a job where I was out all day, I wouldn't hear the, uh, the leaf blower. So uh, that's a good point. And then there's just a guy who's mad at the city of Winter Park. <laughs> oh, Park yeah. Avenue, oh. last Saturday, Farmer's Market, all up and down Park Avenue. There was oak pollen all over the sidewalks. You lazy SOBs Damn. in posh little town. Sweep that crap up. It was everywhere. How lazy. <laughs> oh. Not to mention that the little pools look like crap. It's Larry, do what right? you need to do first. That's, that's the most aggressive that's I've Larry, ever heard, yeah, Larry. Yeah. Yeah. He brings up a good point. Y'all got stuff to do. Don't worry about the leaf blowers. Yeah. Go sweep up the sidewalks. This, clean out the ponds, pools. This man's mad at pollen. Earth. Which, by the way, is super bad. Oh, my dude, car, my, all, every car I own is yellow right my now. My car is covered right now. Earth Day birthday is going to be April the 20th. There is a monster chill <laughs> tent. That's a tent that's air conditioned. That's absolutely awesome. Probably the, pollen y- in it. Your official <laughs> DJ in the monster chill tent will be the angel of boom. Do, 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 do How long going to be there? Is, is it all day long or, or a certain time? Or uh, We're uh, getting that uh, sorted. <laughs> okay, more information yeah, to because come. I, 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 you know, At this you, point, we don't know? Yeah. Okay, uh, I will be there, and I don't know when. <laughs> I will be there for two hours or so. Uh, Are you going to call it Triple Earth Day? That'd be a good branding. No. Uh, the official whiskey of uh, Earth Day birthday is Triple R blended whiskey, and I'll have samples of that that day. Ryan, what have you got other than bad jokes? <laughs> Wasn't a bad joke. That was like like that'd be good. Triple Earth Day. Sort of a pun, I guess. You're sort of a pun. Follow me. I don't know. Go, follow me. Follow Real Radio's Instagram. Do all that. It's fun. Great comeback. Uh, Angel, what you got? Hit me up on any social media platform. It's official, Angel. All right, stay, stay tuned for the News Junkie right after the Monsters. Then at 3 o'clock is the Jim Colbert Show. We're back tomorrow to do our thing from Angel and Ryan. Man, the leader of this mess of merriment. Russ, whole lot of world to rock, roll, Triple lose. Hey, guys, thank you so much for listening. We ain't got to go home. But we're going to get the hell up on out of here. Swirls. <laughs>